All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. It took me an extra second because I was trying to eat my last piece of pizza. Because <sighs> I don't want to get yelled at again <clears throat> for not eating. I have these little cookie things next to me too. I went for some another crab's treasure OST. I have no idea what it sounded like because I just literally threw it on while I walked into the kitchen. I should probably take that board back, but eh, I'll do that later. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think today, this is like the first time I've talked out loud today, so. Which is usually not a thing. Hi, everybody. Ugh. Yoshi's still here. Let's like scooch this way. And then this way. There we go. So you can see all, all the wonderful names that are on there. Ooh, excuse me. I literally just destroyed a pizza, so <clears throat> there might be burps. Because <clears throat> I ate it quick. <clears throat> Mediterranean, you were close. I mean, technically speaking, you were the first to type in chat. But Robco got the first redemption. How are you doing today, Mediterranean? Hello, Robco. Congratulations on getting first. Hello, Herbie. <clears throat> Not first Colossus, and that's perfectly okay. Sounds good, Herbie. Have a good one. Yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to the Project Zomboid server tomorrow, which probably isn't a surprise because of how much I enjoy Project Zomboid anyway. But I'm just excited to play with you all. So, yeah. I, the only thing I've got left is I need to make two commands for tomorrow. But the server should be good. Um, people have read the rules and stuff, or at least they better have read the rules. <clears throat> so it should be a good time. Good evening, Robco. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Cappuccino boy! Hang on, where's my... Uh, my... Yeah, there we go. They're all the way over there. Do you know how to make an egg roll? Just give it a little push, D. I would boo you, but I'd feel bad about booing you when you're supporting me, Cappuccino boy. When do you leave out for your your all your work trips? Because I know that's coming up soon. I know we talked about the last time you were on stream. <clears throat> Sorry. Like I said, trying to get rid of that stuff I just ate very quickly. So apologies if that's right in your ear. Robco, good evening. Hope you're doing well today. Hello, Miss Colossus. How are you doing today? Kicking shell does not mean we are playing TMNT. It does not. It does not. I'm sorry to disappoint, Marilith. How are you doing today? Welcome in, Agent DB. Good to see you. <laughs> Last, nobody else is allowed to chat now. <laughs> Trying to strong arm people at this point. Uh, Hello, Vandal. How are you doing today? Welcome in. Happy Tuesday, indeed, Mediterranean. I had thought about making tacos, and I thought about making Hamburger Helper, but... Excuse me, good lord. I ended up laying on the couch, and then cooking a pizza and taking a shower. So, we are going to be crabbing it up, Liddy. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Be great for an indie day. Well, maybe not uh, indie since Capcom, but yeah, yeah. I mean, there have been some smaller studios that have worked on TMMT games, so... I don't think, was it Capcom that did the most recent, uh, like, remake version, the side-scrolling one? Probably, but I actually hadn't looked into it. Bring back, like, some old Turtles in Time on, what was that, Super Nintendo, I think? So, last piece of cake, hello, how are you doing? This one is a very highly played song, so I'm just gonna play that. Oh, it's that one. Okay, I was like... This is like the most common song played on the OST, so I'm like, I'm gonna play this one. All right, sorry, it's fun. Uh, but last piece of cake, welcome in. Hope you're doing well, it's good to see you. Rube, I kind of wondered if something was wrong with your suitcase when I got back home from taking you to the airport. There was just this line from the bedroom all the way to the door. <laughs> and I was like, I wonder if one of his, his wheels may be off or something. But then I had forgotten about it because I vacuumed. So, yeah, it makes sense. So, new suitcase, got it. Uh huh, because it would impede or affect your ability to travel to me. I see, I see. Just rolling with it, good lord. I did eat, I ate a whole pizza. 
I ate plenty. We are fine. Hi, Aki. How are you doing today? Good to see ya. Burps are fine. We don't have to taste them. That's true. That's an entirely different scenario, and now he's 4,400 miles away from me, Marilith, so he's good for a while. <clears throat> he's good for a while. Munition is cute. Just letting the OST play, so if anything comes up weird, it's all the OSTs, so... Hello, you Blackbird. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Cappuccino Boy, thank you again for the 26-month resub. That goes towards our lovely uh, Plus program thing. So I appreciate it, which I do have kind of an update for you guys on that, on uh, like where we're sitting with it and everything. So I'll, I'll talk about that before we actually hop into the game. But yes, Project Zomboid tomorrow. I'm excited. Our server is finally happening after promising it like... Not quite two years ago, but almost two years ago. <laughs> because for a while I was like, oh, maybe we'll wait until build 42. And then build 42 kept getting pushed back. And then it was just a matter of getting uh, help setting it up. And then Mr. Captain Fluffy Bubbles comes along. He's like, I can help you. And I'm like, all right, cool. And so now we're finally doing it. I did have to spend a lot of time testing yesterday. I was going to work on some other random stuff yesterday. And I didn't get around to it at all. Because... <clears throat> took me like four hours of testing just to make sure the server was good to go, but it is good to go and I am excited to play with you all, so. I only want to be first occasionally anyway, too often would spoil this and specialness. That's what I said to Rube. I was like, I will only ever get it once a week and sometimes I don't even do that, but I was like, especially whenever he was here, like I don't ever get to claim first whenever he goes live at like 5 a.m. my time, so I'm like, nah, I'm too sleepy for that. And I would be on mobile. So, because there's been plenty of times where I've woke up, woke up and watched Rube streams or dozed to Rube streams. But I'm on mobile. There ain't no way I'm getting that first whenever I first wake up. I'll only be able to join Sunday working tomorrow and Friday. You can play whenever you want to, Blackbird. That's the thing about a server. It is constantly going. So you don't have to play when I'm streaming it. I don't know if that's clear to everybody. It is an active server, which means it is, well, in this case, we actually are pausing whenever nobody's on the on the uh, server, uh, just to make it slower for uh, water and electric shut off. So, uh, but yeah, you can play whatever the hell you want on the server. And I, I don't have to be on for other people to play. So maybe I need to throw that in the FAQ if, uh, if that's a misconception. But no, you can hop in and out of the server as much as you want and other people will play whenever I'm not on, I'm sure. So I'm just streaming it three days this week and then I think I'm gonna stream it one or two days next week depending on uh, a few things for next week before I go to TwitchCon. And I'm sure I'll probably stream it a day or two after I come back from TwitchCon. But yeah, no, you can, Hop in the server as little as much as you like. So tomorrow's when we're starting it. And I'll be on all day to answer questions, get people going and stuff like that. I have my own goals in mind for what I'm trying to do in the server. And then uh, all day Thursday instead of Friday because Friday I have to go get my hair cut. Finally. Doesn't look that bad. Oh, it looks really... There you go. You can see how, how much it's grown down. There, when I put my hair... My finger there, you can really tell. There's the natural color. It's... Uh, so, I gotta go get my hair did, and that takes four and a half hours of driving. For anybody who's new in the community, just don't ask. <laughs> Where Badger, hope you're doing all right. It's good to see Where Badger on the phone. Hi, Patty. <laughs> good evening and good night. Have a good night, Patty. Okay, so you're in Florida now. Got it. Sweating my ass off in the armpit of state. Yeah. And then you fly to Vegas Thursday. Well, at least you're going from like this stupid hot, humid heat to like really dry heat. So maybe that'll feel a lot better, Cap. Dude, hamburger helper is good. It, it's like something quick to cook too. Like it only takes like 15 minutes. Brown the meat, throw it in with spices and noodles and stuff and you're good. Had brunch with a friend, which is always a uh, spirit lifter. That's nice, Colossus. That's really good. Yeah, Rube, you do whatever you need to. Rube's going to be making his move to uh, to London again tomorrow. So he's got some packing up to do tonight. Hi, Kai. How are you doing? Good to see you. Last piece of cake. I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing all right. Today was a weird day. And like, 
I'll just say that like I had really weird dreams last night and I know we've talked about dreams on this channel before but I have extremely vivid dreams like feel incredibly real and I just had a few bad back-to-back -back dreams like I woke up I went back to sleep and had another bad dream and they were just really really disheartening like they were just like I woke up from the second one that and like I stayed awake and I cried like, that's how bad it like affected me so uh that's kind of like fucked with me all day and uh I know it's not real like I know that I'm very well aware but it's just like I don't know something that stuck with me so so I've been a little off today but I'm doing all right this is a bop I'm hoping the stream tonight will make me feel a little bit better I did go through a bunch of clip, Twitch clips earlier and that that at least rose my spirits a bit because I had a good giggle from from stuff so I had a had a good giggle from some of those from August I have my laptop open but won't create a fourth account for my own I would hope not wear badger I think three accounts is enough <laughs> I did not share my pizza with you last piece of cake. I'm very sorry. I hadn't, I'd eaten a bowl of cereal this morning that, like after my dream and that's all I've had today. So pizza, pizza was for me this time. Maryland's in Misku City. Nice. I know whereabouts you are then. Pizza is pizza. Didn't really sleep and got up with a migraine. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that, Aki. Migraine is mostly gone now, so I'm doing fine. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. I have never gotten a migraine <clears throat> that I'm aware of. The only really bad headache, I mean, I've still gotten headaches that are bad, but like the only bad headache I've ever had that was like super bad was a sinus headache once and I wouldn't wish that on my enemies. That shit sucks. So I can't imagine having that like pain all day it would suck. So I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad you're doing better now though. No, I didn't take it as sarcastic at all, no. I'm sorry to hear that though. That sucks. Go back to the shallows. Go back to some happier music or something. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Robco. See, I do want to play Fallout London. I know we've talked about this a couple times since its launch. <clears throat> I just don't know when I'll get to it. So maybe I'll wait a little bit because I'm gonna have to wait a little bit anyway <laughs> more than likely and uh then then I'll get around to it after some fixes are done so but yeah for the most part I've heard it's really good but there is obviously problems and long loading times kind of sucks but it is what it is so yeah anybody that gets migraines I am so sorry because I know there's actually quite a few people in our community that talk about it often I know Miss Zena gets them as well, so. Yeah, I'm glad you're feeling a little better though. That's that's definitely good. No, not Yoshi color hair. We're going back with my blonde. Although, now that I'm no longer working a corporate job, I can finally get those highlights I promised. So I think what I'll do, that's actually a good point. I'll talk to my hairdresser the next time I'm there, which is gonna be on Friday, and at least prep her and ask her opinion on what we should do. So, but it's not gonna be crazy this time. Oh, I got you a wear badger. I'm sorry. I'm raw. What does that mean, Kai? <laughs> Hi, Estelle. How are you doing today? Dream hangovers are real. The bad ones stay with you. They do. They really do. I don't know what that means, Estelle. I have no idea what that means. Oh, never mind. I didn't actually know that's what that was called. Octothorpe. Octothorpe. Okay. Octothorpe. I didn't actually know that's what that was. <laughs> I learned today. Love it when Twitch Mobile doesn't want me to type. I still have not updated my Twitch Mobile. <laughs> I still have it on the old version. I refuse. 
Waiting too, eating way too much ice cream at Ben and Jerry's was in good sale. What kind did you get, Kai? I hope it's good. Yeah, I know. Where about your stupid dreams? Yeah, same goat bill. Like I, my overactive imagination dreams just hit differently. Like I don't have a lot of nightmares, but these were definitely classified as nightmares. So. Yeah, now it sucks, but it'll be better. It'll it'll be better. I haven't had a migraine that I'm aware of. Haven't had a migraine, basically. Yeah. Because, yeah, from what people have told me about migraines, I, I've not suffered from them. I don't think anybody in my family really does. Oh, really, Asel? So I said I was going to order it the other day, and I didn't. And then today I woke up, and because I was feeling shitty, I want to do some retail therapy. And so I have both Astrobot and Stellar Blade in my cart <laughs> on Amazon, but I haven't officially made the purchase yet. <laughs> I don't know what I'm waiting for. I guess I should just do it. I guess I was, I 100% I want to play Astrobot like soon. I might even try to squeeze it in right after TwitchCon because it's not super long on stream. Uh, and then, um, but I looked at Stellar Blade and I've been wanting to buy Stellar Blade for a while. And same with Rise of Ronin, but I figured both Rise of or Rise of Ronin and Stellar Blade would go on sale during like uh, the holidays. So I was like, maybe I should wait because I'm not gonna have time to play them right now. So I'm trying to rationalize with myself. So I still haven't bought Astrobot, and I need to make sure I ordered it, order it, and make sure it doesn't get here whenever I'm like at TwitchCon. So I need to hurry up and make my choice. Maybe I should just order Astrobot, and then if I decide to order. Stellar Blade or something later I can. Oh goodness, Vandal, that's crazy. Oof, I'm sorry. Octothrope. Well, now I know that to sell. First, I feel like I've heard that before, but like not often enough for me to remember it kind of situation. I knew there was another name for it. Oof, yeah. Yeah, the only worst headache I've ever had in my life was a sinus headache, and it actually felt like my brain was going to explode. I it was I had never had one before, and I that's the only one I've ever had. And God, oh, every any direction I touched anything, I, I actually thought I needed to go to the hospital at one point because it felt so bad. Oh God, it was it's terrible. Well, I definitely want it, Xena. Like there is no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm getting Astrobot. I just. I just was like trying to figure out when I'm gonna have time to play it and stuff, so I'm gonna do it. But hi, how are you, Zena? No! Come on! I was going to buy it! It wasn't a matter about not buying it! It wasn't a matter about not buying. It was trying to figure out when I was going to get it. And it was going to be a sale and stuff. Uh, it shouldn't be so grumpy, but I am. Thank you, Anonymous, for buying me Astrobot. I was, it's literally in my cart. Like, I, I don't think I can show my cart because that might have personal information. I don't want to chance doxing myself, but. I literally was just trying to decide. Astro parts. Thank you to the lovely person. I've tried to not be grumpy about it. I wasn't, but I wasn't asking for it. I was talking about trying to figure out when I'm gonna play it. Okay, that just means I'm splurging on Stellar Blade next week then after I get back from TwitchCon. Thank you very much. I'm trying to show my appreciation without frustration, but thank you very, very, very much to whoever bought Astrobot for PS5. I will play it on stream. If it comes in, I'm, it should come in pretty quick, I guess, but uh, if it comes in, I'll play it right after TwitchCon. 
because it's not a super long game. I could easily get it done in one extremely long stream or probably two to three, two, probably two streams, realistically. And thank you, Dotto Skifter, for the gifted sub to Astro Bart. For goodness gracious sake. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> I really do appreciate it, even if I've seen grumpy about it. Ugh. Go remove it from... No, I'm not. I'm, I'll do it later. I'll do it later when I go buy Stellar Blade or something. <sighs> oh, good God. No, I like the physical versions of PlayStation games still, Xena, so I still buy all of my PS5 games uh, physical. I gotta keep those physical copies around for a little while longer. I don't want to let them go yet. So anything I buy on PS5, I still uh, purchase physical copies, so that's a physical copy. Yeah. PC, obviously, digital, but uh, if it's for any of my physical consoles, I still buy physical. Even cartridges, even for Nintendo Switch cartridges, I still buy the physical one. Thank you very much again. I appreciate it. I will send you a thank you message later with me feeling happier about it. <laughs> oh God, okay. Catching up with stream, catching up with stream. Thank you again for the anonymous gifted sub to Astro Bart. And thank you, Anonymous, for the gifted sub to Astro Bert. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I almost wanted to say something, but I thought it was better not to. Apparently, I didn't need to regardless. So thank you, Anonymous, for the gifted sub to Astro Marty. Because, you know, why the f*** not? <laughs> Glass Show, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I hope the fires are getting better contained around you. Did you you actually found your controller as well? I, I mean, some people do call them a remote, so. Okay, well, that's really cool, Robco, that it's not that bad and it's minimal extra work to get it running. But maybe it's not a bad thing if I wait slightly longer then. Thank you again very much for the gifted subs. Thank you very much again for the lovely gift through Throne. I appreciate it. I had mentioned this the other day, but ever since I hopped back on Throne, it's actually been a really good process, so... Uh, everything's been coming in timely and I'm supposed to be getting that last the the Lego set Colossus scent today so I'm gonna try to pay attention to the door but my tracking hasn't updated so I'm also like well it says it's coming today so we'll see um <sighs> way to throw off her timing yeah way to throw off my timing Hi, VC. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Yeah, I won't dox myself. I was like, I would, I'm like, I literally had the screen up earlier with them on there. So now Astro, Astrobot can use emotes, damn it. <laughs> uh... Okay, two to three streams. That's kind of what I figured. If my streams are around six to eight hours now, I was looking at the time the other day, Robco, because I was like, I really want to fit this in stream. Because Llama asked me, Llama's like, are you planning on streaming it? And I was like, I really, really, really want to, because I really, really want more people to see Astrobot. So, but yeah, it looks like it'll be that. That's super fair, Xena. I get it. Like, I just, I'm still trying to preserve that physical library. I hope not, Vandal. I hope. I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It it uh, it supports me, but <laughs> I know a couple of the people who were doing it last time, and they didn't need to. All right. Well, I found the random Wikipedia page for for Glass Joe. Inve investigational device exemption. An IDE, 
allows an investigational device, device that is subject of a clinical study, to be used in order to collect safety and effectiveness data required to support a pre-market approval, PMA, application or a pre-market notification, a 510K, submission to the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Clinical studies are most often conducted to support a PMA. Only a small percentage of 510Ks require clinical data to support the application. Investigational use also includes clinical evaluation of certain modifications for new intended uses of legally marketed devices. All clinical evaluations of investigational devices, unless exempt, must have an approved IDE uh, before the study is initiated. If you want to learn more, there's the link. That 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 was the that that was the Wikipedia page. So that's just a list of acronyms. It felt like it. So uh, if you own digital copies, but on a dead console like PS3, could you still re-download games you own online? Uh, not if you don't have it on a platform that it's supported for Glass Joe. So like we and we use libraries are gone. You cannot re. The stores are gone. So to my knowledge, you cannot re-download those. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong there. But yeah. Right, right. Yes, exactly, Acel. Exactly. I was reading your long message. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, I was not baiting or anything. I was just talking about how like I 100% wanted to get... Uh, Astrobot, so I don't want to make that seem like an expectation or something. So I appreciate it. I already feel awkward talking about the plus program stuff, which I'm still going to bring up because I'm I'm holding myself to it. But um, yeah, yeah. No, the whole thing about PS5 Pro, I didn't end up watching the thing. So, uh, but I started reading all the details around the PS5 Pro. I have no reason to buy it, basically. So for me personally, it's not targeted for me. Um, I have no reason to upgrade my PS5. As far as the games that are concerned, I get the PS5 exclusives that I want, like Astrobot, thank you again. Uh, and I'll get Stellar Blade and I'll get Rise of Ronin. But like, I don't feel like I have any need to upgrade to a PS5 Pro. I think that the PS4 Pro had at least enough of a benefit to go up uh, and the price tag wasn't that bad. This is in this case quite a bit more so for me personally it's not for me but again i'm not the person to yuck somebody's yum and never have been glad you're doing all right avc i'm doing okay today's been just a weird day just just weird mind day so i was thinking so too as well to be completely honest i i wouldn't be surprised if we get there in the next generation or if not this coming like new generation that is on the horizon then very soon i think you're right so mm-hmm mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice, Todd. Okay, thank you for correcting me then. I was wrong on that then. So you can still download stuff, you just cannot purchase or make any kind of transactions any further. See, I was wrong. Okay, thank you for confirming, Todd, because I was not sure. Exactly, Robco. Like, I don't, I did not buy the latest generation of Xbox, which was the first time since the original Xbox. I did the original Xbox 360, 360 Slim uh xbox one than even the s models of the xbox one but or actually i have the x now i guess um but i never went series x so because there wasn't much of a need once i had the pc so yeah right i agree a cell as long as they're still manufacturing the original model So, no, I'm, I'm actually in the same boat as you. So, all right. Well, we have caught up on a chat, and obviously we'll continue to chat throughout the course of our game. But one last thing that I'll mention is the Plus Program stuff. Yay, you guys are going to love hearing me talk about this. But I only do it, like, twice a stream unless somebody tier three subs. But uh, if you don't know, we are trying to hit the Partner Plus. Sorry, not Partner Plus. Fuck off. I keep saying that. 
plus points plus what the hell is a plus program i don't even know what it's called anymore we are trying to hit the plus points program level two we're already at level one and we have been for a while and basically what that means is that we have enough individual people who are um, subscribing to the channel and supporting me it used to be partner plus program now it's just the plus program they removed the partner part because affiliates can get it too um, and that's why I keep screwing it up and yelling at myself because they they changed the wording but uh, I did try to crunch some numbers the other day and at least this is a guesstimate because of it depends on if people continue resubbing like they did last month um, then we've we're only about 37 points away from the 300 mark that we need so uh that just means a couple more well i say a couple more a few more than a couple tier three subs so if you do want to try to support the channel in the long run then uh this is one of the best ways you can do it since it is the september time you actually get 25 to 30 percent off so it's basically like if you do do a tier three sub for three months which is all that's needed um then you actually get that third month for free basically so yay that's partner fuck off plus program plus points plus whatever i don't even care anymore it's that program and so if you want more information there's two links that take you there uh at least from my estimations we're about 37 points off right now uh that's assuming that everybody from last sub or last month continued to sub that they w the way they were uh, and uh, there is a couple people who've told me that they do plan on upgrading theirs too by the end of the month and if at least those three people that I've talked to are going to do that then that would be another 15 points so we're, we're getting close is what I'm trying to say at least by the estimation so if you would like to support me instead of gifting subs or bits or anything else please consider doing that instead uh, and then after the three months you can just cancel your sub so that is that is the game plan so hi pjs i did see satisfactory 1.0 was out today we will never see you again apparently okay i'm sorry that we never get to see you again pjs <laughs> i hope you enjoy it <laughs> we'll never see pjs again he's he's lost in the satisfactory life with his coffee cup hi caddy how are you doing today good to see you level two plus program there we go plus program level two yes <laughs> that sounds good to you blackbird if that if that's the case i don't think i was counting i wasn't counting you in the three so hopefully we'll be able to make it by the end of the month uh but that's kind of where we stand so that people know so that means we've already made a huge chunk of progress uh around 70 points um as it were so now that's just based off the estimations from what i had from september 3rd through september 9th um so that's that's at least where we stand so i just wanted everybody to know thank you very very much for all that you guys are doing zanwell's helping with their tier one sub as well Zandra, four years. Hi, side. Hi. Here's to four more years. To four more years, man. I'm gonna be doing this forever, aren't I? <laughs> that would be the hope. That would be pretty cool. I do like to do it. So, Zandra, thank you so much for the four years. Four more years. Four more years, and another point to the plus program. Thank you so much, Zanwell. Thank you for the continued support for four years. I know how much you lurk and stuff, and I really appreciate it. So thank you, Zanwell. Hi, Sweebs. How are you doing? Coffee is life. I just love that there is a coffee cup in there. So we are drawing some personal pieces at the moment. Very nice, Caddy. If you want to share or talk about what you're drawing, that'd be cool. Or yeah, drawing. I almost said painting. I'm doing all right. Uh, I've, had, I've been a little off today, but... Uh, I'm doing all right, and I'm hoping that stream will kind of lift my spirits a little bit. I just had really bad nightmares last night, and they've just kind of carried over with me today, which seems dumb, but they were more like the emotions, m emotional psychological type of nightmares versus like scary dude chasing you kind of nightmares. So they've just been kind of dwelling on my mind today. But, oh wow, I talked for way longer than I meant to. Apologies for everybody that is here for Crab Game. Uh, cause I did not realize I had talked past 30 minutes. I hadn't even looked at the clock. I'm assuming most people that wanted to see Crab Game came in here. They were like, wow, this lady doesn't stop talking and then left. <laughs> so it should be fine anyway. 
But yeah, we're going to hop back into uh, another crab's treasure today. And I do actually need to update my thing because I think Xanwell sub counted towards that. So, boom. Let me update that. And we're going to hop back into the game. I was actually really wanting to play more of this game. So, I'm excited that I'm going to continue it on stream. I almost played it yesterday off stream. Good evening, Anatomaton. How are you doing? Currently doing some accessories for my bear centaur character. That's cool, Caddy. That's really cool. Shoop! Hi, Shoop! Hi, Shoop! How are you doing today? Welcome in! Yeah, that's fair, Sweep. Some people don't like to celebrate them. I still like to highlight people if I can. So what you're saying is chat is performing its distraction function adequately. Yes, they are, Merilith, as they usually are. Hi, Jen. Hi, Travis. Hi, 171st Street Games. Hello, hello. Uh, Finis, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Shoop, welcome in. Hi, Raiders. My name is CD. I'm a variety game streamer from Arkansas in the US. Around these lovely parts, we focus on first blind playthroughs. Guess what chat? I actually updated my upcoming commands. Uh, these are some of the games that you will see in uh, the next couple of weeks, months. Hopefully not years, but Baldur's Gate 3 might take years. We'll find out. Uh, but yeah, we play a little bit of everything. From indie titles to triple A's. From Soulsborne to platformers. From old games to new games. Pretty much whatever. As long as it's fun, exciting, has great gameplay or a good story. We pick, we check it out here. So welcome in. How are you doing? Everybody, this is Shoop. I know that she was doing a special event. I hope it went incredibly well. Uh, it was some type of subathon. Uh, and I don't actually know what you ended up playing today. I, I was kind of couch chilling and not doing anything today I could be completely honest with you so I didn't actually get to stop by but I saw she posted it on Twitter so how was your stream what were you getting up to what all did you play what did you do and then Shoop and I are both extremely excited for the game that is made by the people who did Greece uh, never comes out on October 15th so we share this bond of being super excited for this game because Gris was incredible and we're both emotional ladies who love our stories, all right? So uh, we're both very excited for this. But please, if you all don't know Shoop yet, uh, if you don't recognize the name, it is a reference to Final Fantasy X. Uh, she loves her Final Fantasy games. She plays a little bit of everything. Journey is one of her favorite games. Just basically, Shoop is a really awesome person. I got introduced to her from Mr. Jinray and the Jundies. So if that doesn't tell you em enough of what you need to know, please go check her out for yourself and you make that, that decision to hang out there because I bet you will. So, well, happy early birthday, Sweebs, and hopefully it's still a good day. I brought friends I do have to read and run. That's perfectly fine. You are perfectly good. Lady, thank you so much for bringing your community over here and trusting me with them. I appreciate it. If anybody wants to fill me in on what all was happening. Oh, wait, they were playing Oregon Trail. Oh, my God, I love Oregon Trail. I, I put my I put my chat into Oregon Trail and they would die of snake bites and dysentery and broken ankles and stuff. It was great. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> but welcome in everyone happy to have you thank you so much for the new follows as well let me scroll down and make sure i've said hi to everybody i do have anonymous follows so if i haven't seen you say something in chat i will not call you out so that way you can lurk in the shadows if you'd like but i really do appreciate the follows so thank you so much everybody uh also mr shins welcome in i hope you're doing well <laughs> I, like <that. laughs> I like the copy how it's a minecraft's 15th anniversary in that uh, Xena, I think I'm about, we played about five hours, four, four hours of this the other day. So I'm not very, very far in it, to be honest with you. Uh, Rake, am I saying that correctly? Ray, welcome in. It just might be Ray and then HK. Ray, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. I see you said something there. Yes, have a great night, Shoop. Thank you again for bringing your community over and make sure everybody, please go check out Shoop. Seriously, wonderful person, super sweet, down to earth, loves a lot of really great games. So you will enjoy your time there. Rabbo, welcome in. It's good to see you. Special event isn't a game name. I feel so deceived. I love that you all played Oregon Trail, though. That's awesome. We have actually played Oregon Trail on this channel. There is a, I don't know which version you all played, but we played an old version, like the 92 Deluxe version on Abandonware.com. 
and it was so much fun. We've actually done it a couple times because people like it so much. Mr. Shin, thank you for the follow as well. And I can't see Anonymous. Thank you for the air horn bits. Thank you, Anonymous, for waking me up. Shoop killed every one of us in Oregon Trail. <laughs> Ray, what, what was the best death? Did everybody die of dysentery or something else? Hi, Invisible Gnome. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thanks for giving me a chance after I acted like a dumbass the other day. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, if you all did not know, when I raided out on Sunday, the actual second that I raided out to Juice's stream, we were raided. Uh, actually, I would love to get a shout out for that person as well, because uh, it was just a happenstance that they came in literally right after. <laughs> like, I'm talking the split second it happened. And so... Oh, I almost tried to type raid instead of shout out. That would have been even funnier. Uh, but Feisty Panda Fails raided me the second I hit the end screen button. So what I did was I went live real quick to say like, oh, sorry, we just raided and was going to take them into the next raid and just raid them over. But my mic was, un was muted still. So I was like sitting here making hand gestures, saying hi to everybody and trying to get people moved over. And they didn't hear a fucking thing. <laughs> it was a clusterfuck. I deleted that like snippet of a vod too. You you guys don't get to, you don't get to see my my embarrassment. So, yeah. Real magic cookie didn't last long. Wait, on what? Z oh, on uh, on yeah, on Oregon Trail. Real magic cookie, I think, had the fastest death. He died like before we even got to the first landmark. I think it was ridiculous. Final Fantasy X, good. People who like Final Fantasy X equals good. Shoop likes Final Fantasy. They're bored by the transitive property. Shoop is good. Fuck yeah, I love the use of the transitive property. Mr. Shins, I am doing quite well. Thank you so much. Um, it is nice to see people and just kind of hang out. It'll make me feel a little bit better. My days have been a little eh, but I'm happy to be here, so. Hello, Jetpack Raptor. Welcome in, Jetpack and Raiders. How are you all doing today? We had just gotten a raid, so I won't give you the long spiel. I'll just say hi. CD, another crab's treasure. We play a variety of games around here, and I'm from the US. Welcome in. How are you all doing? What were you getting up to today? I know, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, Asel, Kevin would own up to it if it was the air horn bit, so that's why I was kind of surprised. You did on both accounts. Reka is right, uh, pronounced right. Rake and, okay, so I pronounced Rake right is how I said it the first time, but I go by Ray. Sounds good, Ray. Well, welcome in, happy to have you. Yeah, Invisible Gnome, I, it was a cluster, so <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, please go check out Feisty Panda Fails as well because I completely botched that and then yeah, everything happened and you know, just life, things happen. <laughs> it was very confusing, I'm such a professional. Bloopers are the best bit. I got rid of that so fast, Invisible Gnome. There might have been a clip from it, but I got rid of it. I got rid of the, the VOD portion, at least. Oh, God. Three of the four drowned in the Columbia River, I think, at the end, and one died right before. No way. So literally everybody did die, Ray. Oh, my God. Hi, Biffy. I'm such a professional streamer. It's true. Ooh, you're playing Uncharted Jetpack Raptor. How was Uncharted 4? I actually loved the Uncharted games. They were fantastic. And again, welcome in Raiders. Happy to have you. Uh, we're just going to hop into some another Krebs treasure. I've literally been just sitting here chatting for the last 50 minutes. So I've been not doing a good job of providing some gameplay. <laughs> but we will hop into it now. After two year break. Wait, so had you started it and then not played it for a while and then went back? Or had you like played up to three and then just hadn't played four for two years? Hi, Juice. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Llama. I hope you're doing well, too. I know. I know, Marilith. We're, we're starting the game, damn it. Okay. Here, there. I'm clicking it before we get to the hour mark for sure. Uh, I did. I played Lost Legacy as well, Xena. It would have been before I think any of you were introduced to my channel because I played it back in 2019. In 2019, I actually had a, what I would consider probably one of the better things that I had thought of, which was it was a year that I didn't replay anything. 
<laughs> which is funny because the very first game that I played on stream was a replay, but it was on a uh, it was on the hardest difficulty, so I could get the last achievement. Outside of that, it was all games I had never played, uh, specifically PlayStation games, and so I did Uncharted one through four plus Lost Legacy all on stream in 2019. So there's no VODs or anything of that. You would not want to listen to the VODs anyway because the mic audio was shit back then. But yeah, <laughs> I got to remember how to play the game. Oh shit, okay. Okay, I got to remember how to play because we played this for our raid train and then uh, I haven't played since then. Probably should have like hopped on to kind of like remember how to play, but. I'm doing all right, Juice. Thank you for asking. Or thank you for the well wishes, I should say. I know. I'm sorry, Xena. It was really good, though. Okay, good. It's telling me the way to go. Because I know we just beat we just beat this lady. Oh, yeah. And we got the abilities, too. But you have to have... I think I need my full bar to use my ability, if I'm not mistaken. Or no. Okay, that's that. Haha. <laughs> What? Shoot, I don't remember how to use that. This is the stuff that we unlocked for anybody that's familiar with the game. Uh, Raptor says it was great, not my first time playing it. I streamed one through three and then started four and got burned out. I don't blame you because like it is a lot of the same. So like, I don't blame you at all, Raptor. <laughs> I did play them all in a row, but I, I can get where you're coming from. It took me two years to finish that playthrough. Very fair. What did you end up thinking about it after all these years and the, the stall between that? Hi, Mr. Jinray. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Okay, where is my guy? It's just settings, controls. I just need to see. I just need to see what the heal is up. Grapple. Use adaptation as right trigger. Okay, that's what I needed to know. That's what I wasn't sure about. Okay, cool. So I might die to stuff because we haven't played in a little bit, but it'll be fine. We, we got this. Yeah, this game has been fun. Very, very fun so far. And I agree that it seems like it's deceptive. Like it's like, oh, this looks like a cute little platforming little action adventure game. Nah, this is a full blown Souls like, but it is really fun. I love Souls like games. So Jim, pretty good. Just woke up. When did you go to bed? Just out of curiosity. I'm not going to judge you because I went to bed at like 3 a.m. last night, so. That's fair, Zine. I gotcha. Yeah, no, I remember Lost Legacy being really fun. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Marilith. Invisible says, enjoy the rest of your stream, but I'm right near the start of the game. Oh yeah, no, please avoid spoilers, my friend. Please, please, please. If you're enjoying this yourself, I'm a first blind playthrough content creator where like 90% of what we play on this stream is first playthroughs and I do not watch them ahead of time. So I completely get it. Please, please, please keep this for yourself. But thanks for popping back in. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm sorry about our, <laughs> our first meeting and being me being very stupid. <laughs> Tis what it is. All right, I need some like regular dudes to fight so I can get used to the the gameplay again. That's fair. I got you, Raptor. Yeah, because I mean, for the most part, the games were fairly linear, and then that was kind of introduced. I didn't mind those parts because I do like ex exploration, but I can understand how it feels a little disjointed from the rest of the series. So, you're you're definitely spot on with with that running around to see if I can find anything unique. Oh, okay, so this just takes me around to this door. Okay, it's literally just a circle. All right, I was just making sure. Haven't been through any of this stuff yet, so. The music's very pretty here. Well, Raptor, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Everybody go check out Jetpack Raptor. If you want to let us know what the next game is you're playing and when to catch you live, that would be fantastic. So then my people know when to catch you. Thank you for getting another shout out for Jetpack Raptor. All right. So yeah, all of this just opened up. Okay. Because that's where we saw the shark head before he skedaddled. 
like 5.30. Fair enough, you got some good sleep in. That's good. <laughs> I've got readings and dinner two to get to, so I'll be lurking. Sounds good, Llama, have a good lurk. Hope the reading isn't too bad. Credit to them, they're just not milking the Uncharted franchise cash cow, though. I completely agree. Like, there are some series that truly need to end. And who knows? Maybe they'll they'll bring it back down the road with, like, a fresh new idea or something, but... But until then, I think, I think it ended in a really good way, personally. I think 4 ended in a really good way. Yeah. Yee. The sound's kind of gross. <laughs> All right, hang on. So we're in a new area now. New Carcinian. Ah, that's right. We heard about that whenever we were at the last part. What we got here? A stainless relic. A workable piece of metal. Maybe someone can turn it into something useful. We're gonna acknowledge that knowledge. Maybe I should have went and seen what was actually on the bridge. Reef's edge. Maybe I should have done that. Oops. <laughs> That's not true, Zena. Actually, it's been very clever and very funny. I'm not gonna lie. It has been... It, it's got a good message behind it, and it's actually been very cute and very funny. So, as of right now, to give you the TLDR, Zena, and you can always go back if you are interested in it, because uh, it's on the archive, but... Um, <laughs> Basically, we're a little crab and we're just chilling in our shallow area and then a lone shark comes and says that we are living on property that's been annexed and that we owe taxes. And our character's like, what's taxes? And then our shell gets repossessed by the lone shark and we have to go and get it. So that's why we're currently wearing a soda can as a, as a house because, uh, yeah, we, we don't have our normal shell. It got taken from us. So now we're going through and battling people to try to get our shell back. Ah, oh, very nice, Raptor. Well, thank you again very much for the raid. Feel free to stick around as little or as long as you like, but if you do need a raid and run, do some post-stream stuff or anything like that, please, by all means, take care of yourself first and foremost. Oh, wait, I think we got a new attack, didn't we? Yeah! Oh, there's another one over there. I just saw it, I accidentally locked onto one. See, he's being sneaky. What a little bish. Oh, it went for that one. <sighs> okay, fine. Yeah, you ain't getting me. Oh, and I pushed that one off, even better. What the hell are you? Oh, it's a seahorse. I don't know what these guys do. Ah, what the hell is that? Oh, damn it. I thought I was trying to be cool and stuff. Okay, well, that didn't work. I don't really know what they do. I was just trying to be cool. Oh, no. Well, shit. Okay, none of that for me, I guess. Fine. Fine. Yeah, you're welcome, Zena. So it's been funny. And they were like, no, we're not gonna take these little heart kelp shelf shaped things where you, we only deal in trash. So they're asking you to pay back your trash and then we try to pay it back and do a favor for this lady. And then she kills, uh, or she tries to kill us. So yeah, it's been, it's been great, 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 great. But yes, it is definitely a souls like and level of difficulty and in like the okay I'm getting wrecked right now by this guy i got wrecked by him last time too i don't know why these guys are so difficult for me i keep getting stuck hi don't hurt me yet <laughs> okay really dude get out of here but by difficulty, by like the spawning system, by how stuff works in the game, like 
pretty much everything makes it like a souls like in terms of like gameplay mechanics honestly it's been really really fun raptor i've been wanting to play it again since i tried it last week so i almost played it off stream yesterday almost because i just really wanted to play it again tin will protect us hopefully she hates horses of all kinds aki you're new to the community. You're not allowed to make these jokes. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong button. Aki over here being... I respect it. Don't get me wrong. I respect it, but... Ow! Rude! Oh, God! He's killing me with an olive pick! Get out of here. I haven't played since we played, like, what was that, a week ago? So if I'm shitty for a little bit, that's why. Okay, I was trying to see if there's anything on the flip-flop. I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. Where are we going from here? I don't know. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a shortcut thing. I see it. There we go. Now we're good. I agree. Wait. I'm 99% packed. Only thing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Sorry. 99% packed. Only thing left is my mug once it dries and my phone charger. Well, look at you getting all packed and everything. Are you excited to go back, Rube? Those seahorses are annoying, but they fire those old school sponge dinosaur toys, so it's kind of adorable. That's what it was, because yeah, it like hit me, Todd, but I wasn't really sure what happens. I agree with whatever Rube says. My opinion is CD is amazing and Jinrei is pretty cool too. Hmm, pretty good opinion. I want to disagree with Rube just for the sake of it, but now I can't. Aw. You should disagree, Viffy. Do it. Come here. Come here, you little hooker. Ah, there's another one dying! Okay, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. That's fair. I'm just getting used to the game again! Oh. Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> I didn't die, bitch. I almost did. But I didn't. <laughs> I am 100% dead, but that's okay. Maybe if I can get to the shortcut. Oh, there's a, oh. Wait, he hit his own dude. What does it do if he hits his own dude? I don't know what to do here. <laughs> okay. Oh, he dropped out. He dropped a heart. He dropped a heart. Ah! Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. No. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're still alive, boys. We're still alive. The happy music is so deceiving. What's up, Mono? How are you? This game rules. I am enjoying it. I only played it a little bit last week, and I've been dying to play it ever since then. I really wanted to play it off stream yesterday, and I withheld. So. Back into the swing of things, get it, studying and finishing this damn degree. That's fair. Haha, -ha, I did not. No. Don't you do it. Is that a Tic Tac thing? Was that a Tic Tac bottle? Is that what he had? I think it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, yes. They're giving me a little bit of health along the way, so they're making it not too bad. Okay, there's a purple... Ah, there's a... Oh, wait. Hey. Look how cute I am. Xena, this game is cute. I'm only saying it because I know you don't like it because it's the Souls like, but it is pretty damn adorable. Unfortunately, with the PC packed up, I'm relying on Twitch Mobile. That's fair. How's the Piss Dungeon group? <laughs> damn degree. That's fair. Sounds good, last piece of cake. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you have a good night. Ew. 
And for anybody who's wondering what the heck Rube is talking about, he was playing uh, Oxygen Not Included earlier today. I want to see what's over there. Okay, there's stuff over there. I'm, I'm playing a dangerous game here. Playing a very dangerous game here. Because I should go try to open that shortcut, but instead, I'm greedy. shell I'm, I'm greeting man I'm greeting I'm greeting hard right here <laughs> what's up smoke your silver how are you doing <laughs> I'm glad I could fool some people or I say full people but give people like a unsure a smoke gear because somebody else said uh, team Marilis said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You said Mario. And I'm doing this, so gotcha, guys. Rule number three, always be greedy. Raptor. No, 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 no. Rule number two. Wait, no, no. Yes, rule number two, don't be greedy. You're not supposed to be greedy. Yay! <laughs> Are you guys going to fall? Are you going to fall? Uh, I don't know if this helped me or not. All right. Oh no! Ah, uh, I forgot how that attack works. <laughs> no! Oh! Look at us go! Look at us go! Look at us go! I tried to dash in the air because I got that dash ability to do it. Is that just like going off of his head? Let's get. Oh no! There's. A oh, you almost got me. Oh shit! No oh, shit! <laughs> Yoink! C star. I don't remember what the C star does, but. I can't tell if that's something. Oh, that definitely looks like some dude over there. There we go. Look, greed paid off. I didn't die there, at least. That is true, Todd. Like, that is something I haven't mentioned today, but I did mention the first day we played, is that this would probably be one of the most approachable Souls-like games out there. And it's because there is an actual difficulty changer and there is actually like a whole bunch of assists that you can turn on. So like if you're like, man, I think this looks really cute and I would like to play it, but damn, I don't want to play a Soulsborne game or Souls-like game, then guess what? There's actually difficulty settings. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can change. So if you're like, yeah, this looks really fun, but that's not like this game style isn't for me. Well, look, you actually could play it. I don't know if I would really call, eh, I guess there's elements of souls like in Tunic, but it definitely feels, it's it's, inspir it's inspired by the original Legend of Zelda game. So that one I don't think has difficulty options, Xena, but this one does. So this one I would at least say still look into. Hi Peaches. Ain't not gonna make it under the sea joke as I'm sure you've had way too many of them already. Actually, nobody said one in here, Peaches. But I did uh, in Discord. My go live message was under the sea, under the sea, down where it's wetter. Soulsborns are better. Take it from me. That's what I got. So you could have. Kuma, how are you doing? It's good to see you. It's great how only the enemies are realistic crabs. We've had sea horses and other stuff too. Kuma, this is a game I figured you would play. Peaches, how are you though? It's good to see you. And Kuma, I hope you're doing well view games for a, uh, a steam curator about animal games this would be perfect for that i might play this do it caddy do it up oh my lord ah. <laughs> i should have just jumped over him come here bitch oh come on no 
I don't have any more. Yeah, you know what? Go for the shortcut. Go for the shortcut. <laughs> Go for the shortcut. There we go. <laughs> I happened to see it, so. I don't know what the thimble. Oh, thimble fortifies? That's not even good. Fish. <laughs> Got him. I kind of want to go back and then just use the shortcut going forward. That would actually be way smarter. I'm going to do that. If it lets me go all the way back, that is. I think it... Oh, maybe not. Oh, shoot. No, I don't think I can go back. No! Well, shit. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I don't know how much I needed for a level, so it might not even be that bad. It's fine. It's fine. Currently, uh, recently watched somebody play through Legend of Zelda on NES. Was that uh, one Vadim Benev on Automaton? I, the last time I spoke to him, he said that he had gotten eight or five of... Is it five pieces or eight pieces? He progressed quite a bit since the last time I talked to him. So... Had my internet cut off before, just got back. Oh, well, welcome back, Peaches. I'm glad you're doing well. Today has been kind of a weird day for me, but it's it's getting better, and just talking to people is kind of helping my mind. So, that's good. It was perfectly cute. I have played this. The joke I milked was the soul's message time for crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do get it. Nice, Kuma. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's good. Why don't crabs give to charity? Because they're shellfish. Oh my god. Oh lord, I got some jokesters in here. Keep them coming, I appreciate them. <laughs> Hi Jordan, how are you doing? Yes! Yeah, no, you should totally play it. It's really fun. I'm gonna die soon, but it's fun. And this this thing I have is not good. Duh. Oh god, oh god. I regret everything! Damn it. I knew I was going to die, but I don't know how much I need for a level. I don't even I don't even think that's enough for a level at this point, so let me see how much I need. Hi Rai! How are you doing? I hope you're well. <laughs> you're welcome, Feisty Panda. I told you I would do it! Like I said, Feisty Panda raid uh fails. Raided us right as I raided Juice on Sunday, and so I wanted to, to get a shout out back up for you. Oh man, that was enough for a level, so I definitely need to try to get those back. Okay. Um, but yeah, I definitely was like, I felt so bad, and then of course I screwed up trying to go back live. I was trying, and then I failed that. I was failing. It was CD fails that day. <laughs> But good to see you, Feisty Panda. Thank you again for trying to raid me that day. I appreciate it. I felt so bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Well, that sounds good, Game Dragon. Hope, that's, hope that goes well for you. I can't get back up here. I wanted to see what I missed. I thought this was the wrong way to go or like a... I thought this was a secret. And so I went this way because I thought it was the secret, but it ended up being the right way. And now I'm sad. I hate going the right way first. I'm yeah, yeeting all over the place, Rael. I don't know. I don't think we talked about this one. Have you played this one, Rael? It was hilarious. Yeah, of course, I'm over here, like, yelling at the screen and trying to say hi to people and realize it wasn't even until I realized that you all couldn't hear me. I was just like, good lord. What does this ability do? Oh, that's fun. Okay. I can actually use this. I did go live again. Yeah, I had actually ended because literally the raid came in, like, the split second that I actually literally pressed the end button. So... Yeah, but my mic was still muted because I had already muted it from the ending from before and I didn't realize I didn't unmute it. So yeah, it was just a whole thing. Game Dragon, I hope you're doing well though. It's good to see you. <laughs> yeah, 
just lots of embarrassment. It's fine. I got stuck on the coral. Get out of here. I know there's a person over there. Right, hang on here. Hi. Twist up! Okay, the cool thing is you can move while you're- uh oh. I'm just gonna let him stay there. You can actually move when you're in the twist top version. And that is totally a tic-tac thing. That's so funny. Okay, so you have to jump to do the slam. I actually didn't know that before. So, my crabs are fine. They don't even itch or anything, Panda. No, my crab is good. I did just die, but it's fine. <laughs> I know, I hate going the right way first. It sucks. I popped it in for a bit and then, oh, the other, the crab just died. This one the other day, I still know nothing about it. It's very cute. Caddy, we will be here. Okay, so that's actually, all right, I'm going to mark my soda can though. I like the fizzy. Oh, this guy's a bitch though. I just don't understand how this guy works yet. He's so annoying. I can't even hit him half the time. Oh, it's going for, damn it. Good, get out of here. All right, I'll go back up here and get my, my stuff back. I got you, Game Dragon. Gotcha. <laughs> That's true. You won't be okay on those screens. Fuck's sake. Played the demo of Resident Evil 5 on the Switch the other day and was the first time I had ever played one of those games. It's so bad. It was only one level. It was so hard. Resident Evil 5 was the first one I ever played too, Jordan, and it was a bit of like a learning curve. So. I feel ya. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. No. Ugh. Stupid seahorses. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, fine. No. Get out of here. Give me my stuff back. My junk was recovered. Why can't you guys be nice like the fish that are just swimming around? I've tried dodging. You're supposed to be able to dodge in the air. Yeah, in Resident Evil 5, you, well, actually, pretty much all the Resident Evils except for, well, any of the ones up to five, I guess, are the ones that you have to stand and shoot. Jerk, get out of here. <laughs> What are you looking at? Oof. Gotcha. Uh huh. You can't get through there, can you? <laughs> All right. Where am I supposed to go from here? Yeah, there was a big lobster dude over there. I don't know if we're supposed to get that, but it's fine. Right. Oh, there's another. No. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> I, oh no, there's healing right. That's not fair. That wasn't fair. Yeah, because we, we played like the remaster version that came out on. On uh. What's this thing? This seems unique and like something I should do something with it. Anyway. Oh, that did not take me the direction I thought we were gonna go. But yeah, we played like the remastered, so even though it was like pseudo tank controls, it wasn't actual tank controls, so. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, John. How are you doing?
Can I jump to this one or is that too far? Oh, got it. We're good. I saw you put what the car on your wish list. Just played it. 10 out of 10. Is it really? Is it from the same people who did what the golf? Because I bought that and then never played it. <laughs> but I did see it and it looked fun. Steam recommended it to me. So I was planning on... Well, I was planning on getting Astrobot. So maybe I'll splurge and get that too, since some lovely bean got me Astrobot today. It must be that was also great. Yeah, I never played it. But I wanted to. I bought it and then never played it. Shocking. So many games, so many times like that. Hi, cutie. What's your name? Hey there, pal. Do you like going fast? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, no, I hate it. <laughs> Oh, Krill and I are not of the same mind here. Well, it's your unlucky day. Because you're going to need some wicked speed to get over that ramp down there. Walking ain't going to cut it. Neither is sprinting. Even. So no, sir. Okay. And that's where I come in. Pablo. Pablo. Five times snail racing league champ at your service. They had to give us snails our own league because we're so damn fast. I just realized the irony of that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how to get speed so insane your grandma's antenna will be twisting in her grave. Wow, that's pretty fucked up actually. Or maybe she's still alive, sorry. That was a little insensitive either way, damn. <laughs> but trust me, this kind of crazy schmovement will peel your gills back. It'll dry out your exoskeleton while you're still underwater. It'll boil you in your damn shell if you're not careful. And worst of all, it'll turn you into a permanent speed demon who can't even form words if you're not moving at high velocity. Are you ready to accept that kind of risk? Because a lot of people say they are. Before you know it, bam! Addicted to speed. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Addicted to drugs? <laughs> <laughs> right, I was like, it's speed is literally named for a truck, so I'm like, what? <laughs> Guess Turbo was already taken for a snail. It kind of makes sense to sell. Kind of makes sense. With the golf, you can do local multiplayer or Steam remote play. I bet Rube would love it too. Hmm, good to know. Good to know, John. What's that, Rube? You want to go fast? <laughs> okay, sorry. You guys won't get that. Uh, my brother was slightly tormenting Rube at the concept of going very fast on the highway. So, cute Thunder Snail song from Undertale. Yes! Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? You guys are great. Pegasus, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. <laughs> I've seen it happen to a lot of good critters down here. So I gotta ask one more time, you sure? Yeah, why not? Okay, so basically you're going to want to sprint towards the ramp and then press the block button. Okay, well, I, I, I don't, I don't really want to do that yet, so I'll, I'll come back. Did not see there was a dude here. Did not see there was a dude here. Did not see there was a dude here. Ow, you bitch. Rude. I didn't see if this guy was even down here. I wanted to go over here and see what was over here. Again, I'm trying not to go the right way first and I keep screwing up apparently. Define going very fast on the highway. I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not. How about I just tell you the car and we'll go from there. There's a Tesla Plaid um, S, whichever the SUV version is. It used to have a Plaid X, which is the fastest uh, accelerating car in the world. So <laughs> that's all I'll say for legal reasons. Not that we did anything. Went on a good walk. That's nice, Pegasus. I started playing uh, Pokemon Go again. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to go for a walk tonight and hatch some of my eggs. Uh, so you push the go pedal. Yes. 
I may have also driven his car, the Plaid X, before they got rid of that one. I got the SUV version. And uh, let's just say I know how to go fast, too. <laughs> Without disclosing anything else, so I'm not legally <laughs> in trouble for anything I say. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Marilis, so I cannot confirm or deny. Boop. Boop. I'm just gonna use the hell out of this. Oh my god, CD went plaid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do I go up from here? Wait, what? Maybe you're supposed to do something to these. Like, I see the box. That's got to be some, like, special thing you do later. Because, yeah, it's not. Okay. I think that's for something else later. Cause like, I was wondering, the cubes just seem like so out of place that you have to have something, but I don't think we can do anything with them yet. That's good, Pegasus. It's good to do something like that. That's kind of like me. I'm trying to get in a better habit of walking and doing some exercising again too. Oh, I could have just gone around this way originally. That would have been the smart thing to do. Alright, let's do this. While sprinting, roll. Ooh, oh, shit. Okay, it stopped. Hey, God. I ha oh, no. Okay. Um... I'm Naruto running. Go! Speed! Oh! I wasn't supposed to jump, I don't think. I think it was just gonna jump for me, but that's fine. I made it still. It's okay. Whoopsies. It still worked. I lived. I should have like two levels here now. Oh, is it Jordan? Well, local time means that's in like 30 minutes for me. Beaches. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Aww. That sounds sweet, Game Dragon. I have just enough for two. Yeah Alright, thanks. Alright. I can squeeze through there. Oh, come on! Even if I didn't have the, the tennis ball, come on. I should be able to get through there. <laughs> it was a cute one. I liked that one. I mainly like jokes that I've never heard before. And for some reason, that's why I like Nightcap and Andrew's joke so much, is like, I think out of all the times Nightcap and Andrew has said a joke in here, I think I've only ever heard like one or two of them before. And he says jokes like all the time. I'm just impressed. I'm like, where are you getting these that I've not heard these before? And maybe it's just a me thing and I don't get enough jokes in my life, but. <laughs> Music stopped. Damn. I'm just looking around, make sure there's not anything secret or hidden. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, Vandal. Yeah, that's a Miss Jordan Wren. She's been around here for a long 
time. She's gonna be moving to Japan soon. So excited! Oh, are you still alive? Uh, they're asleep. Oh, okay. I like that I can do this. <laughs> uh oh. Hello. Nice to see a fresh face in town. And right before trash day too. What's trash day? Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what trash day is. I couldn't spoil the surprise for you now. You'll know soon enough. That doesn't help at all. I like that there. <laughs> oh, there's film here. Oh, there's a picture of a kitty! Aw, oh, best film reel. I like the little details. Okay, good, Merilith. It's not just me then. Like, again, I think I've heard maybe two. Like, before. But, like, most of them? I'm very surprised. Are they all kitty pictures? They're all kitty pictures! Aww. I approve. All these are... Uh, these have doggo pictures on. Aww. That's so cute. And sponges. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll go the right way. And that is the long complex history of Slacktide's trade route with New Carcinian. It's Kinsicinia, whatever. Wow, I'm so glad I stuck around to learn all that lore. Thanks, Uncle Addy. The lore. This has cards in it. Does that mean this is a place for gambling? Apparently not, sad day. Hello there! Um, hello ma'am. Have you come from Slacktide? The bridge usually reserved for traders, soldiers, or nobles, and you don't look like any of those, dear. Unless, perhaps, you're one of those neo-nobles that chooses not to flaunt your wealth. How exciting! What's the Duchess court like? Is she as gorgeous as they say? Yeah, she was. I mean, she's pretty. You're not so bad yourself, little noble. Care to come up to my apartment? <laughs> ma'am! Have a nice day, ma'am! Dang, okay, our, our crab's a little shy guy. <laughs> I think so too, Liddy. There's a lot of just like cute little details everywhere. Yeah, the C yeah, the <laughs> C and D pharmacy receipt as being the, the floor. Cigar a cigar tray or cigar ashtray, I guess little balcony things. They're very creative. It's fun. This place is huge! <laughs> Enamored with the sight of our fair city? I can honestly say I've never seen anything like it. You should go and explore, but I'd say it's topside if I were you. The seabed can host some pretty sketchy characters. Good to keep in mind. I'm sure I will meet them eventually. Welcome to new Carcinian. Carcinia. Beacon of civilization amongst the harsh violence of the sands between. The sands between, huh? Huh? The sands between? That's not a coincidence. There's no way. A grasshopper walks into a bar. The bartender says, hi, we have a drink named after you. The grasshopper says, you have a drink called Steve. I don't know if I've heard that one, but I've heard something very similar to that one. Hi, Fanag. How are you doing today? Good to see you. <laughs> CVS received sidewalk is great. The sands between. A testament to the prevailing power of industry. The city of dreams. The big crab apple. And the defining pillar of the trash economy which supports all of the crustacean society. How did I get into this conversation? <laughs> My name you ask? I didn't. Tortellini. The town greeter at your service. I'm beyond excited to greet two new visitors in a single day. Is that a lot? Not at all. We usually get 20 to 30. Then why? Wait, did you say two? Was the other one a shark carrying the coolest shell you've ever seen? 
Oh, a friend of yours. Not at all. I have got to kick that guy's butt and get my shell back. Oh, a sworn enemy then. This day gets more exciting by the minute. I've got to catch it before he sells my shell to who knows who. Can you tell me where I went? Not at all. I greeted him with gusto and then didn't give him a second thought. What sort of town greeter would I be if I looked behind me to keep tabs on those I've already greeted rather than facing forward to greet those yet to come? Okay, okay, okay. Where would someone trying to sell a shell go then? I can think of exactly four places. They might have tried to sell it to the Shellfish Desires, the luxury goods store. It's more of an antique shell. They might have gone to check if the museum curator might purchase it. Failing those, they might have visited bottom feeders, the dive bar, and the lower crust to try and pass it off with some piece of gutter trash. And finally, they could have gone to the back alley blacksmith to sell it for scrap. Okay, thank you so much. I'll check out all those places. Cod speed, small fry. With that, I could give you more of a tour. But my work is never done whilst there remain travelers left ungreeted. Thanks, friend. Happy Tuesday, Fnog. How is your week treating you so far? How's everybody's week going so far? I was working on all the server stuff yesterday. I didn't really say too much in the Discord. All right, so that's the bottom feeders area down there. Something tells me it's a place we're gonna have to check out with some seedy people. <laughs> what up? See that hermit over there? Isn't he so mysterious? The one standing uncomfortably close to us right now? Heavens no, not them. The mysterious blue one over by the bar. <laughs> Damn, I mean, at least they're honest. Oh, please tell me you don't mean Firth. Tilapia went on a date with him and he tried to get her to invest in sand dollars. <laughs> I love the highbrow humor that's in this game. I really do. You deserve someone better, Delty. Some hard-working crab who will treat you right. But he's just so mysterious. I've just been unable to stop thinking about that awful business happening in the grove. Would you hush up and enjoy your kelp, Benedict? All the bleeding heart nonsense is ruining brunch. Wow, get told. Oh, I can't sit on these ones. Okay, I didn't think so, but I'd still check. What up? Birth! Hey there, great to see a new hermit in town. Nice to meet you. You seem pretty excited. Well, truth is, I've had a bit of a financial setback recently. I just spent a lot of microplastics on rare trash you only uh, you can only get in the shallows. So I could sell it at a profit in the city, you know? Hello, Gamma Psych. How are you doing today? Welcome in, raiders. Hello, hello. Hello, drum doos. How are you doing? Took my dog for our evening walk, made asparagus, lamb chop, mashed potatoes for dinner. Dang, all right, sounds like a good day, Fnog. I hope that walk was nice. Today was like one of our last decent kind of days. It's supposed to be warm again. Hello, Gamma, hello, Drum Doos. Hello, Lord the Destroyer. How are y'all doing today? Welcome in. How was Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? Welcome in, everyone. My name is CD. I'm a variety game streamer from Arkansas in the US. Around these lovely parts, we focus on first blind playthroughs of story-based games, uh, along with a whole bunch of other stuff. From old games to new games, indie titles to triple A's, we kind of just play it all. So, welcome in. How are you? How was stream? I'm very tired at the moment, but I'm doing well. Well, go get you some rest. <laughs> if anybody does need a raid and run or anything, please feel free to. I know that across the ocean from me, it is a lot later. It's only almost six my time. So, we're just going to be chilling and playing some Another Crab's Treasure, which is a very cute indie game that is like a Souls-like game. It's very cute and very funny. You got lost in a dungeon? That can be so easily done in Legend of Zelda. It is... 
Not even funny. I can say I've definitely done that a time or two. Well, thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. If you want to let our community know a little more about you, what all types of games you cover over on your channel and when the next time we can catch you live, that would be fantastic. And of course, if you do need a raid and run yourself, please do your post stream stuff. We're just going to keep plugging away. Uh, boop. But the whole trade route bridge was collapsed when I got there. So I had to leave the goods behind and take another route. I was pretty upset about it, but a setback is just another opportunity. And now I'm thinking maybe I can start charging people to take the alternate route I found. That's the kind of level I'm on. Always thinking, always adapting. A shrewd investor never puts all his shells in one. I mean, puts all his butts in one shell, you know? And that's my goal in life. I get butts into shells, specifically my butt. Damn, okay. And specifically, the fanciest, flashiest, most expensive shell I could possibly. I possibly can. You feel me? Uh, not really. <laughs> I'm a shell trader, kid. That's a hermit's life. A uh, lot in life. Always looking to upgrade. Swap out the old shell for a better one. If you're smart, you'll get into the business, too. A whole ocean of opportunity could be passing you by, you know? Um, thanks, but clearly you don't know about my shell, then, because... Sounds like my shell's not good enough for you. There's a lot of different hooks that take different directions, but I'm just gonna keep going the normal way. I do not blame you, Drum. Well, if you need to get you some sleep, you enjoy. Hey, gotcha, that sounds good, Gamma. That's really cool. Is this your first time playing Twilight Princess? I do love my morning constitution around New Carcinia Square. So says I, Bart. Bartleby Shoals. I got a feeling that's a reference that I don't get. Trash fi uh, futures have never been brighter. I'm positively drowning in the stuff. It's such a rapidly growing market. I simply can't understand how any crab could miss out on these opportunities. Souvenirs, tchotchkes, miscellaneous baubles of various sizes and quality. Get them at their cheapest right before trash day restock. Another profitable trash day is just ahead for yours truly. The hotel is booked to the gills with eager tourists and I don't even have to lift a pincer. Congrats, I guess. Can I ring this bell or will be the upset? Ah, Of course not. Where's this? One? This just leads down. Oh, we may as well grab this. Moot snail shell found. All right, hey there. What do you want? I'm sorry, but I'm very busy business crab. Very busy with business. Oh, sorry, it looked to me like you were just standing around. What you've just told me is that you know nothing about doing business. I guess not. <laughs> well, that sounds about right. Chat, did you know business, 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 business? Now we've conducted business. I got you, Gamma. Yeah, no, that makes sense. There's some games that I play like in my childhood that I'm like, I don't remember them at all. There's others that I could tell you everything about them. So completely understand. It's almost like a first playthrough because you don't remember anything from it. <laughs> no, that's super fair. Uh, no better city in the world than New Carcinia. I've never been, uh, I've never even been anywhere else. That's how great it is. Okay, well then how do you know it's great? Why did I give you that here? Is there gonna be some fighting nearby? Okay, you don't have anything to say? All right, fair enough. Hi there. Welcome to Shellfish Desires, the flagship brick and mortar store of Shellfish Corp. How goes it, my visibly financially troubled friend? Is it that obvious? It is. I suppose you've come up to the upper crust for a bit of window shopping. Wow. No shame in it. Plenty of folks pause their way through. Uh, pause, pause on their way through town. Wait, 
Yeah, way through town to take a look at our luxury shelves. Jesus Christ. And you've got five minutes before your pause becomes a loiter. So enjoy them while they last, my friend. Wow, this guy is a dick. Shell insurance. <laughs> At shellfish desires, you can pay microplastics to ensure any shell you've worn before. At a moon snail shell, you can pick any insured shell to start with every time you respawn. Useful. I'll say that is pretty useful. Wait, but what about selling my stuff? I can buy a shuttlecock. Nice. Uh, Bartholomew. That sounds like fun. Wow, these are very expensive. I'll give them that. Little bro. Piggy bank. Imposter. Of course, yeah, I just got to it, he <laughs> blackbird. Ha. I feel old with you, Gamma. No worries, I feel old with you. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, baby shoe. Trophy. March Yoshka. Aw, you get a little cape thing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we could just call it 10 Gamma. I'm not going to say anything more than that. I feel like we have to have the. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, Gamma. Thank you again. Oh my god, they have so many unique ones in here. What the heck? Oh, I love that. Yes, please take care of anything you need to, Gamma. Thanks again for the raid. I appreciate it. Oh my god. I mean, I have stuff, but I think I need it. Like, I don't know where to sell my stuff at yet. Maybe down at the scrap person. Have you seen my shell? Big Sharp come in town and try to sell you a shell recently. Oh, he sure did. I told him to get stuffed. We don't do trade-ins here. Even if we did, I'd never take the kind of beat up junk he sold me. He sold you? He was trying to sell you or sold you? Not a clue where he went after that. Does anybody in the city pay any attention? Probably not. Well, I'll come back whenever I sell my stuff. I don't know where I'm supposed to sell it at, but... Trade it in for microplastics, yeah. At 2,000, I've got another... 3,500, like I got a decent amount. Like I could buy at least an outfit or something if I wanted to. Oh, Jackson, every day I find myself looking down, wishing you were up here with me, claw and claw. The tide, we crossed paths. I was immediately smitten, but my family would never approve of me with a commoner. There's nothing common about you. Maybe one day I'll possess the courage to tell you, but until then I shall yearn from afar. Uh huh. You down there. Yeah? You're so small. Positively minuscule. A regular little zooplankton. I love it. Have your people contact my people. We simply must do lunch. My people? I'm telling you, dude, ancient civilizations were way more advanced than we thought. They built all sorts of stuff out of natural environments. They had no need to wait for Trash Island to show up. What, like those medieval nut jobs in the shallows? Advanced my shell. No, 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 way cooler than that. They made stuff that still hasn't been recreated today. And they did it with magic. All right, I think you need to lay off the seaweed. The seaweed. <laughs> 
Look at the big stupid museum. What's the point of the whole building to store old crap from the past? Call me when they start showing off objects of the sh future. Blah, blah. Are you with me, bud? Hey, can I go out this way? No! Uh, okay, I'll go somewhere else. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you like that. It's just under a lot of pressure, okay? People are not happy they can't go to uh, get a to the open ocean right now. They keep calling me names like phoned in progress blocker and saying my fence is lazy design. There's a good reason for it. Trash Island is on the way here right now. If we kept all the avenues of tran uh, transit open during trash day, it'd be a goddamn ship show in here. Why can't all these civvies understand that the rules are there for a reason? I don't know, sir. I don't know. Advanced my shell. I know, cod damn ship, ship whatever the hell I just said. I love all the like play on words and stuff. It's been very funny. Sounds good, Vandal. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. I'll just be playing some of this. All right, we'll talk. I guess we'll talk to you then. Excuse me, what is this building? What ho, little one? You stand before the new Carcinia Museum of Carcinized History, I say. Oh, neat. Can I go in? Apologies, but the museum is currently closed to the public while we put the finishing touches on the new ex exhibition or exhibit. Oh. Hey, I'm looking for a tall shark who stole my shell. You seen anyone like that? Hmm, can't say I have. But if I had traveled here to fend stolen goods, I'd start in the lower crust down beneath us. Gotcha. Thanks. Be careful down there, I say. Fair enough. Tape is upside down. Like, there's just so many little details, Kuma, that are just, like, so good in this. Hello. The end is nigh. Nigh, I tell you. Nigh! You there, young man. I trust you've made proper preparations for the apocalypse. The apoca what? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. The ignorance of your youth. The apocalypse. The end of all things. Big and small. Cities collapsing. Crabs devouring crabs. Fish learning to drive. And of course, the gunk. The gunk? Indeed, no one knows where it comes from. But it can appear wherever crabs call home and chokes the life out of wherever it spreads. And surely, before long, it will cover even this city. That sounds horrible. What should I do to prepare? I have no idea! I was really hoping you did. That's why I approached you. Huh. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? I don't see any gunk in the city. Calling me crazy, are you? You'll see. You'll all see. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hey, Manta. Yeah, Col Coley? What are we doing? Like, right now. Like, right now? We're hanging out by the crystal. Hanging out by the crystal? Yeah. You want to do anything after this? I know a really cool crystal on the other side of town. We could go hang out by that. You're the best. Ah! Hey, Manta. Yeah, Coley? That guy broke our cool crystal. No way! Just walked right up and broke it. What happened to live and let live, Coley? No idea. Life really isn't what it used to be. Want to go find another cool crystal? I sure do. Can't let this jer Can't let jerks like this ruin our chill. So true. Wow, I'm a dick. <laughs> What's going on over here? Hey, small fry, word of advice. Don't stick your claws in where you don't belong. Something like that. Hi, I'm in significant trouble. Do you want me to help you with that? No, thank you. I'll never grow as a person if I don't learn to fight my own battles. Okay, hope it goes well. Thanks, it probably won't. The fuck?! You a lot of plastics, Porgy. A lot of plastics. You're good for it though, right? Well, um, you have fun with that, I guess. Pawn. <laughs> Wait, can I actually pawn my stuff here? Because I, I have stuff I need to sell. Hear that the upper crusters technology is way ahead of what we've got down here. Yeah, for sure. I hear they've got some magic trash that lets them send messages all the way to space and back. 
I heard that they're already cracked teleportation, and that they upload a crab's brain into a totally different body. We're shucked, man. How am I supposed to compete for jobs with a teleporting crab? Ain't no way, ain't no way. God. Prawn. Yeah, prawn shop. That's true, there's the R there. Excuse you? What the hell? Or sorry, what the shell? Oh, that guy got high. What the shell, man? Oh, that's rude. Just got straight ran over. Yeah, could we were talking a little bit about a, ah, a little bit ago about just like all the small details and stuff. The film reels that keep like the the gate or like I don't know guardrail or whatever. Uh, they all have cat pictures and dog pictures on them. They're super cute. I'll be right back. I just need to grab my water real fast because I forgot to bring my water in here earlier. Just give me just one second. I forgot he does that. And I can lose it if he... I'm glad I didn't get run over by a car while I was gone. I would have laughed pretty hard if I had. I'm trying to get... Oh. I was gonna say, I'm trying to get nice and cozy. Seriously. Oh, I am going to murder you the next time I see you. Why aren't you wearing a shell? You look cold. Just waiting for the right one, I suppose, kid. <laughs> okay. Everyone calls me Krusty. Hey, Krusty, over here. Krusty, you Krusty? How's it going? I'm so tired of it. I'm sorry you have to deal with all that name calling. That's the worst part, it's my real name. Oh. Okay. Now there's so many people to talk to here. No more discussion, I'm headed to the flotsam va veil and that's it. Dad, you gotta quit that job. Didn't you read the studies? Working around that gunk totally damages your brain. It's uh, scientifically proven. A load of crap, if you ask me. If my brain was getting damaged, it would have happened by now. I've already been working for Shellfish Corp for... How many tides was it again? Hey, buddy, you get a load of my friend over here. This crab will tell you how things really are. He'll say the stuff we're all thinking in private. The kind of stuff the topsiders don't want you to hear. You hear? This place sucks. Was he talking about this guy or is he talking about this guy? Used to be I had a job topside. Okay, quick thing helping. Uh, some well-to-do family with some trash moving. There was a fine fellow who seemed to take a shining to me. Sometimes I wonder what he's up to. Mm. Sorry, pal, no entry here right now. Still cleaning up this path after last trash day. I'll have it done soon, promise. Can you really clean this all up by yourself? They'll find me if I don't, so yes. Oh, actual just trash bags got it. Just taking it in day by day, or day at a time. Maybe one day I can afford to take it a whole week at a time. Not getting my hopes up though. Poor guy, go, poor them. Nice, Anatomaton, I hope it was nice. 
My computer flips some veils, getting worse each time. You gotta take a fish car. I heard it's pretty affordable. Sure, it used to be. They only kept prices low until they could run ca uh, Crab Taxi out of business. Crab Taxi was just a scheme by the wealthy investor to take funding away from the scale rail. And the scale rail was only gonna serve privileged neighborhoods in the first place. So screw it. I'll swim there myself if I have to. All right, hitting a little too close to home game. <laughs> I used to work out of the veil, sorting garbage for Shellfish Corp, but things outside the reef have been getting scarier lately. Crabs losing their minds, new predators coming in, no thanks. No job is worth that. I'll take my chances in the city. At least the only predators I gotta worry about here are the lone sharks. Well, they're kind of annoying, believe me. Take the back alley. Hey, kid. Hey, mister. Be sure to take care of yourself. I've seen too many good crabs let themselves waste their way around here. Waste away down here. They'll tell you no one gets polluted in the reef. But down here in the lower crust, it happens. It happens. Thanks. I'll be careful. I hope you have a real nice day. Oh, here? Okay. Goodness. I feel you, Nana Tomaton. I didn't take a shower until like right before stream, and it was really nice. So I feel ya. Not a lot of hermits left in the reef these days. Not really sure why. Any mass migrations I should know about? Beats me. I'm not really involved with the community. Sorry. Happy to meet you regardless. Keep safe, small fry. Yeah, there's some nice people down here. Hey, little guy. I'm not that little. You think so? I'm pretty little, and you're even littler than little old me. Step out of the city and meet some real big guys. You'll feel pretty little pretty quick. I see that car. Anything else back here? Kind of seems like a maze back here. Might not be anything, but... Well, there's something right there. I can't reach it, though. I figured there was some verticality to this. Just based off the design. Oh, nice. Classic S. Anything else up here that I can find? There's a lot to explore in this little city. I'm probably quite surprised. Mm, I don't really see anything. We gotta do some scaling on automaton. I gotta get, gotta get some some microplastics, so we can make a living. All right, that's one of the places I needed to go to. So, don't know where that car went. I'll probably get run back over again. I love your shell, little cutie. Thanks. It's new. It doesn't really feel like me though. Will you wear it well in the meantime, sweetie? I'm sure you'll find the right shell for you eventually. That's right, you jerk. He just literally tried to run me over. PJs, there's so much to this. And again, even if you're not a Souls-like player, this is probably one of the most approachable Souls-likes there are because there are actual, like, a lot of different assist things that you can turn on. You can even give your character a gun, for God's sake, so. <laughs> there's, like, a whole bunch of different uh, difficulty settings. You can, like make enemies easier, like keep your shell, even keep your currency on death, so like. Uh, excuse me. So, if you want to play it and give it a try, at least they have options to make it easier if it is hard. If you ever find a shell you're real fond of, you can pay Shellfish Desires to insure it for you. That way, if it ever gets lost or damaged, they'll replace it for you, no questions asked. Well, it's actually pretty useful, thanks ma'am. See, we got some useful information, but we already knew that because we already talked to the person. This is bottom feeders. Come here. No, you come back here, bud. Okay, apparently I can't hit him. I tried, though. 
bottom feeders. We're in the un the, the lower crust? I was going to say under crust. I'm enter real fast since the cars ran me over twice. Nope. Oh, stop trying to run me over, you absolute jerk. Okay, I'd already talked to those guys. Okay. She's trying to see where I was at. I used to have it all. I used to be somebody. Then one bad deal and pow! Down here with the sorry lot. Do I look like a bottom feeder to you? Of course not. I'll make my way, or I'll make it back up there someday. One day. No matter how many other crabs I gotta step on. That's a pretty bad way to look at it, bud. I didn't see. What does this license, or what does this thing say? Filth chaser. Uh-huh. Living on the bottom is bad enough, but listening to the bang, bang, banging of the crusty old blacksmith is going to drive me sh uh, shucking crazy. <laughs> Ahoy there, traveler. Pull up a cork and stay a while. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't seen you before, mister. Uh-huh. You came to the right place. Mom's bar is super cool and popular. Hey, hey, hey. You a customer? You ought to talk to my mom. She's the one in charge. These little guys make my trips out to the open ocean a little less lonely and a little more safe. What more could a crab ask for, you know? Hey there, youngin. Welcome to the bottom feeders. Finest little watering hole this side of the slurry. Hi, uh, my name's Krell. I'm new to town, I guess. Thought I'd recognize a fresh face. Please, this plastic to meet you, Krell. Name's Nima. If you've got the money, why not stop on in for a bite? My kiddos and I would love to have you. We also offer a store, a stowaway hiring service if you're interested in such thing. Uh, what's a stowaway? Oh, I'm sure you've seen them around. That's our nickname for any sort of little fella that sticks itself to your shell, little fella. Oh, like a barnacle? Exactly. And for the right price, there's all sorts of them that might tag along. People pay for that? They sure do, hon. Lots of our visitors here are travelers just stopping by who could use a little company on the road. You ought to consider it uh, if you got a journey ahead of you. The open ocean could get mighty lonely, hun. I'll think about it. Thanks, fam. Ah, call me Nama, hun. I'm not a crabby old lady just yet. Interesting. Okay. Fruit sticker. Another crab. Aww. Her hair is, is an orange peel. I love that, Kuma. I noticed that. Sounds good, Rube. Have a good night. I love you and hope the move goes well in the morning. Thank you. Sand dollar vanishes on death, but prevents you from losing microplastics. Nice. Cool. Okay. Ah, uh, you can increase your capacity. That's also cool. Shell? Hey, uh, if it's not too much of a bother, I'm looking for a shark that took my shell. Any chance you stop by here? Fairly sure to remember a fella like that swimming into my establishment. Sorry, kiddo. That's okay. Huh, no worries. You better not have scrapped my shell. Although hopefully that's where I can finally sell my stuff so I can, so I can uh, buy some of the other stuff. Oh, hey, here's something. A rusty nail. Apparently I can't go up those. Oof, almost fell off. Oh, there's another crystal on top of that, too. I know, right, Fnog? 
It, I'm telling you, it's been super clever. There's a lot of funny, just, you know, simple play on words, but there's also, like, so much, I don't know, like, <sighs> humor, but I don't know. There's just a lot to it. It's so much more than just what you would think. It's just like a little, oh, a little crab game where you hit people and stuff. There's a lot of hidden fun to it. And clearly it's trying to tell us about throwing trash in the ocean, all that good messaging and stuff, so. It's got some feely goods in it. Yeah, they were clever and you could tell that they had a lot of fun making a bunch of the different stuff. A limpet. Okay. Now that we're back down here, let's talk to anybody we have left. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Steady on, Erich. Not one step further, mate. You're gonna want to keep your distance. How, how come? Uh, how come? Your eyes full of sediment, mate? Can't you see what I am? I'm the type of guy who hurts everyone I touch, mate. Aww. Oh. That can't possibly be true. I, I bet you haven't found the right person to show your affection to yet. I could... I could give you a hug. Maybe, maybe that'd help you open up. Bloody shell, mate! You're an odd one. Take my advice and leave me be savvy. Ah. Aww. <laughs> I had to try and see what it would do. What did I bloody tell you, mate? So everyone's got the same story. All oh, oh, old Eric she can't be that pointy. They've got such a sense of humor. And then what happened? You get poked just like the rest of them. Can't say I didn't warn you, mate. Freaking fish. I won't give up. What? I won't give up. I'm gonna hug you no matter what it takes. Look, mate, I really appreciate the effort, but I wasn't being metaphorical. You see the spikes, right? The physical spikes, mate. The spikes that'll spike you. I've been through worse. It's your funeral. So maybe we need to, like, find something to... All right, great joking around, mate, but seriously, stop it. This is might embarrassing. I'll never stop. I can't just leave you like this. Look, I'm doing fine, mate, trust me. I was just being melodramatic. I'm sorry I said anything. Just be on your merry way and forget this ever happened, all right? But... God, I can't bear to watch. You gotta stop doing this to yourself. Can't you see I'm no good for you? You're wrong about yourself. Look, mate, I understand your desire to fix me. Perhaps you see something in me that you want to fix in yourself, eh? But there ain't no good in around it. The two of us are fundamentally incompatible, savvy? Ain't nothing healthy about two folks who only hurt each other trying to stay close just to fill some kind of perceived void. Good God, why is this game going this deep? Oh my god, yeah, Superland. I cannot wait for Super World to come out on Automaton. Apparently, they're supposed to have a, uh, a, uh, like, beta or, like, a early access or something for it before the end of this year. I think originally it said, like, I need to go look that up. I thought it was October, maybe. Gonna be a very late night for a Swede. <laughs> What's up, Jokerman? Hope you're doing well. I'm excited about it, too. Mace! And Mace this is already on the board. deeper than all the fish in the ocean. Kappa. There you are. I was like, I know I have you on here. That one. That one's Mace. I was like, I know Mace is on the board. Mace, thank you so much for the tier 3 sub in 54 months. Thank you so much. I appreciate the heck out of you. Thank you for supporting me, even before the plus program stuff. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? Enjoy your emotes and ad previewing for another 30 days. About to get stomped on by Yoshi. Wait, why? What? What do you mean you're about to get stomped on by Yoshi? I'm so confused. I know I'll never stop. Let me love you. I'm trying, Fnog, but they're not letting me love them. Welcome back, Game Dragon. Yeah, that was getting really hard. Like, damn, that was coming close to the heart. Oh, you're about. Oh, I get it. I'm a dingus. He's sitting. This, the, he's sitting. You can't see it, but that. Yeah, he's sitting. So, you're. You need. 
You're not either getting stomped or otherwise. <laughs> What's up, Chris? How are you doing today? I'm doing all right, thank you. It's been kind of a, an odd day in general for me, but overall, I have this lovely community to cheer me up in a lovely game to play. We haven't had too much action because we came into this town and there's just been like a crap ton of talking, but that's okay. There's so much support, it's difficult to see, yeah. Yeah, that's his butt, so he's already sitting on the ground. He's just a little fat Yoshi, we love him. <laughs> Sounds like a couple people are waiting to uh, to do their mm. subs until their old sub subs run out. So we're on pretty good pace. I was talking about it earlier in the stream, but we're approximately, this is just me doing approximations based off of a number that I got from September 3rd. But uh, it looks like we're around 37 points away. And that's just, that's a rough estimate if everybody was to renew their sub from last month. And then it sounds like we've got about four people then who are waiting on their sub to end um, so that they get the most out of their previous sub. So we're we're gonna be close. We'll have to find a couple couple things somewhere, but we're close. So no mace, because it only goes like because I just need the points for three months. Like, don't get me wrong, it still helps, like, further out. But, um, it's, it's only based on, like, a per month thing. So, like, whoever, like, if you have a tier 3 sub this month, and, like, non Automaton has a tier 1 sub this month, then, like, it didn't matter if, like, you guys used your sub, like, in the next month. That counts only towards the points for next month, if that makes sense. Which is why I've been telling people, like, if you do it for three months, that just means for me, like, that's a guarantee on your end that it's gone for three months. If that makes sense. The program is kind of weird. It's hard to explain like quickly and accurately. But yeah, so that's why I've been asking people to, to, to do the three months is one, you get 30% off. And two, it basically means that those points are already locked in and guaranteed for the three months that I would need it. So doing it for six months, I if it gets you a better discount, that would be the only reason to do that. So, but it's a good question. Chris, I'm glad you're doing pretty good. You're most welcome. Hopefully your week have started off well. <laughs> I see. I will be here for a long time. I may as well knock it out. Well, if it gets you a better discount, then that's definitely the way to do it. Um, the only other thing people have mentioned is that December last year. Now, this is not a guarantee because I don't I don't remember them doing it this before last year. But in December, they did like another discount thing. So if you did three months, then maybe you'll be able to do another three months. Or if you just want to lock in your 30% off price, then doing the six months is the best option. So whatever you want, I appreciate the, I appreciate the support no matter what you do. So hi, Ready Loaf. How are you doing? Welcome in Raiders. What is Corpus Edex? I have no clue what that game is. That is one that's out of left field. Hello, Ready Love. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, Night Paper. Hi, B Hi B Twizzled. How are y'all doing today? Welcome in. My name's CD. We're currently playing another, another Crab's Treasure, which is a cute little indie title. It's kind of like a Souls-like game. And it's been really fun and super cute, and it's kind of gotten super real just a minute ago. So <laughs> we just kind of were talking about some other stuff. But welcome in. How are y'all doing? Ready Loaf, what were you playing? I have no idea what that is. Everybody, Ready Loaf is a lovely individual I met through Real Out Chest Breach. And they play a whole slew, a variety of different games, but I do not know what this one is. And if you do need a raid and run or anything, please do that. Oh wait, you did a 30 minute stream today. I got it. oh no, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been laughing about the 30 minutes now. I've actually had that happen before where I had to like either stop or like pause the stream because I had to go help uh, my ex with his car one time. So yeah, no, you, you go take care of whatever you need to. I will catch up with you later. So I'll, I'll catch up with you later. And it ain't no lack of kindness to force yourself into someone's life when they're made it real clear it ain't the right call. I'd love to if this would work, but you gotta keep move on. You gotta just move on. Sometimes there ain't no happy endings. But I want there to be a happy ending, goddammit. Why is this game so real? This ain't normal, mate. This weren't no act of kindness to begin. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. That you just got off of watching. No! 
Oh, what the heck, man? No. Wow, this game is too deep. Maybe there's some way I can help him in the future, or is it always just gonna be like that? That's really sad, what the hell? Game, why'd you have to go and do that? <laughs> Hi, Dr. Dark, how are you doing? Good to see you. Breddy always does this? I don't think so. Uh, we didn't play a whole lot, but it seems very fun. I'll have to look it up, Breddy Loaf, because I don't recognize it. Ooh, a nice solid praise the sun. Everybody, if you have been sitting down for a while and you haven't stretched, make sure you do. Ugh. Ah, the car tried to hit me again. That freaking car. Ah, uh, thank you for the nice stretch. All right. Hi. Rough it in the city ain't easy, but I'd rather be struggling down here than dead out there. We get news of more towns getting polluted every week. Count me out of that kind of vibe. You know, I'm not as tough as I look. You don't look that tough. Thanks for rubbing it in, guy. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point, damn. Cough, the doctor said I could go back to work if I'm not coughing up blood. That sounds terrible. Basically, Fnog, like, I'm like, oh, this game is great. It's got really cute humor and stuff. And then they lay on the heavy stuff and I'm like, okay, guys. Ho, oh, oh, ho, okay, we're hitting. We're hitting a little too real here, all right? <laughs> oh, ahoy there, scrap. Hammerhead. It's a fine piece of metal in your claw there. Lots of promise. Care to make it shine with me, scrap? Have you seen my shell? Make it shine? You mean my fork? This is just some piece of junk I found in my neighborhood. Aye, what a piece of junk it is, scrap. Bring this old smith some relics he can break down and he'll show you what that junk of yours can really do. Sounds useful. Okay, have you seen my shell? I almost don't wanna ask, but um, did a big jerk shark come here trying to sell a shell for scrap? It would have probably seemed crazy to you because the shell is super gorgeous and cool. I he came by, turned that shell, uh, shell to scrap as soon as I could. <laughs> I knew it. Sad day. What? Are you serious? Sure as sea foam I am. Nay, wait, you said a shark? Scrap that, my mistake. No sharks came by, nah. <laughs> Damn, my poor guy. What? What do you think I said? You almost gave me a heart attack. No need to shout, Scrap. My ears work just fine. Do they? You definitely said shark. One stainless relic. Oh! Nice! Okay, so I still don't know where the hell I'm supposed to sh shell my stuff. It's gotta be somewhere. I just gotta find where that shark went. The city is so big, how am I ever gonna find my shell? Yeah, I was waiting for that car to go by so it didn't hit me. This place is so stupid. <laughs> and it's loud. Why couldn't everyone just leave me alone? Everywhere I turn, someone's trying to take something away from me or sell me some kind of... Scuttle right up, fellow citizens! It's the grand opening of the prawn shop, full of legitimate shallows made wares. We got plastics, we got metals, we got packing foam, we got garbage you ain't even heard of yet. What the? Excuse me, is that my shell? That definitely looks like my shell. I think we found it, Nana Tomaton. <laughs> I think your peeking of the, the crabby peepers worked. Duh. That's my shell. Are you serious? This guy's still following me? All right, play cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, give that back. It was stolen from me by a jerk shark. Well, first off, uh, first off, that shark seems super cool and chill to me. Second of all, he uh, sold it to me, fair and square. You want it back, you gotta buy like everything else in the store. That's how the prawn shop works, baby. Well, how much and uh, what can I actually pay with? Depends on what you got, pal. I've got a few microplastics, I guess, and some string. Look, that shell's really important to me. Can I work for it or something? I'll do anything. We are just 
we should have been like somewhat interested in the shell. Dude, Krill is not doing a good job of this. Anything, huh? Yeah, I guess I could probably come up with some arduous, meaningless time sinks for you to partake in and earn your shell back. For starters, why don't you scrap the barnacles, scrape the barnacles off my sweaty... Wait, wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? Belay this conversation, kid. Trash Island is here! This always catches me off guard. I gotta get ready before I miss out on some prime plastics. Hey, hey, I'm not done talking to you. Oh goodness. Oh, this is terrible. Back off. I saw it push. Get your own trash, mom suckers. Jeez. Is that thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's a message from the captain! It's got his face right on it! It's gotta be! Excuse me? Excuse me, please. Pardon me. Excuse me, young lady. <laughs> As new Cassinia's official historian, I'm sure I can shed some light on... My God! If I'm not mistaken, this is part of a map! A map showing the way to a most valuable treasure, I say. If someone were to find its missing pieces and decipher them, why, they'd be rich beyond their wildest dreams, I say. Rich? I like the sound of that. That treasure's as good as mine. I'll be able to afford the flashy shell in the ocean, you know? Not if I get there first. Think of all the tourists that treasure can bring to our city. Well, don't you count out us bottom siders. You'll be eating your hat when I get that treasure and fix up my restaurant. It would appear the hunt is on, I say. The first stop on the map seems to be the forest to the north of here. May the best, Crab. Apologies for the interruption, folks. I seem to have misheard something. I could have almost sworn there were some citizens here planning on unearthing some valuables. Need I remind you all how threatening the ocean is outside this reef? I'd hope it would go without saying that the duty of such a dangerous excavation would fall to the Shellfish Corporation. That would be safest for all involved. Don't you agree? Yeah, I hear you, Roland. No, no problem. Then, as Shellfish Corp's CEO in this fair city's de facto mayor, I suppose no one would have any objections to my taking sole control of this treasure hunt. Are we all in agreement? Oh, oh dear. I, I suppose that sounds all right with me, I say. You hear what they're talking about over there? Sounds like some kind of crazy treasure hunt. Hey, kid, I just got an idea. <laughs> you can go get that treasure there, John, about. I'll gladly trade your shell for it. For, for real? You'd really do that? No, for fuck's sake. A prawn never goes back on his promise. Aw, uh, yeah! I'm gonna find that treasure! Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah, you go, kid. Roland can't tell us what to do. That treasure belongs to whoever can find it first. The corporations don't control us! I suppose a little friendly competition is only fair. Uh-huh. I hope you know what you just dove into, kid. See you in the open ocean, treasure hunters. <laughs> a person's wearing a silicone packet. Start the treasure hunt! Dang, that was crazy with a capital Z. You really stepped in it now, kid. That squid that hangs around Roland doesn't think twice about disappearing people. Y you told me to. Hey, I recall merely making a suggestion, pal. But the offer still stands. If you can get me that treasure, the shell's all yours. Okay, well, where do I start? Why don't you listen to that old dude? It's off in the grove, way north of here. You've got a big a walk ahead of you. 
Great. Well, I guess I have no choice now. I'm on this treasure hunt, whether I like it or not. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you find any other drunk out there, I'll take it off your hands for some microplastics. Fair is fair. Cool, I was wondering. Wait, why would we buy junk? Oh. Shark cake. This feels kind of unethical. Jeez. The heart kelp sprout. I'm keeping that. The shark egg does. There's a whole bunch of people that want to talk to us, I think. Well, hang on, everybody. I want to see if I can buy a costume. I don't know if I have enough. Dang it, I don't have enough to buy an outfit. But I can't do shell insurance. Not a bad idea. Here, I'll do that. Purchase some insurance. There we go. So at least I have a shell if I do die. A shell of my choosing. Even the city in today's climate? How frightful. But if we all work together, I'm sure we could find that treasure and come back in one piece. We could build a new church with that kind of money. Our faithful will worship in the parking lot no more. Oh boy, it feels like a real life treasure hunt. This is the sort of thing you can read about in books like a uh, crab uh, has like a little crablet. Do you think we'll find a shark or a bomb bit worm? Or one of those horrendous monstrosities that live only in the deepest depths of the drain? I really hope not. Just drifted into town and you're already making waves, kiddo. If it wasn't for you, we'd have all just rolled over and let Roland step all over us like usual. So we're all going after treasure then. Seems like it. If that old timer who runs the museum ain't pulling our claws, whoever gets this treasure is going to have some serious pull around town. But honestly, as long as someone gets it who ain't Roland, most of us will be darn pleased. Who is that guy anyway? Why does everyone hate him so much? Roland, only the CEO of Shellfish Corp. The largest trash scavenging operation out there. Besides what did a few independent traders haul in with their own two claws, all trash makes its way in New Carcinian. Uh, Carcinia th goes through Roland. So he's got deep pockets. Shellfish Corp owns most of the buildings in town by now and charges a pretty plastic for a privilege in living home. Those of us down in the lower crust, you could say we ain't really fans of the way things are going. So taking him down a peg by waving some treasure in his face? I can think of a lot worse ways of spending a tide or two. But enough about rolling. We gotta make tracks towards that treasure. That museum curator told us to head towards the grove, right? Uh, I've been to the grove before. Meet me just outside of the city if you need a nudge in the right direction. Aw, that is nice. <laughs> Chris, so we've now had three people say this. Two people for Ninja Turtles and one for Mario. So, <laughs> so it looks like my totally not misleading, but totally vague <laughs> go live message inspires some people to wonder what we're doing. So I'll use that to my advantage in the future. <laughs> What's up, Lars? How are you doing? There will be some shell kick and we haven't actually gotten to do any for a little bit because the city was just so big and there was so much story stuff. 
This is gonna roll. A real chance to go up against my idol, Roland. Your idol? You like that guy? Of course I do. He's a business genius, you know? Roland came into this town with nothing, saved the clothes on his back, and the trash scavenging empire that grows back generations. <laughs> yep. And he built that empire up into a somewhat bigger empire all on his own. Why go after the treasure if you think he's so cool then? You really don't know the first thing about business, kid. Sure, I respect Roland, but there's also in the same market, and that makes us rivals. The free market demands I do my best to one-up him. That's the spirit of healthy competition. Well, that was quite the clamor, I say. It's not every day you see someone go claw to claw with Roland. I didn't know I was going to cause such commotion. Oh, ho, ho, well, if you ask this old man, it's about time someone stood up to that bully. He's been attempting to pave over a museum for God knows how long. But I digress. We've got to get a move on if we want to beat Roland to the punch. As I said, the first shop on the journey is the Grove. Or er, stop on the journey. Head out of the city and keep traveling north and you'll reach it eventually. Just take care to not get oh, devoured, I say. Yeah, sounds good. All right, real quick. I got that key so I could go back down here to the blacksmith dude. Cheerum. Hey, buddy. Oh, I only have one. Ugh. I didn't read that I needed two next time. Well, I just wasted my stuff then, but that's okay. Hi, Watery. Ooh, some pesto chicken. Very nice. I hope his soups are tasty. And hopefully work wasn't too bad for you. Hope everyone's start to the week hasn't been too bad. Roland owns most of the industry around here. There aren't many folks brave enough to stand up to him. But you've really got us all fired up. He's going to regret if he thinks we're just a bunch of soft, soft shells. <laughs> Constantly, accidentally trying to say shush. Mm-hmm. Okay. Glad it was all right. I'm glad that the chicken pesto is pretty darn good. All right. Oh, good Lord. There's still a lot going on here. Welcome to Carcinia Heights, oh god. Luxury homes with luxury views for the luxurious upper cruster yearning for a life of luxury. Homes start as low as 1.5 million microplastics. Uh-huh. Wow, real life treasure hunter, right? A uh, treasure hunt right in our city. A tale of adventure, tragedy, betrayal, romance. Maybe if I hurry I can snag the novelization rights. Hi Catsby, how are you doing? Isn't it cute? I'm a cute little tennis ball right now. I can roll around with it and stuff. Yeah, this game is very cute, Katsby. If you like, you know, Souls-like style games, it's got a little bit of platforming to it. It's very cute and has a lot of funny humor and you can tell that they had a lot of fun with like creating the buildings and stuff. But yeah, I'm liking it so far. We played it about four hours last week and then I'd been really wanting to play it again. And we've been playing it for a little bit today. We haven't had too much combat because we've been spending so much time in the city learning the lore, but we're getting there. Uh, just killing some time before my BG3 game starts. Very nice. It is, it's super punny. A lot of play on words happening, but I love it for that. You're headed out to the open ocean to look for treasure? Shell no, I moved up here to avoid that sort of ruckus. Uh, let all those clout chasers get themselves killed for all I care. Damn, okay. Hey, where'd you find that fork there? Oh, this thing? I just ran into it by the shore. I'll give you 3,000 microplastics for it right now. I'm sorry, it's not for sale. Come on, kid, I could use uh, good stuff, sell, or good self-defense in a place like this. 6,000, I, I kind of need it, sorry. What, leave a poor vulnerable clab like me out in the current like that? 4,000. Wait, you just went down. I'm a haggler. Your haggling skills suck. Oh God, please don't tell me there's any, uh, <laughs> uh, no angler fish, please. I'm sure there's probably going to be at some point, but I have a newfound fear of angler fish ever since Outer Wilds. Another one of those cardboard monstrosities just went up in our neighborhood. We had the decency to take these outcasts in. The least they could do is build some nicer looking buildings. Quite so. At this rate, our pristine ocean view is going to be blocked by hideous high density housing. And we all know who's to blame. The poor people. The poor people. Just so. 
Wow. Wow. Is Urchin back yet? Still no sign of him. I told him he was heading out into the sands between was a bad idea. The boy and his get rich quick scheme. Sure hope he's doing all right. Trash Day still finds a way to surprise me after all this time. How fun it'd be to swim all the way up to Trash Island as it passes by. I bet you come back at the richest crab in town. Ha, but no one's that strong of a swimmer. In worst case scenario, you just get stuck up there. Trash Day. Silly Hagler, I know, right? Went from, what, 3,000 to 6,000 then 4,000 on Automaton? What kind of Hagler is that? Thank you for the hydration reminder. Ah, we do need to keep our brain cogs watered. I, my my sleeping pattern and stuff is so messed up right now. Hi, Akel. Oh no! Wait, I didn't get to. But. Hang on. Just like it. it lighten up or brighten up Babs. Walter and Shelly will be pulling in good trash for us once they become scrappers. Scrap the scrap. I just want my Walter safe here with me. Not out there in Scuttleport among the muck and who knows what else. So they did clear this area. Whoops. I didn't mean to fall. Oh, the guy's not down here anymore. I was going to tell that crab good job because he removed all the trash. I was impressed. I also remember there was this person over here I never talked to. So it's like, let me go back in town real quick. Grab this bread claw. Hey there, bud. You see this here? Best view in lower crust. I'll be honest, it just looks like a stinky alleyway to me. Aye, the very stinkiest. Brings a tear to my eye, don't it? <laughs> Brings a tear to your eye, don't it? Not really. Wait, what the hell is going on here? Alright, we all know our roles. Lex, present. You'll go to work to, uh, tonight, tending bar at the Trash Day Gala. You'll be our ticket in. Can do. Get those upper crusters good and distracted while we slip in the workers' entrance. There, we'll split into two teams. Team A will be Lex. Still present. And her... her... Hurst. Hello, darlings. Well, team two will consist of myself and Googles. Or goggles. <laughs> hey, team A is going to move through the fancy soiree until they find its host, the ludicrously trashy and trash rich Jeffrey Crab the Third. The sweet talk and sweet talk him into revealing the passcode to his family safe. I doubt he'll put up much of a fight. Once he lets it slip, be on team two to slip out the safe undetected and ride this scrap shoot down to the bottom with our ill-begotten rewards team a will exit the party as its proper conclusion and reconvene in the morning and cods your uncle will have woken up as some wealthy shucking crabs damn we just heard about a whole whole heist here yes catsby it's actually like a whole bunch of stuff a conglomeration of all sorts of trash I know I said Googles instead of Goggles Eagle. Clearly I need some more sleep in my life. All right. Oh, I didn't make it, okay. I really, really didn't make it. Whoop. I haven't talked to you either. Be wary of top cider, small fry. They'll make you feel special while you're useful, but don't be fooled. I moved from across the sands between because some rich bastard said I had it to me to be a shell model. Shell model. <laughs> me, can you imagine? Needless to say, he kicked me to the curb before he knew it. So yeah, don't trust top ciders. They'll play you like a goddamn fiddler. Goddamn fiddle? Fiddler. It's one of those like door thingies. Huh. All right, I think I found most everything that's down there. Now we'll go back the way I came. Shucking crabs. I 
I would guess so too, Colossus. I was kind of thinking that too. I was like, fiddle or fiddler? But I thought it said fiddler. I might have missed it. Speaking of something I missed, I might have missed. Alright, it says I have a message on Discord. Is it my one and only love? It was my one and only love saying he loved me. <laughs> There we go. Welcome back, Colossus. What do you have for dinner tonight? I wish I could have a little pet sardine. So cute. Oh my god, no way. What's up? I totally feel exactly the same way about sardines. No way. Do you want to kiss a little, maybe? Or a little bit? What? What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Awkward. All right, so that's all I missed, but uh, I'm glad I went back for it. <laughs> Come to the city, they said. It's safe inside the reef, they said. Fat lot of good if we can't even afford a place inside the walls. Still better than staying out there with the that beast out and about. Is it? What's stopping that thing from coming here anyway? What, you don't trust the scent markers? Have a little faith in technology. Hmm. A lot of talk about the end of the world these days. It's only a matter of time before whatever's gunking up crabs' minds out there comes to gunk us up too. Or you know, so they say. Y'all figure that stuff is really true? Who gives a shit? If my rent doesn't go down soon, the world can go ahead and end as far as I'm concerned. Why is this game so real? I didn't know this game was going to give me an existential crisis in my life. The sands between. Heck yeah, I've never been to the open ocean before. Enchanted Grove, here we come. Whoa, 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 hold your seahorses, kiddo. Look, we're technically rivals in the treasure hunting thingamajig. But that don't mean I want to see you get devoured before my eyes. Oh, what did I do wrong? Look, there's rules to exploring sands between. Namely, steps you gotta take from preventing him from slurping you right out of your shell and eating you whole. See these anchors or arches? Folks who com uh, commute from here have done a pretty good job of scenting routes to nearby areas. Scenting? Yep, laying down scents that he ain't a fan of. No matter how tasty you are, he won't pass near the path. Wait, who are we talking about? Who is this guy? Look, just stick to the arches, okay, kiddo? If you get chased, make your way back to one as quickly as you can. Can do. Okay, you guys know exactly what we're doing, right? We are going to run as far away from one of these as possible to find out what, who he is. So you're serious about the treasure hunt after all? Of course I am. This is my only way to get my shell back. Please don't take offense, but I half suspect you'll lose your nerve, I say. The sands between are no place for an innocent crab. Whatever, I'm super brave. Let's just get this over with so I can go home point me in the right direction. Oh ho, you might have what it takes after all, child. Such a willing to run off and get killed in the name of discovery. It brings a tear to my eye, I say. Since you're new here, I'll give you an overview. To the north is the Enchanted Grove, once a reclusive village of spiritualists. East of here is Flotsam Vale, the company town of Shellfish Corp. And west, I wouldn't go west without a good reason. No, ma no not that it matters. The captain's map has pointed us north towards the Enchanted Grove. Meet me there and we can discuss our next steps. Yes, sir. Um, so yeah. I want to do the whole run and see what happens thing, but I also don't want to lose my 750 things, so I guess I'll wait until until I don't have my Ow. Ow, why the one with the freaking cocktail thing. There is a shiny over there. They have me wanting the shinies. <laughs> Drunken claw. What does this do? I have no idea what that did. I 
I have no idea what the drunken claw does. A risky technique that increases attack for a brief time, but worsens your dodge roll and dulls your senses. Well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> so this is not a good cup, then. How do you get that off that quickly? Humble detective bundle purchase. That's smart because that's almost gone. If you guys didn't know, there's a humble detective bundle and in the US it's only $10 and it gets you seven games? Including like killer frequency, which a lot of people say is worth it just for that. Thank you very much for whoever used the humble bundle code. Enjoy your detective bundle. But I think that's only available for like two more days. I used Rube's code yesterday to get it for me, so. If you have not grabbed it yet, would be wise and recommend you do. Colossus, as soon as I get over here and make sure I'm not gonna die, I'll praise the sun. Ah, why the hell? Damn. I was gonna say, I don't have any, like, stamina. Why is... Goodness, I'm getting wrecked right now. This is what happens when we stop doing stuff and we were talking to a whole bunch of people. I got rusty all of a sudden. Bloop. Uh, but you are, if you are interested in the Humble Bundles and you haven't checked them out, we have a lovely little Humble code that helps me and also helps my charity of choice, which is St. Jude. Or if it's the case of some of the bundles, they go straight to whichever bundle um, charity is stated on there. But yeah, the detective one's really good. There's another one of those things. I like these guys. Here we go. Ah. Oh, these guys are bigger than the other ones that we fought originally, I think. Ah! Monkey Bell got me killed. It would be on brand if he did. <laughs> See? It's true, rust does set quickly in the bottom of the ocean. Hi, monkey fluence. How dare you get me? <laughs> Just kidding. I was doing I was not doing hot there anyway. Now I can praise the sun because I'm dead, Colossus. <laughs> <sighs> nice stretch. How are you doing today, Monkey Fluence? Doesn't he, though, Wombat? Doesn't he? So. Hi, Wombat. I did that on purpose. No, I died because I'm bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, Caddy, thank you so much for using the, the Humble Bundle. Again, in this case, it's just you getting a good deal. And also supporting me. I hope you enjoy the games on there. I've heard good things about a lot of the games on the bundle. Like I said, I just bought it yesterday. Yeah, because... Uh-oh. Wait, what? 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 Oh, God! Hi! Oh! Okay, hey, I gotta figure out this guy's moveset, because these guys are kind of destroying me. Okay. I gotta be not so... So aggressive with these guys. They they hit a little bit. Well, that's the him. Yeah, I think that's the guy. Uh, but Caddy, you joined the the Discord, I think. And so if you didn't uh, uh, do it, I give notifications for any time there's like a humble bundle or something like a sale. Uh, so you can sign up for that or get that role if you want. You don't have to have it, but I do post them in uh, game deals. Uh, I regret, I regret, I regret, I regret. Ah, he's so fast! Okay, there we go. 
All right, I'm starting to understand that move set. All right, fine. I won't go for the shiny. I didn't know how fast I could be to get it. I wonder if I had my tennis ball, if I could have rolled to that. All right, so it's another giant crab that wants to eat her face. I'm assuming it's going to be like an insanely hard boss right now, and it's something that you could kill and then not have to worry about it later, but... Because there's like another shiny over there, too. I want the shinies, but I know better than that right now. Ah, oh, too far out. Get him. Go. Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Oh yeah, you don't have to join by any stretch of the imagination. For some reason, I thought you had joined, which again, you don't have to. But yeah, I uh, I post especially like in game deals, whether there's free games, there's a little bot that tells us if there's free games. Uh, I post if there's new humble bundles. Uh, we post if like uh, if uh, there's any like good deals on Steam or whatever. But you definitely don't have to. You are fine. I understand being in a billion servers. Ah, damn it. I should have waited, but I didn't. Even the dead must praise the sun. Very true, and I did. Ugh, you're having migraines too, monkey fluence? Maybe it's like a weather change thing. And you're now officially the third person that's talked about migraines just today. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's super frustrating. I <laughs> just want to say hi and cause a quick death. <laughs> well, I appreciate you stopping by and saying hi. I hope you feel better quickly. Although I have not dealt with migraines. I've obviously talked to a lot of people in the community that have dealt with them. And I know it is, is not fun. So I hope you feel better soon. I don't want to get blindsided by that fishy right there. Hi. Let's see if I'm like wise and I do that. Back up. They can't get me with their stupid little pokey thing. See, I knew there'd be somebody else. I just had a feeling I was going to get ambushed. No, I didn't know that, Caddy. Is it on Steam or is it through Ubisoft's site? If it is, I'll have to post about it in the Discord. I actually have a new uh, creator code for Ubisoft's platform, but I haven't actually set it up yet. <laughs> What's up, Sean? How are you doing? It'd be cool if there was a cameo, at least. Yeah, that's just wild, monkey. Again, I'm sorry you're not feeling the greatest. I feel fine, just can't see properly. Yeah. But I mean, like, yeah, being sensitive to light or sound or anything with, with your migraines, like, it's it's no fun with that. Mm. Well, that's nice that they're doing an offline mode for it. I know when the crew one went down, people were mad about it, but it made sense because it had been around for so long that it wouldn't stay open any longer. But that is nice that they're doing that. I don't know that I ever actually got the crew. I'll have to look. What? Oh, I didn't even see you up there. Yeah, get out of here, seahorse. Oh, you got me. I was ready for that treasure. I didn't even see it coming. I got ambushed. Phytoplankton. A family of fun-sized photosynthetic friends consuming a heart kelp pod regenerates a small amount of umami. 
Wow, it takes 19 to use that? Jeez, okay. Yeah, if anybody wants them, you're more than welcome to do that. If not, I do uh, keep a list of games that people will like donate game codes to and stuff, and then we use them for uh, like community days, or we use them for charity streams as giveaways or anything like that. Uh, I can do it if you don't want to join the Discord, Caddy. Here, let me uh, let me do this real quick. I'll message you on Twitch so you can send them through there if you don't want to join the Discord. People just can't message me first. But doop. There you go. So you can send them through there if that's easier for you. Earbuds now so I can listen to the stream and stay away from the screens for portions. So at least I'm not missing everything. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, Monkey Fluids. But you take care of yourself, you hear? Oh, what did you have to say? Wow, we! This is the farthest I've ever been from home by a country fathom. Check it out. You can even see the grove from up here. This is going to be a swell adventure, I can tell already. Well, I said north. Okay, so it's like the kelp forest. And then that is, they said no going west. And east leads to the other thing. Well, there's lots of chains and anchors and stuff out west, so. Makes you wonder what's over there. Okay, let's do this. An early night is on the cards for me, I bet. Yeah, just to at least rest your eyes and everything. Oh, do we go over level up? Actually, should I level up or should I? Hang on, I wanna try something else. Oh wait, do I have to do it? I think I have to do it from the shell, don't I? Yes, yeah, shell port. Shell port. Um. Lower crust. Hi, mustard. Thank you for lurking. Yeah, I don't mind at all, monkey. I'm leaving uh, on Thursday morning of next week. Not this week. So we still have about a week and a half before I leave. See, so yeah, I'll be leaving pretty darn early on, on Thursday. I'll have to take my connecting flights out that way. So yeah, gone on Thursday. I'll be back the following Monday. So again, not this coming week, but the following week. Don't know exactly when on Monday. I don't. I might do a short stream that day or something, and and just like talk about TwitchCon and all that good jazz. We'll see. Haven't decided that far ahead. <laughs> no way. There. Nice. Okay, that's 5,000 next time. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, sounds good, Caddy. Thanks for swinging by, and thank you for the codes for that. That's very kind of you. I hope you enjoy the games you got out of it. But yeah, we'll keep you posted. If you ever want to ask, we'll let you know. Or if you do use Humble Bundle quite often, you can always save the uh, the little code thingy if you don't actively use one already. You can save that as a favorite, and then if as long as you're click like using that link, anything you get on Humble will always come back to me and the charities that I support. So. Don't have to, but it's just an option for you. Thanks for being here. I hope your friend has a good stream. 
Um, where was it? The sands between. Yeah, you gotta get them channel points, monkey. We're gonna have, uh, we'll have another crowd control day somewhat soon. I was talking about this. Oh, we were gonna do a crowd control day during October, so. Of some potentially spooky games. So. The sands between. Interesting. Yeah, we'll just keep going north for now. To the forest. Whee! Alright, north it is. <laughs> Sounds good though. Have a good one, monkey. Thanks for stopping in. Hope your migraine feels better. Ugh, more birthday hat vicious. I don't like them. No, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Go away. There you go. Got him. He's only worth 70. He's such a pain. I should have like spent all my things and then tried to fight the dude and just seen how hard he was. Hey you! Me. What do you call a blue crab who goes on a lot of dates? What? Sleeping with weight. Did I say a crab or a fish? Damn it! I've been waiting so long for someone to come by so I could tell them my joke and I screwed it up. I'm so stupid. That's the last straw. My whole life is worth- What the- What the fuck? I'm sorry, what? What just happened? Are, are you okay, bud? Okay. That was weird. That's how I feel on a Sunday morning when I haven't had my nicotine. It appears you've been attacked by a bad joke, apparently. Cat sweet. Apparently. Shit. Nope, I missed. I do not like this guy. I don't have to go near him. It's only worth 72. I love how much my can waggles. Oh, I missed. Missed. Missed, I tell ya. Oh, it locked onto people far away because he was in the crowd. Oh god. Ram Ranch, how are you doing today? Welcome in. Wait, what's a clip? What did I even say? I don't even know. What did I say this time? Payday, hell yeah, Ram Ranch. Always like a good payday. Is that my butt waggles? It's cute. It's okay if you don't appreciate my can waggling butt, but I can. I can can. I can for my can. See, now I'm not so greedy, it's fine. The forest. Uh, there appears to be a lot of dead crabs there. Potentially dead crabs. I can can. I can do the can can, Katsu, yes. I'm glad you're doing all right, Ram Ranch. I'm doing okay, thank you. Bye. 
Um, what up, dude? You okay? You again, vagabond. I am pleased you survived. I don't even know who the hell you are. Well, I barely recognize you. You're a guard from Slack Tie, right? Nice hat. Oh. Oh, that was the original one. Chitin is my name. Chitin. Chitin. Probably. Uh, however, I have shed my title. I was foolish to pledge my sword to a lord so easily swayed by greed. You understand, don't you, the consequences of the fall of Slack Tide? No one to guard the bridge? Far more serious, Vagabond. What, an uh, what annihilated Slack Tide was an infection. At first, I thought it was uh, it a pollution of the body. Now I suspect it stems from the mind. Regardless, I believe it was uh, the Duchess' greed that invited it into her land. Uh, and until those like her are annihilated, the infection will spread and spread and spread. For this purpose, I have arrived at the grove. <coughs> Excuse me one sec. Wrong pipe. I could certainly try one, but <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I spit down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> Good lord. My bad. I could try to do the can can while in it can't, Wombat. I can try. Uh, in a sense, I came to grow in strength. Uh, the way through will not be easy. It appears polluted bandits have overtaken this place. But I believe somewhere within lies a master who might grant me greater power. Power that could destroy the ruler of the reef. The ruler of the reef? You mean Roland? I met that guy. He's like a real jerk. I don't blame you for wanting to take him down. You came face to face with the tyrant and you failed to strike him down? Well, I wasn't going to fight a guy I just met. Even if I wanted to, his bodyguard would have probably wiped the floor with me. Hmm. Know this, vagabond. Anyone can identify evil. It is nothing special. If you are unwilling to lay down your life to correct this world's cruelty, what use are you? Well, I don't see you rushing to go fight Roland right off the bat either. Maybe I'm also here to get stronger so I can take him on. You think about that? We shall see. You must be strong to have survived this long vagabond. Use your strength to strike down this world's evil, or it is all for nothing. Wow, okay. You're really good at giving motivational speeches, I hope you know. <clears throat> A fork. Oh, I forgot I have that ability whenever I'm sprinting to do that. I'm just going back to see if there's any hidden items. Oh, come on. I'm not even that far out. You know what? That's fine. I want to find out how tough this guy is. He probably just one-shots you, but... I want to know for sure. Oh, come on. Got him. <clears throat> I should, Arcane. I should. And then we'll see if I can do the can can. What's up, Mock? How are you doing? Stream's going well. I am enjoying more of the crab's treasure. <clears throat> I'm gonna get this before you get here. <laughs> I got here. Okay, so the first hit wasn't that bad. I wonder how much damage I did to you. That's not terrible damage. Oh, I tried to. I tried to uh, go back and I couldn't. You like the way I play this game? <laughs> so you like the way I die, Nez, I see. I see how it is. Arcane, how are you doing today? 
Mock, glad you're doing alright. Just chilling? Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of chilling. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna try to fight the boss, dude. I just wanna see how much I could do to him. Hey. Did you hear me, you little sardine bitch? I'm trying to fight the other guy. <laughs> I had bad timing. I meant before you died. I know it does. I was just giving you crap because I can. Make sure you don't forget your cooking. Hi, I mean, how are you doing today? It's Krabby Dark Souls time, and so far, eh, we've had two deaths today. Could be worse. Here, I want to kill you before I try to fight the crab thing again. I just want to see how much I can actually do if I pay attention to his moves. Oh, that was way too soon. Good lord. <clears throat> Alright, come here, crabby boy. Oh, hey, there's a thing right here. Hold up. Mild chaos here, but the builder's fitting a new bathroom. They've gutted out the old one. Gotcha. I'll make sure I don't actually get too close. Wait, what? Oh, that was weird. I didn't know what that was about. Okay, I was like stun locked. Hang on, sir. This was not a good test of. Whether I could defeat you or not. Well, that was horrible. And not a good test again at all. It looked like my damage on him wasn't that bad. When I actually got hit him once, but I don't know if it's worth it. Solid D for effort, I know, right, Reming? I am so good at this game. I teach others how not to play it. <clears throat> Thanks, Mock. I thought it was clever enough. Oh, my can's fucked up. I thought it was gonna give me a new can. Apparently not. Oh, that kind of looked like you could uh, jump on it or something. No, nah, more like the crab told me to shit the hell down. <laughs> That crab messed me up. A mason jar. Okay. Sure. Come here, Mr. Crab. Powerless. I don't know what that does. Okay, so I cannot panic roll in that. I've got to really time it. Oh, yep, I totally... Missed that one too. Death. <clears throat> right now, I'm just trying to see how powerful this guy really is. And so far, he's just kind of kicking my ass. So I'm also panic rolling the hell out of it. So at least I got my insured can back. And it's not too far away. I can just run over here and try him a couple times and see. Not a C like the C. Oh, that would have been more clever. Tacos are blackened. If they're supposed to be blackened chicken, then that's not a bad thing. Does he do that? Oh, he respawned because we were too close. Shit. Okay, couldn't roll towards him for that because I was still counted as being too close. To <laughs> the sound effects. Ugh. Damn it, he's so fast with He's so fast with that. I couldn't get out of it once I was in his combo. I think I could beat him, honestly. I just need to learn his moveset a little bit better. But I think I could beat him. The damage on him is fine. He's pretty forking powerful. <laughs> that one's clever.
That would be funny, Chris. There was a uh, an outfit earlier. You can get a little outfit. Like, you see how we have the little cloth hanging off of him? You can actually get a little Mr. Krabs outfit. I didn't have enough money for it at the time, but I really want to get it. <laughs> he does have cutlery attached to his claws. At least I have another can right here I could use, so... bad on my part. I'm surprised I got out of that, to be honest with you. Oh, I went for the greed. That's that damn freaking combo. If he gets me in there. I was trying to go quick to get the, uh, the stagger on him. I just need to be more patient. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can kill this guy. I'm gonna try it a couple more times. Why not? <laughs> What's up, Random? How are you doing? Good to see you. Sounds good, Robco. Take your time. Give the kitty some love for me. Oh, yeah. I love Souls-like games, Remy. So... I don't know what that does. I haven't figured it out yet. God, how are you supposed to get out of that once you're in that combo? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this one because it's not like I got very far with it anyway. How bad is my shell? Hang on. Eh, we could just learn from this one, it's fine. Because that's the thing is I hadn't even healed fighting him before his, his attacks were just too much that I didn't even get to the point where I needed to heal. But yeah, the thing about these types of games, it's all rhythm based. Once you know the rhythm, you, you can beat a character no problem. So it's like, if I die, then it's just like, okay, I need to make sure not to die that way next time. I don't get myself discouraged unless I'm the one that's starting to play bad. But, like, that's after, you know, learning his movesets and stuff. Because, like, right now, I don't even know his moveset that well. And I could go on. I don't have to fight him right now. But I really want to. And here in a couple tries, if I'm not getting any better, then I'll move on kind of situation. either because I didn't know what he was doing okay that's the double and that's the scoot so that's the whole combo I don't know how to get out of the way yeah, that was something new see that's that like I don't know how to get out of that once I get hit because it's like a stagger on me oh I didn't do that very well I don't have enough time. Do I need to shield instead? I've never actually tried combining the shield and the roll. Cause once you're hit, you actually can't get out of that next hit. Like your your roll, your dodge doesn't come back fast enough. Not with this shell anyway. Now that I think about it, this is a medium roll shell. So maybe with this shell you can't. But the only other shell that's over here is the basin jar. And that if that gets hit once, it's broken. So And it's still a medium, never mind, it's a medium anyway. I guess I could take this for shits and giggles. It does a little bit more damage out the rip, but yeah, it breaks very quickly. We'll see. I'm glad you're doing well. Random, I'm glad you're doing well. Oh wait, where did my shell go? Uh, what? Okay, hang on. Sir, this is like cheating. Because I thought my can was going to be over here, but it's not. I just did not mean to do that, son of a bitch. I didn't mean to, I just wasted that. Oh well, fine, I'm not gonna do it then. 
I'm feeling a bit crabby, random. I'm feeling a bit crabby, but in a good way, I guess. <laughs> Captain Robbie Rob, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I love how tactically you are with figuring out the fight. It really shows your soul's experience. Probably, like, it's all about reading and, like, learning telegraphs. That's why I say anybody can play a Souls game if you have enough patience to just learn telegraphs. It's all about rhythm. But I definitely can beat him. Like, I felt like that was a really good attempt there and I just got a little unluckers there in that one combo. That one right there. It's very hard to get through that though. That was way too early and I got lucky. Does, but if I roll, it keeps me from building it up too much, so. Oh shit, it was that combo! Oh no! Okay, I lived through that because of. Okay, it didn't take all of this thing away. I accidentally got too close to the area. That's frightened, okay. That sucks, okay. Well, now I know what that does, which is probably a good thing to know. Okay, so you can't roll inward for that attack. Okay, fair. <laughs> like, I don't even have a shell and I'm still attacking you, bitch. Okay, that was not a great attempt, but we learned that that causes frightening. If I'm rolling, it actually stops. Like, if I'm on the, maybe if it's I'm on, if I'm on the ground. So maybe I can jump to avoid building that. Cause it seems like whenever I'm dodge rolling, it gets me off the ground for just a moment and it stops that bar from going up. So I got the good crabs. <laughs> yeah, it's called this community remming. They're very good crabs. <laughs> I believe you can do this with enough patience to learn the boss. I think so too. Like I'm pretty darn positive I can, I, I can get this guy. I don't know what that attempt was like before that one was. I don't think it was quite half, but uh, I was definitely getting it. I just can't panic roll on the one shot because he does have a one shot regardless of your health. So let me get far enough away from here. All right. I can't, what? Just, what is happening? What the hell just happened? Where the fuck am I? Did I just fall into it like a trap? I'm so confused. This <laughs> what just happened? I think I just fell into a trap. Uh huh. Happy itches, fuck's sake. <laughs> I think I just fell into a trap or something. Or I fell off a ledge I didn't know existed. Hang on, where's my stuff at? Yeah, I think I just fell into like a, a trap. Where was that? Here, here, it's like right there. Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to find my shit. Wait, it was here somewhere. Where was it? There it is. No, let me get my shit back first. Oh, sh okay. It's, I'm probably, ah, I got him. Don't know how, but I did. Okay, that at least got me that theory. Eh, screw it. Let me just grab whatever that is. <laughs> I'm being very ballsy right now, but that's okay. Okay, but I know how the frightening thing works now. The reason why I didn't want to fight them over here is because these guys are here and I didn't really feel like taking them out every time. But now I know there's a trap. So that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I did not want that. That was crazy. Yeah, so like there's like a pit right there. Cause I was gonna say, I'm like, I did not see an edge to that. Captain Robbie Rob, how are you doing today, by the way? I hope you're well. 
And hopefully nobody else is feeling crabby today. Man, I know I can beat this guy. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting whatever the hell happened there. Well, at least I got some random treasure. And I guess good to know that there is traps, sand traps out there. So we learned there's sand traps. Hang on, can I get out of this shell? Is that possible? Can I like get out of this shell? I don't want this shell because it's almost broken. Can you get rid of your shell? Is that a thing? I don't actually know. Okay, that's a pineapple question real fast. Uh, if anybody knows. Can I just shed my shell? I don't... I don't want it. Because I have insurance. And that'll give me new shell. And I would rather have new shell. So if anybody knows, can I just get rid of my shell? Is that, is that possible? Long press Y. Aha! Elpix, thank you. Thank you, random. I did not know you could do that. I learned! Thank you. I'd never actually tried. <laughs> it probably told me that like when we played last time. Yeah, that is good info to know. Because in this case, I didn't want to go in there because it wasn't going to repair my shell. So that makes way more sense. All right. Come on. This, this is going to be a good run here. Just don't go in the trap area. I just want to be far enough away that he doesn't disappear, but I don't want to go there because that's where a trap is. And now I know how to avoid this. Hi, Night Captain Andrew. How are you doing? What? Are you serious? I missed both of those. Oof. Nightcap Andrew, thank you for the enlargement bits. How are you doing today? God, that's so stupid. I hate that attack so much. I don't know how to dodge it prop well, if I don't dodge it properly, then I get caught up. I gotta learn how to get out of that. Okay, so that case, I made sure I just did break. He just went underground again. That wasn't even that close. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Real Magic Cookie. How are you doing? What's over here? Sure. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What is this? Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I can't be this far over either. Man, this sucks. That means I either need to take out the little dudes. <sighs> that sucks. I can beat this guy. I know I can. I guess if I just miss the dodge for that five combo, I just need to go ahead and shield. Because uh, that's the only thing I can do. I'm not fast enough with the medium roll shield to get that. Whatever. Night Captain Andrew, were your ears burning earlier? We may or may not have been talking about your high caliber jokes. Don't let that go to your head. Finished a nice homemade meal and a nice long walk. Everybody seems to be taking some nice walks today. I think after I get done streaming, I'm gonna go take a nice little walk too. That sounds good. But I'm glad, sounds like a good evening. Nice home cooked meal and some, a nice walk. So I can see the edge of that trap. Oh, I fucked, I fucked up. My finger slipped off the button. Oh, that's disgusting. Man, I almost just want to completely reset this. Yeah, 
that was that was just bad. Literally, my finger came off the button as I was trying to press it. Ugh, I want to beat this guy. I know I can. This is whenever I start getting frustrated. Not at the game, at myself, because it's like, I know most of the attacks now. So now it's just a matter of executing. My R button doesn't work. Yeah, because I'm using back paddles on the Elite controller, and my finger just slipped right off of the button that I was needing to press to dodge roll. So I just let that one happen. That's the attack. God damn it. It got me in that combo again. Nuh uh! Oh, nuh uh. Game, no. That. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. Run that one back. I want to watch the footage. There's no way I didn't dodge that. I was through it. I want to watch that back. I'm upset about that one. Everything else I got hit with, fine. That one, not so much. Where's my, give me a clip of my own channel for two seconds. Yeah, I get hit through this, blah, 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 blah. Sure, that's fine. Nah, -uh, that's crap. That's crap. That hitbox is gr gross if that's how long behind that it can hit you. Oh, uh, that's frustrating. But progress. We had progress. We made him to 50% health and I got the stagger on him. So we are improving, but oof, that, that sucks. I thought that was the five combo. That one is. I panicked a little there. Shit, I went into it. Wait, that time it didn't work. Electric man! I'm dead, yeah. There's no way. Oh wait, I'm not dead. Oh shit, I'm not dead. My shell's just broken. Months. Dyslexic Hi, electric man! Sell their souls to Santa. I thought I was dead. I stopped moving. Well, I'm glad I wasn't dead, but... Dyslexic worshippers sell their souls... What? I am so confused. What? <laughs> Electric man, thank you for the 49 month resub. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? Uh, as some we might know, say poopy garbage. It's a bit of poopy garbage. But yeah, I'm definitely getting better at it. I'm just, oof, gotta find the right, gotta find the right combo on his ass. How much is it to level up one more time? Just out of curiosity. Um, 700 more. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna kill these little fishies down here because they're worth like 150 a piece. So I just need to run down here three more times 
and uh, kill them real quick. I'm gonna get a level, so then that way I don't have to pick my stuff every time. I'll just make this easier on me. I hear them both, yep. It's like, I hear both of them. Oh, there were 250, so yeah, actually we can just come down here one more time. Get an additional level. Sounds good to me. I made lo mein for dinner and then had dessert. Uh, had chocolate cake crumble? Chris, you're, you're making me jealous over here, my friend. Make me jelly. That sounds wonderful. I did have some pizza earlier and that was fine. But man, give me some lo mein and some chocolate cake. All right, let me get one more kill on those guys. And then I won't care if I lose the stuff. I can just run back. <laughs> the sands between. I love the. <laughs> I love the uh, play on words there, Matt. I'm liking it. It's fine. I got to this forest and immediately wanted to fight the thing that tries to attack you. So I've been progressively getting better at him. I'm a little salty about one of his attacks that killed me just a minute ago because I felt like a hitbox with bullshit. But other than that, I'm actually enjoying trying to learn his fight. So. I've gotten him to half health. So I'm gonna keep trying, cause I want to. Yeah, big stompy crab dude. Yeah. I like fighting him. I like learning his fight. He's fine. The only thing that kills me is the five thing. Is his five combo. That seems to be the thing that kills me most. Actually, I do that. See if I can get the stun up more. All right, if I lose 300, I won't care at all. Yeah, same, Matt. I wanted to go out there, except I had, like, stuff on me, so I didn't do it immediately. But, yeah, maybe I should actually... No, because the spawn point over there is way further away. I guess I could go to that one. Because uh, I also died falling into a trap over here at one point, so... But I like learning him. He's a fine fight. I can definitely beat his ass. I know I can. Okay, I, it worked the few times that I tried it. Now it's not working. That attack destroys me. I can't even shield in time. It's so annoying. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do if you get clipped by that at all. Okay, I was greedy, I'm aware. I know. I was just going for the greed to see if I could drop him. But overall, I'm enjoying it. Ooh, some cheese curds. Are we talking like the really good Wisconsin style cheese curds? I mean, ugh, love some Wisconsin cheese curds. Whenever we were out in Vegas with my brother, he took us to a place called Yard House, and it was, they had really good cheese curds. I was surprised. Honestly, the music in the game is really good in general, Matt. I agree. I don't think you can break his weapon arcane. I don't believe so. I haven't really seen any bosses that are designed like that yet. Could be wrong, though. Nope. All I can do is try to, oh, I'm dead. Yep. Uh, all I can try to do is uh, try shielding when he does the, the five attack. Uh, maybe I'll pick? I don't know, I was facing windows when I was there, so <laughs> I'm not actually sure. Apparently it's a, a franchise or a, a like a chain, but I had never heard of it, but that's probably because I live in Arkansas and we don't have a lot of stuff. They did have a big beer selection. Yeah, Liddy, I'm being stubborn right now because I think I could beat this guy, which granted, if it keeps taking me a while, then maybe I won't try, but... 
I'm enjoying trying to fight him. I was gonna say, I have no idea what he's doing. Oh, I got lucky because I thought I rolled too soon. Oh, god damn it. Oh shit, now we're over the trap. Hi, Silverleaf. Kick store down. Punchy M in the dick. Who seeks? I don't even know what that said. Yeah, I'm so done. Punch him in the dick. I'm trying. I don't think he has a dick, Silverleaf. I tried. <laughs> I am a tryhard streamer. I don't even have to fight this guy right now, but I want to. We did all the early game guys before we were supposed to, so I was like, why not this guy? Silverleaf, thank you for the 200 bits. How are you doing today? Oh, absolutely, Liddy. I did the same to the other bosses in the first area. The the dude off to the right. Apparently the other crab with like growing glowing purple eyes wasn't even like a mini boss or at least he didn't have a bar but the other guy that was a boss i was like oh yeah i'm doing that i guess if you're far enough away it still works see that attack is so fucking far away it's frustrating as hell I was so far away from that attack. I don't think so, Arcane, because I tried rolling towards him on a couple of his attacks and you just get hit, you just get crushed and it does double the damage. So I've been avoiding the roll towards him maneuver since then, unfortunately. I'm glad you're doing all right. Thinking a lot and making some decisions are good. Hopefully all good decisions for you. Oh god damn it, it's the five attack. <laughs> that was just my own stupidity. I didn't read it as the five input. I missed. Oh, feels bad, man. Sometimes I can get away with jumping that attack, other times I can't. I'm so dead. Yep. Oh, just my shell broke. Hang on, we still have a chance. That was the chance I needed. Thank you, bud. Oh, you bitch. Oh, no, don't. Did he just get some of his health back for doing that, or was he just not that far down before? Stupid five attack. Come on, I gotta watch your five attack bullshit. Bad. What? So does he get health back whenever he does that? No. Smile. I'm smiling, Silverhawk. I'm smiling. Thank you for the sub. You're helping with our plus program thingy. I will give you some maraca shakes here in a second. For anybody who doesn't know, we're working towards our plus program level two. So every Every sub helps right now. Tier two and tier three help even more. And if you feel so inclined, September's going on, so it's a lot better discount. 
But thank you very much, Silverhawk, for the seven month three sub. How are you doing today? I don't want to compare sizes, but his fork is much bigger and he seems to know how to use it, unfortunately, Reming. So. <laughs> Was trying to mess up the fight. Hey, I've been messing up my own fight plenty. I'll give him a couple more tries. I really honestly want to stick with him until I beat him because I know I can. But I know that's probably going to be boring to watch over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I know I can beat him though. The size of his fork and the motion in the ocean. Exactly. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to swing it around. Death Clock, hope you're doing well. That's a good question. Where did he get his fork? He starts with the fucking five. God damn it. He literally started with the five combo. That's literally the one thing that's like impossible for me to get out of. Oh, come on! I hit him first. Oh, you bitch game. Oh, you bitch game. Ugh. Fine. You don't have very much time that you can succeed on getting that hit off. Uh, so, random, I've been telling people three months because three months is all you need to hit plus program, if that makes sense. So, I mean, you could totally tier three sub for six months if you want to. I mean, you do get it for sale that long, but for the purposes of the plus program, if people are only trying to help me, like, you know, get to that next level, uh, we need three months of it and it has to be consecutive months. So for an example, if for some reason we don't hit it this month, I highly doubt we'll hit it in the future because right now you get it 30% off. So if people aren't willing to celebrate now, which willing is probably not the right word. If people don't want to, don't have the means to or whatever sub for like 30% off right now, then next month probably people wouldn't be inclined to do it either so i've just been telling people if you want to help me out then the cheapest way that you could help me out is doing a tier three for three months guaranteed because then you don't have to worry about like renewing it or whatever because like that is the cheapest option so uh, that's the only reason why i even decided to talk about it or try to quote unquote push for it is because i'm like okay september you're getting 30 percent off of a tier three sub which means that third month you basically get for free and then if you want to cancel your sub entirely you want to drop back to a tier one you want to use your prime again whatever you want to do that's up to you so there have been a couple people who have done six months because they plan on supporting me that long but like no, you definitely don't have to do like six months or anything like that. So I've just been telling people three months because then at least in my head, like, okay, people have done it for three months. So that's the greatest opportunity of me actually hitting it, if that makes sense. Bought a lottery ticket today. I literally might have a better chance at winning the lottery than beating the last boss in Elden Ring DLC. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Both take time and good RNG. Wow, Llama, you speak truer, truer words have never been spoken. Apparently, the Arkansas lottery is 800 million right now, which seems kind of insane to me, or 80 million. I don't remember. Whatever it was, it was being advertised. And I'm like, man, it would help if I actually played the lottery. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Random. Yeah, no, I don't mind answering questions about it at all. I'm trying to be better because I'm really bad at promoting myself and like so ways to support me anyway. Um, but yeah, so in this case, I'm simply asking for the cheapest way for my people to, to, and it's not even cheap, it's like $50 for like the three months, but you're still basically getting that last month for free. And so like, if you want to do, if people out there want to do six months, hey, that just means you're getting a tier three or tier two ch sub cheaper anyway. So I know, Estelle, I know, but you can't even have a chance of winning the lottery if you don't play. But yeah, I, I've, I've literally bought like five lottery tickets in my lifetime. <laughs> so uh, I feel like I spend a dollar on way worse stuff on occasion. 
<laughs> it was fun, Death Clock. It was fun. We are going to be playing uh, more things with the steering wheel. I have to do Desert Bus, uh, which is an eight hour straight drive across the desert. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, and then we also have to do uh, Driving Through Arkansas. And the DLC is supposed to be out this month. So we have more driving streams ahead. And I'll probably do something fun for those two. Llama, welcome back. Viking, welcome in. How are you doing today? That's fair, Sal. For me, though, you're basically right. <laughs> you are basically right. God. Okay. That was my fault. Okay, that's the backswing. That's... There's got to be a better way to, damn it, to uh, dodge roll that. Oh my god, I did it again. This is not a good run for me. I didn't even get to get him. Are you serious? That sucks. Not even fighting with a shell. Yeah. Ah, that was very frustrating. It wasn't like hitting the thing. It was like charging, but it wasn't doing a forward charge attack. I don't know why. Half the fun. I would say half the fun would actually be like <laughs> winning it, but yep. I'm not surprised, Death Clock. They've been amping up their their uh, marketing for it close to launch. What? Wait, did you just eat my can? What the hell? I didn't even notice he did that before. I thought my can just broke. Yeah, I want to fight him again. Screw it. Go ahead and kill me if you want, bud. So that I can respawn over there. Oh, the crab food. Ah, oh, goddammit. I should have known that was that attack. So how is the best way to dodge that one? I still haven't learned it. I don't need a freaking shell to kick your ass. Although it would help, believe me. Okay, so I dodged right and tried to dodge right again. It didn't quite work. He's too close to that trap. Oh, damn, I thought I rolled. Honestly, that was a pretty good, like, set of dodges without the shell. Ugh. Um, hello? Game? Oh, okay. It just really wanted to emphasize that I was dead. Yeah, it was like, once I lost the shell, I was actually doing better. So, okay, when he raises his right claw to do that attack, instead of rolling to the left like I have been, I'm going to try to back roll twice. Because I was actually able to get out of that. Now, I don't know if that was just because I didn't have a shell and I was able to roll faster. Wasn't there a way to... Hang on, let me look at something real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot I unlocked a parry. As if I'm going to use that. I guess I could try if I know I'm going to fail. 
Okay, no, I haven't unlocked anything else though. Okay. I thought I had like a back jump or something or back step. I only watched the Joker once, Cell, but I remember enjoying it and I'm not really into dramas. But I remember enjoying it. <laughs> oh, that it was fun. We had fun and we're gonna do some more driving stuff on stream soon. What? Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I was able to get out of most of that. So that's good. So yeah, it looks like backstepping might be the best option. Damn it, I fucked up that time. <laughs> No, don't go away, no, fuck. I backed up too much. God damn it. Oh, he didn't take my shell though. I'm not going over there because the trap's there. Damn it, dude, this was such a good start. Yeah, so I usually get clipped on the third attack there if I do back, back step, but that's basically the best thing I can do. What the fuck is that? I was already frightened, so I didn't do shit to me. Damn it! I was greedy. Fuck it, I was greedy. Oh, I was so greedy. Ah! Yep, you know what? I don't care how long it takes, I will 100% beat him. <laughs> that was just my own greed. I was doing well even without the shell. Dang it. That's all right, Donna Thomason. You have a wonderful night. Thanks for being here. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly when the shell comes off running, I'm not doing so bad. So, but you are, fa you do have a faster roll, so. Yeah, definitely. Always give Rube heart attacks. Now he's got enough to worry about the next few days with him moving back into this place in London. Damn it. I tried to get out of that. Oh. Uh, I didn't fuck up as bad as I thought I did. Oh no, I did. I'd already committed to the hit. There's nothing I could do. There is nothing I could do. I already got hit. Channel the power of George Bob. But George Bob was the one that got eaten. So is that not what I'm getting eaten? CD plus in-game car crashes. Very true. Yeah, because we're uh, to go back to your thing again, Duthlaw, because we're we've got to play desert bus and we've got to drive through Arkansas uh, in North er, uh, an American truck simulator. North uh, American truck sim. ATS, yeah, American truck sim. Damn. Hate that attack so much. Oh, he like stopped. Oh, that was so weird. I thought I was gonna get grabbed. Oh, I got 
frames. I hate when you're committed and I couldn't stop it. Yeah, no, that was just a bad run. Yeah, that's very true, Estelle. Two different streams. One stream will be Desert Bus, one stream will be the other one. What, Death Clock? I did not understand that statement at all. Maybe a bad example. Maybe, Arcane. Because if I'm channeling George Bob, George Bob got eaten, so. Stop starting with the fucking five attack, dude. Come on. And I still didn't even. Oh, you bitch. Okay, that's a good attack for me. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it again. I was like, please, no. Oh, fuck off! I thought he- ah, Just kill me. You literally have such a short window to get that off and it's like trying to get the timing and so if you're doing that straight charge attack in front of him, sometimes it doesn't hit him because the hitbox is only on his claws versus his person. Uh, it's frustrating missing those though. That would be nice is if you could like disarm him or something. We did see a little creepy, I don't know if it was like his tongue or whatever the hell came out in that phase two that we started at one round. And immediately starts with the five. You really are a bitch, you know that? Nope, fuck it, just reset, jeez. Just reset. Honestly, maybe just having him kill me at that point would be better because running up here takes longer. <laughs> uh. No, there wasn't really any pedestrians. I mean, he definitely sideswiped a truck at one point, but that would have been the worst thing that happened. seen her shadow six more weeks of winter at this point i will definitely take six weeks of winter you better believe that it's been far too hot that hitbox is really weird too nope that's the <sighs> great maybe i just need to fight him shellless i seem to do better without the shell anyway frightened anyway. Come on. I don't have a thing here, so. I'm scared of that five combo. Ah, 
I was gonna say, I don't understand. Before I was able to float and, oh, fuck. Not have a problem with that. Oh, please do not reset his shit, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and heal, safe to heal, why not? Oh, I actually probably should have gotten hit by that and would not have been upset because uh, definitely thought I should have. <laughs> Got it! <sighs> Dude, it's so much easier without a shell! <sighs> God, my heart. I kept looking, like, you could probably see my eyes just, like, look up at the top real quick. It's actually easier without a shell because of how fast my dodges were. I love how this is, like, broken. Another crab, the size of crab, knows no upper or lower bounds, or revives you once upon death at the cost of, a, of this stowaway. Whew, what a fight. I feel so pumped up right now. Maybe that lobster has a point. I should go back to Conch and see where his, this next map piece leads. Oh, Lord. Give me the Bebo cup. Yeah. Whew. <sighs> Thank you for the GGs. You <laughs> crabtacular. <laughs> we game and what's up, Heather? How are you? The crab icon is very cute. Whew. Man, my heart is pounding on that one. See, I told you guys I knew I could do it. All it took was to stop using a damn shell, apparently. Oh, goodness. Bebop, as in Cowboy Bebop, which is a great anime. <sighs> I would think so, Arcane. I would think so. So I'm actually going to not level up, which sounds actually crazy, but I want to go back and see. Not about the shells. I want to go and see if there's any upgrades I should buy. Woo! Yeah, my heart is pounding for that one. And it was 20,000. Our current, like, to level up, it's only 3,000 right now. So if that gives you kind of any idea of, like, that is that is a big difference. We'd be able to level just out of curiosity. That would give us... Four levels. That's, that's quite a bit for a boss. Usually it's like you get a level maybe two out of a boss. So we were... Definitely, obviously we already kind of knew it, but definitely not supposed to be fighting him. So, let me go back over here real quick. I hope that gives me another actual heart. Okay, it does actually give me another heart. That's what I was wondering. Okay, wait, hang on. Do I have something more I could sell? See, now I can go check out the sands between without a crab coming around up my ass. As well. I don't know what the shark egg is for. Favorite song in the game, the seedy underworld vibe music. I could see that, Liddy. The very seedy underworld. Yay, I'm proud we beat that boss. I'm glad I stuck with it. I could have and probably shouldn't have fought it, but I, I was actually having fun learning the fight. 
Actually, no, we'll start at the beginning of Sands Between. Because now I can go and grab all the shinies and shit that I saw. And I don't have to worry about the crab coming after me, so... I'll just get on up here. <sighs> I think my heart rate's calmed down a little bit. <laughs> I was no joke, just like scanning up really quickly. And I still had healing left stuff too. So I was like, okay, as long as I'm not dumb, don't get hit by the one shot. Like, should be okay. Perseverance pays off and damn, does it feel good when you beat a boss like that. Wee. Now let's go get some spoils. Helps you to reach your partner program. Part plus program. I said partner program again, even though I read the word. <laughs> what is this? It's a Mia Ray. That's what it is. Probiotic. Oh, I wonder that healed me or something. Hi, Mia. You bring your lurky turkeys? That's fine. We like lurkies and we like turkeys. So, you know, that's a good combination. Hi, Mia. Welcome in, Raiders. My name is CD. We're playing Another Crab's Treasure this evening. So feel free to continue lurking. Uh, I just beat a boss that I probably shouldn't have been fighting, but I took a while on him, probably like an hour. I don't even know. But finally, finally beat him. So it feels good, man. Feels good. So now I'm just running around and collecting any spoils. Because originally, you were uh, supposed to go from gate to gate so that this monster didn't attack you. And I said, screw that, I'm attacking the monster. And that's what I did for the last while. So I just beat it, and now I'm just running around the area that you're not usually supposed to run around. Up. See what I can find. Hopefully some good stuff. So far I've only found like barbs and a pouch. That is not very good loot so far. But Mia, how was your stream? How was Overwatch 2? Can you believe it? We get to meet in person in like a week and a half. Wild. Not even, well, yeah, about a week and a half. If we're being specific. Everybody, please go check out my salt sister from across the ocean. What the actual fuck is that thing? I don't know what that was. Oh, oh. Don't go over the X's. Got it. That makes sense. They are pretty clearly marked. Please go check out my sis salt sister from across the ocean, Miss Galini. Wonderful lady from Finland. Streams of oops. English. Wait, wait, wait. Well, at least it just took my. Got a new spring anyway. I did not see that X on. Wait, what? I didn't see an X on the ground. Does that mean these guys can get caught by it too? Pop off. I thought it was gonna. The ah, fuck. I guess I'll just pay very close attention to if there's a mark and then just. Well, there's bubbles right there. Yeah, I was gonna say that seems a little obvious. Oh. What? Oh, crap. Okay, hang on. I'm getting another thing. Because apparently they don't kill me, they just take my shit. Okay, so look for bubbles, look for X's. I don't even know why I'm going up here. Oh, I can charge you guys twice and now you're dead. There we go. I can see and stop for like two seconds without worrying about getting eaten. <laughs> yeah, no, have you played this game at all, Mia? Or were you interested in this game? It's actually been really, really fun. And in terms of Souls likes, I know that you haven't really touched a lot of Souls likes, but it does have a lot of like accessibility options. And it also has the ability to like change difficulty level and stuff. So I think it's a really fun introductory. So yeah, I only played this a little bit last week 
Oh, sorry, hit the mic. And then I wanted to play it tonight, so. Yeah, and this, call, uh, this case, death clock, death clock, my friend Miskolini and I will both be at TwitchCon, so we get to meet up. Oh, oh God. I didn't know that one was occupied. Okbaru. Ow, that was rude, even though I just tried to take your shell. Okay, <laughs> my shell now, bitch. <laughs> That's the first time I tried to pick one up and it was something else. Right, I'm over here calling it names, Colossus, and I'm the one that's- Oh. Yep, yeah, I was like, no, no, no. I'm the one that was trying to take its shell, but, you yeah, know. Finders keepers or something along those lines, I don't know. Uh, Thursday, Mia. I'll be there, like, midday Thursday. So, get there, I'll check into my hotel, all that good jazz, and then I'll probably head over and grab my badge. Because Thursday night is the partner party, I think. I'm getting all my evenings mixed up because there's just like, there's literally an event each night except for Sunday night. But Sunday night is something that I was planning on, uh, had something going on anyway, but. See, I need to figure out where that is so I can plan out a bit better. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm going up here. There better be something good at the top of this and not like a boss or some shit. This better have been worth it. Bobbit trap. Place a spectral bobbit worm to ensnare and devour any enemy that walks across the sighting path. Oh, I didn't mean to heal. Oh. Well, that is kind of cool. All right, that might have been worth it. Glad I came over here and explored then. Bobbit worms are freaky. Those are the things that apparently are trying to eat me while I'm about. I actually don't know what they are. I'm going to look one up real fast. Ew. I mean, they look just as creepy as they do in the game. Ew. I don't like those that- EW! That person's like pulling one- Ew. I hate them. Wow, I really hate them. Okay, I hate it even more. They really do, Wombat. Like, I'm surprised I have not seen, like, we see creatures kind of like this more, but in video games. But um, after reading, it can range in length from four inches, 10 centimeters. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's not so bad. To fucking 10 feet or three meters? Oh, hell no. Absolutely hell no. Hell no. Okay. Let's keep running around. What the? An aquatic nope rope. <laughs> right, I know I'm meeting you on Friday before the, uh, the Lurk It event. And then Saturday is the block party. And then Sunday was the day that I was supposed to hang out with, uh, I think the Jundies group. 
trying to keep it all together. I wish that you could put, I was hoping that the TwitchCon app would allow you to put like your own events in there because that would make so much more sense. I was supposed to schedule some time with stream elements and I never did. <laughs> Whoops. But it will. <laughs> Sup? Hello. What? The music never stops. I haven't slept for tides. What? Wait, 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 wait. Guys, 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 what the fuck? Okay, I don't know why I'm not rolling, thank you. I wasn't gonna attack you guys, but you decided to attack me for some godforsaken reason. Oh, damn it, I fell off. That's a big crystal. I'm sure I get a disco ball from that dude's back if I get him. I just wanted to dance and they just didn't like me coming up there and dancing with them. Okay, I don't know what that was. Will this person be happy now? Hey, bud. Thank you so much! Whoa, no need to yell. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just been going for so long since I didn't have to. I can hear my own thoughts again. Oh crap, I can hear my own thoughts again. The music was a blessing in disguise. Bring it back, bring it back, I'll do anything. Oops. Uh, gotta go. Wait, we don't even get anything for doing it? I thought we were gonna get something for doing it. Well, now I'm sad because I would have kept the fun music. Well, that sucks. Right, JB? That was totally a scam. Wow, my umami thing is like way high. I didn't even look to see what the shell does. Summon a slow-moving, damaging projectile of pure umami. Staring deeply into this shell causes an inscrutable yet utterly pathetic smile to cross your face. I mean, it is a disco ball. Hang on. I was hoping we could roll in it. Yes! <laughs> nice. I respect it. JB, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. It's time for sleeps. Enjoy the crab rave. Thank you, Marilith. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. I have like no healing right now. There's another one of these. I got a feeling this is for something at some point. So I'll have to remember there's one down here and we still don't know what these do either, which looks like some type of cannon is my guess, but yeah. Long time no see Krillin. <laughs> I should probably go back to my thing and heal real quick. Oh, Jesus. Farther away than I thought. If I die out here, it's fine. I'm just trying to find some loot. We looting and scooting. Maybe I'll find a kelp pot along the way. What is this one? Oh, just tin can, okay. Don't you mess with me, boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, just barb hooks. Always barb hooks. 
do mall chill evening. Glad the temperatures come down a bit. Yeah, we had nice chill temperatures and then they've gone back up. Oh, hey, it's another one of those bitches. Yikes. So if you've got cool temperatures, I am happy for you. I cannot wait for some fall weather. It's going to be very nice when we get there. I'm going to be in hoodies all the time. And especially with this big PC acts like a damn heater itself, so. It'd be nice not to have to worry about that too. Tuesday is treating me fine. It's, I had like really, really weird dreams last night. It just kind of messed me up for the day. It's like those deep mental, like psychological style dreams that just kind of like messed with me a little bit throughout the course of the day, so. This evening's been a little better. Chat's been, of course, keeping me company and, and making me feel a little better. Just the company. Of course, people have been super nice and supportive and somebody bought me the damn Astrobot game. Which is very, 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 very kind of them and I appreciate them very much because I was planning on buying that. It was in my Amazon cart. Ooh. Now I just got to talk myself out of buying Stellar Blade. Ow, yeah, I, that's fair. I got to talk myself out of uh, buying Stellar Blade because I got a feeling that's one of those games that will go on sale during like November. And um, like, I don't know if I'm going to have time to play Stellar Blade before like the holidays anyway. So that's why I didn't buy Astro Bot yet because I kind of felt like doing some, some retail therapy. <laughs> <laughs> and so I added both Astrobot and Stellar Blade into my uh, into my cart, and so I just left them there. But then some lovely bean, it's anonymous on Throne, got me Astrobot, and now I'm sitting there like, well, I didn't do my retail therapy yet, and so maybe I should go ahead and pick up Stellar Blade because I didn't know if I was going to stream that one or not, just because of like how tight our stream schedule is, and I do like to have some off-stream games for me. So, yeah, it was very kind. So I'm, I'm just trying to decide whether I want to go ahead and buy Stellar Blade then. <laughs> Stellar Blade is dope, but 100% not my jam. I can see every aspect is amazing, especially the bullets, but I bounce off it. No, that's fair. Like, I think it looks really cool, Viola Derp, and it is definitely a game up my alley. Like, 100%. I've never played Nier, and a lot of people, like, related it to, like, a Souls, like, with, uh, like, mixed with Nier Automata. And um, I've always wanted to play that game as well. And so it just sounds like my jam. I've watched plenty of people like Jill and God, how many? I've watched several people play bits and pieces of it, just not any of the main boss fights, obviously. So. But yeah. Violet Derp, how are you doing though? It's good to see you. I'm getting messed up. I hate these guys. The toothpick guys, the freaking olives, they kind of destroy me. They kind of destroy me. Okay, where am I at on the map? Okay, I wanted to go this way. I'm trying to do my best to explore this area. Oh, wait. Is this a... Oh, wrong button. This looks maybe like... A trap? Yep. See, I'd already figured out about the traps, so now you can't get me. That's right. I already know your bullshit. Hang on, can I use this? That did not do very much. Wait, what? Why did my jump attack work? Okay, forget it. Okay, just get out of here. There's not even loot down here and I already have that shell. Well, that was annoying. Oh well. Off stream games? How dare you consider yourself over your computer? I know, right, Fnog? Shockingly, I know to find out that I do play some games off stream. Not very many though, and quite frankly, like I do choose games that are either more chill or something I don't think the community will enjoy as much or whatever the case may be. So like I just um, fin I finished up the Micah, Mika and the Witch's Mountain, however you want to say the name. I just finished that and uh, I was doing some troll or uh, some achievement hunting earlier yesterday 
yeah, most of the time I play games off stream are like more mindless. I try to leave story based games for on stream as much as possible. Plus, whenever you content create as much as I do and stream, you know, now upwards to 40 hours a week, uh, you just kind of want something to like chill your brain out with at the end of the day. That being said, I also need some of these games to stream and make content, or stream, uh, to record and make video content for. So there will start to be some flow of that come out too. I was hoping to already start have gotten kind of into that, but of course, as many of you know, some personal things came up and I wasn't able to record like I wanted to. But soon I will be able to, <laughs> what? I really hate this guy. Like, your reach is insane, dude. Oh my god. I hate those ones. They really drive me nuts. Oh, I don't have much of a life outside of streaming, Fnog. <laughs> what kind of Blasphemous is this? Oh, that's a good point. I haven't played Blasphemous either. Just got hired by one gang to scout a street for them. Did so. Immediately got shot uh, from a roof by a rival gang. Put me in their trunk and drove me to the hospital. In GTA RP. I like how you specified that after the fact. I'm just going to run past these guys right now. Because right now I'm annoyed. Let me go get my dead body stuff. So is that supposed to be something? No. I really should probably go to... It's a lot farther away than I thought it was. I'm supposed to be progressing through the forest anyway, and instead I'm trying to look at everything else. <laughs> Which is uh, pretty usual for me, let's be real. Ah, uh, see there's a kelp thing. Oh, that's a big fish. Is that a big dangerous fish to me? Or is that just a big fish? Hmm. Honestly, I don't even care for that one as much. It does have a lot more health. This area is very ominous with the whole big chains thing. Oh, I got another crab. <laughs> oh my god, he instantly attacks coming out of there. Oh, I hate these ones so much. God, you guys are the most annoying one in the fucking game. Just kill that bitch. Goodness. I don't know why they're so difficult, but they are. We don't make progress around here, Viking. You've been in here long enough. Also, how are you doing today? Unless I completely missed your message. You might have said so earlier and I completely missed it. I've been getting in trouble elsewhere for not clarifying it all. That's fair. Marches through the force we need to. We do need to go through the forest. Right now, I'm looking for everything else besides the forest. I'm not progressing anywhere that I'm not supposed to, but I am, like, looking all through the sands between. There's another one of these crab things. Still don't know what they're for, but there is one. And there's also a loot on top of that, but I can't reach it from here anyway. There's more X's on the ground, so... More creepy bugs. Probably. Violet Derp, you live your life the way you want to. That's all I got to say. Rip. Frederick? The soul of a financially savvy fish. 25 vitality required? That's massive. Who the fuck is Frederick? To the moon. I 
do not know what Frederick is or who Frederick is. Are you sure, Mia? He's kind of dead. I don't know if his financial advice got him that way, but I'm not sure taking uh, taking that advice is wise, but who would I be to know? Okay, yeah, you, you got to go around the other way, it looks like. Hmm, go this way. Hello, Lone Wolf Pack. How are you doing today? Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Hi, Juicy. Hi, Lone Wolf Pack. Hi, JB. If JB was here. <laughs> Welcome back, JB. Or thank you for being here twice now. Ow. Dang it. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. How are y'all doing today? Thank you for the raid, Wolf Pack. How are you? Welcome in, everyone. My name is CD. For those who don't know me, we are currently playing Another Crab's Treasure, which is an adorable platforming Souls-like game, and it is a lot of fun. Uh, I struggled with a boss earlier, but it felt really good. We ended up beating it probably way before we were actually supposed to. Uh, now we're running around the sands between. So welcome in. Happy to have you. Thank you for getting a shout out for Lone Wolf Pack. Was playing some Fields of Mis Mistria. I think is how you say it. I've botched it a couple times, according to some people. But how is Fields of Mistria? I have seen a lot of people play that, and John has told me that it's really good. And I think I added it to my wish list, but I haven't bought it yet. There's like a couple things that are on my wish list right now that I'm like, okay, when I get a chance soon. Soon. I miss Nine Souls being on sale. I had it in my cart for literally days, and I just never pulled the trigger, and I should have. Because I've heard that's just incredible. So I guess I'll just wait until the next time that goes on sale. She's very cute, chill and cozy. I'm slightly obsessed, but it's fine. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Enjoying a game that you are enjo enjoying a game that you're enjoying. Playing a game that you're enjoying is always a good time. So enjoy it to your heart's content. Yes, yeah, so I think those are gonna like be a, a cannon of some nature and blast you up. So we probably get that ability later. Maybe we even get it just with our umami powers. I might need to check with what's his nuts and see. All right, so we made it all the way back around here. I'm gonna go ahead and sit in the shell so that gives me the spawn here. We went over there, but it looks like that leads to different stuff. We have not been in there yet, so we'll see. Are you liking the game so far? I am, I am very much enjoying the game. It's. I like Soulsborne games or Souls-like games, and so this is scratching an itch there for me. It's very cute, it's creative, it's fun, it's got some great humor, also has some very down-to-earth topics, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it, pretty much everything about it. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Follows are anonymous, so if you're like, man, I'm enjoying the vibes, but I don't really feel like, you know, I'm chatting too much, perfectly fine. Feel free to lurk in the shadows, but thank you. I hope you enjoy your time here. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot, Lone, uh, Lone Wolf. If you want to let everybody know when your next stream is, and of course, if you need to do any post-stream stuff, please, please, please take care of yourself. Thank you for the follow. I'm banning you. See how, like, nice I am to people? What's funny is when I used to use Streamlabs, it would not replay follow alerts if you'd followed within, like, the year of each other. And now that I said that, I was waiting for the second follow alert to pop, but it never did. I was waiting for Robco's. Because usually, if Violet Derp does it, Robco does it right after. Or vice versa. Smart asses. Hi, Shadow. How are you doing today? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I did not pay attention that time. Oh, I wonder why that's still broken. I'll have to look and see what's going on with it. I mean, it's not anything I can do. Maybe it was a API change from uh, from Twitch. Hi, you got big scary hammer. Okay, I was like, I don't know which direction you're doing that from, so. Oof, okay. Fair. Ow, 
was not ready. Oh, I pressed it. Ooh, got a bloodstar limb from him. Wow. Wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. Nice. I wonder if we get one from the other guy then, because if we do, then... Then we actually get a... We'd actually get an increase. Cozy Vibes, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. EST. Well, there you go, everybody. Go check out Lone Wolf Pack. Playing some really chill, cozy vibes with some... Uh, Mysteria. Mysteria. Mysteria? Mysteria. See, I told you I said it wrong. I'm glad you're doing well, Shadow. Good to hear. I'm doing all right, thank you. I'm doing all right. I am having a good time with everybody here, which is nice. Fixed a door that wasn't latched properly today. Bad news, I broke a drill bit. You broke a drill bit? Damn, that's impressive, Nightcap Nandrew. Uh, congrats on fixing the door. Sucks about the drill bit, though. At least drill bits are usually pretty inexpensive, so. Honestly, Shadow, this game is a lot of fun. I, I like it a lot. I almost played it off stream yesterday just because I wanted to play more of it. <laughs> Party time! Oh, I was a split second late. What? Oh, I call bullshit. Oh, I do not know how this works. I don't even have a clue how that works. That was me trying it for the first time. On a big dude. I completely missed that. Oh, wow, I rolled way too early. Okay. Well, shit. I have no healing, and this guy is destroying me. There's another one of those cube things. So, yeah, you definitely travel around here. Leave me alone, mister. Where am I at on the map? Okay, well, I would just respawn there. Screw it. If he kills me in one shot, that's fine. It's whatever. Oh, crab. Oh, crab. That's fine. Because I'm closer to the spawn point here than I would be if I spawned at the other place. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, gotcha, Night Camp and Andrew. Yeah, that's a little more expensive if you're going that route. Oh, crap. I love the play on words with all of the the words. It's, I, I just love that. It's funny to me. You've learned about Frederick. The way you said that, Colossus, makes me worried. <laughs> Mistria. Mistria. Yeah, I don't either, Lone Wolf. I don't either. So I just kind of say whatever, and I'm like, oh, it sounds close enough to write, right? If people want to mis uh, correct me, that's fine. Okay, that one guy didn't respawn. I was hoping he didn't, because he gave me, like, something special. So let's see if we can get this guy now. Damn it. Oof, that was close because I was still. Oof. Aha. So that's interesting. That one didn't actually give me anything special it was the other one which is weird because this one was the one with the glowing eyes so i figured he was more important oh well oh okay 
I was kind of wondering if it was like a special tribute because it kind of seemed like it was. But I was like, is this going to be something like super sad? Like somebody's kid passing away or something? I was like, oh, Lord. That makes more sense. I don't think I can get up there. I think you have to... You probably have to have the cubes first. Okay, I'm paying attention this time. Making sure there's no X's or bubbles. Okay, I think we're good. There's bubbles, but not the type of bubbles that you would see those dudes come out of the ground with. I'm almost done exploring the sands between. That leads up there. That leads to that area. Okay, if I do die, I could just respawn at the middle thing because it's closer now. I know there's something over like where I don't have a pointer, but there was a an item over there. So we'll see if we can find anything else. <laughs> We're getting a lot of crystals though, which is nice. Um, yes, Asel. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good, Lars. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I hope you had a good time. Ooh, they're looking at an X. You you have fun with that X right there. I ain't coming near it. Okay, there's a block which, yeah, is in the way. So we can't do that area. I'm assuming there's just going to be blocking us from any of the big progressions kind of thing, which makes sense. That's a tin can. We already have one of those. I wonder if there is a thing we can fast travel from over here. Aha, that's what I was hoping for. That is what I was hoping for. Okay, I'm going to grab those items that I wanted and then we're going to go the actual right way. <laughs> I've just mainly been fighting that boss and exploring big wide open area. And yeah, I got a feeling those purple cubes are just like cannons or something once you break them apart. And like originally I was like, oh, maybe it'll be um, umami power. And it probably will be, but not in the same sense that you can just go and unlock it. I think it's part of like story progression. But I could go and see what we have available. Because I have 128 crystals now, so... Okay. Here we go. They're being wily and annoying. What we got going on over here? If you're heading out to Flotsam Vale, careful where you put your claws. My family and I used to raise sardines out there for sh uh, Shellfish Corp. Set up their company town there. It's a mess ever since. Ain't no place for a vacation. Got any fives? Go fish. Now listen here, I ain't no damn fish. And I'm staying right here till we finish our game. God. Oh, let's go! Nice. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Whew! The sands between. Oh, thank you. I didn't even have enough time to try to mute my mic. 
That was a, a quick one. Snuck up on me. Um, hello? <laughs> I can still feel it. Even distant, our home still calls to me. Calls to us. No matter how we resist, the spiral drags us inward. Wow, okay. You are... Are you tripping on seaweed, my dude? Or did you get some of that speed from that other guy? Barbed hooks, man. They were just baiting us to come out here. And all it is is barbed hooks. Technically, I did get an upgrade for my health, which is nice. A googly eye! Minus 50% 50, 50 affliction buildup from mental attacks. It's actually pretty cool. You need a lot of vitality to use it. I am nowhere near that yet. Okay, I don't see anything over here. All right. Finally gonna move on towards the forest. Hope your allergies aren't too bad. I've been getting annihilated. I usually don't have almost any allergies, Fnog. It's, it's definitely a blessing. I feel like I've gotten like itchier eyes over the years, but that's about it. But no, I just sneeze a lot. <laughs> I've always been a sneezy person, and I do have that photic uh, sneeze reflex, so I sneeze at bright lights and the sun a lot. And after Rube has spent some time with me, he, he, he sees it. When we were in Vegas, I sneezed a lot. Ah, not those guys. Crossing my fingers, I don't end up getting like major allergies like some people. But I hope your allergies aren't too bad. Do you tend to get a lot of allergies going into the fall though? I feel like that's not as common. Doesn't mean it can't happen, but. I always think of allergies as being much more of a spring thing. Why is there just a dead crab there? Crab and moist crack. Take it easy on my neighbors. It's not their fault they've lost their minds. They just couldn't take the knowing. You couldn't either. You'll turn out like them once you know what they know. Okay. Oh, nice, Paragon. What set did you end up getting? And welcome in, by the way. Allergies are for the weak-willed who let their immune system bully them. <laughs> well, I'm sure it would bully me too if I let it. Okay, let's... Why is it showing exclamation points? Oh wait, I was gonna go back to the oh, other dude. Hang on. Because I have enough crystals to do stuff, so I may as well. Fall is usually the worst time. It's not so bad if you don't care about breathing. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Fnog. It's not 1 a.m. and I quit satisfactory. Really, PJs? But that's because you have work tomorrow. Wait, still, who are you? What have you done with PJs? I don't believe it. It's a flower I can't spell and I ain't trying to type it out. <laughs> no, that's super fair, Paragon. I love the uh, botanical sets they've come out with. I love the little potted plants and I love the uh, the little succulents that they did. Oh, interesting, Colossus. Maybe you just sneeze a lot like I do. <laughs> I 
Oh, speaking of something, hang on one second. I'll be right back. I just went to check my email to see if it had arrived. And it has. Still need to do your piano practice? I am so proud of you, PJs. Oh my gosh, you are a way better and more responsible human being than I am by a long shot. Ugh. Colossus! Look what arrived! Maybe I'll build this tonight. I might build it tonight. Yeah, it's a little London set that Colossus ordered me through Throne, so. I might build it tonight. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I thought about it is because I even said earlier that I needed to, uh, uh, I needed to check because it was supposed to arrive today and then Paragon mentioned Lego and I'm like, I forgot to check for that. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. Learn, what do we need? That does sound good. That's what I was thinking. So that was a skill, just haven't gotten it yet. This path sounds really good to me. That also sounds really good though. I like those. I like these. And the healing stuff sounds like a good idea too. I'm gonna go this route though. SRB near capsized enemy to attack their weak point for massive damage. Oh, damn. Hold RB and use a charge attack on a shell to stick it to the end of your fork. You may also press down to do the same with your equipped shell. Hitting enemies with it will deal a lot of damage and capsize them quickly, but will use up the shell's shell health. So I need to find a disco ball to put on the end of this bitch. <laughs> All right, cool. Burger. What about a burger? Juicy, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Did you have a burger? 
Oh, never mind. You're talking about Viola Derp. I was very confused. I didn't read in order and I should have. Got the, uh, suddenly got her hit with the worst hunger pangs. Chat, what category of delivery am I getting? Chinese. Every time. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make myself hungry. I know it's nine o'clock and I will probably be eating after I get off stream. So. <laughs> But that's okay. Oh, I want to close that. I had the thing open still about, um, oh God, about, uh, the stupid worm. Okay, sorry, I was looking at something real quick. There we go. So seafood, burger, Vietnamese, Chinese, seafood, burger, let's go. <laughs> I would 100% eat that. I have eaten that, it was dope, oh my god. <laughs> Lord have mercy on your gut. Oh, whoops, wait, did I, oh, wait. No, I didn't fast travel where I needed to. I am happy for you, Acel, and also envious, but now I can't be too envious because I will be getting it myself, so. I hope you like it, though. What, Fnog? Jeez, that sounds like a combination. You all have some crazy combinations. Hey, bud, I just beat that crab out there. Now what? Oh, he doesn't have anything to say. I beat, like, the biggest, hardest crab in the land. He didn't have shit to say. Of course he doesn't. Fair enough. I don't need people to tell me I'm great. It'd be nice to. Oh, where's this go? Oh, pff. that doesn't surprise me that I can't pick up a jar. Ew! Ew, thug! Ew! T-T-T-T-T. <laughs> the world crumbles beneath us. Do you feel it? What has been built will return to sand, and what was forgotten will reemerge. Our home, our brilliant home. <laughs> you guys have some problems here. I'm so glad I came up here to listen to your babblings of a silly crab boy. Oh my god, Asal, heck off. Sounds good, Paragon. Have a good night. I hope you enjoy your Lego when you get it. Or if you just, like, actually got it. I guess I just assume everybody, you know, <laughs> orders things. I don't live anywhere near a Lego store or anything. I guess Walmart carries Lego. The sky is falling and shit. Apparently, Rimming. Apparently. Ooh. God, there's gonna be more of those stupid worm things. Got it. Oh, hey, it's this one. Firth. I couldn't remember his name. Nice, Paragon. Well, I hope you enjoy building it when you get to it. Have a good night. That's adorable. The instruction manual is a comic and it has a poster for me to hang on my wall right next to the hang in there cat, cat chat. Hang in there chat. Hang in there cat. Mm hmm. I know which one you're talking about. Hanging on like a branch or something. <laughs> That's cute as hell. I like that. I hope mine comes with that too. I know. Who actually goes to the store and buys things? I don't know. I would never. Look who it is! Honestly, thought you might have died in the sands between. Oh, I did a lot first. No way, I'm pretty strong. 
I like your confidence, pal. And at the very least, you've made it this far. But stuff's gonna get rougher from here, you know. The grove used to be a real chill village full of lovable country bumpkins. Real salt of the sea types. But anyone who gets the paper knows what happened here by now. Just 10 or 20 tides ago, a bunch of them went totally nuts. Foaming at the mouth, saying all kinds of weird stuff, and wouldn't you know it, them those crazy crabs up and killed all the rest of them. That's horrible. I uh, don't lose too much sleep over it. It happens all the time these days. That... That seems really, really bad. Yeah, it's not great. But what can you do, you know? That's life in the sticks. I just count myself lucky for my cozy apartment in New Carcinia, where nothing like that ever happens. That's not foreshadowing at all. Expired roof. I need to find a couple things to kill because I'm really close to a level. Ooh, the music sounds pretty here. Perfect. I like the music here though, for sure. Sounds like Arkansas. What do you mean, Remain? What do you mean, sounds like Arkansas? Yeah! Man, if Arkansas had this pretty of music, though. <laughs> That's very fair. <laughs> Got me. What the hell? How do you guys look like that? Oh, come on. Oh, I see you, Mr. Purple Eyes. I see you. That's a colander. Oh, I guess I could have just... Okay. I went the hard way. It's fine, though. It is. It's pretty and it sounds pretty. I'm here for it. What the, what the fuck? No, go back to the nice music. the nice music. I even like jumped for it. Now we went to like spooky music. Thank you for the hydration reminder, Colossus. Damn. Say those guys. Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Oh, apparently the horse died too. Oh shit. 
What? I couldn't even do anything. I was stun locked. Fuck you. Stun lock me to oblivion. I do what I gotta do, Violet Derp. I do what I gotta do. Oh, it's hella stun locked there. I couldn't do anything. I'm gonna see if I can just sneak back around that way. Just like so. Violet Derp, this should pretty much come as no surprise to you. Ugh. I couldn't go around to the side, I tried. Hey, look, I parried. Totally on purpose, 100%. I forgot that I even had the berry. So, whoops. There's no biome safe. I guess none with a term for the word horse in it. Ice cream cone! works, so I need to figure it out. Hi, Kevin! Oh, I thought I... Oh, wow, that insta What the fuck? That destroyed me. Good lord. Hi, Kevin! How are you doing? I tried calling you back today because yesterday I was troubleshooting a server for a couple hours, so. Now the music doesn't sound so pleasant. Go back to the pretty music. How are you doing today, Kevin? Oh, wait, wait. Where the hell was him? I guess I gotta go around the way I came from. Today was all right. How was just apparently? Wait a second. Oh, okay. This is some straight bullshit. Straight bullshit. Goodness. The the, the freaking thing is pushing me off like the map. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't have any, like, range shit. So I just... Okay. So I just die. Oh, apparently he fell off, which doesn't really make any sense for a seahorse to be able to die like that, but, you know. Sure, we'll take it. Day was alright, though, Kevin. I hope your day was fantastic. <laughs> so, Jesus. There, I got my thing back. I'm assuming that's explaining that. Yeah, good day. He, he just keeps. It was a great day on the home front. He just sold the house yesterday and it was funded today. Hashtag money. Nice. Great visits at work. Finally. The country again in sales versus budget. Nice. Well, Kevin is having a fantastic day then. I know their house has been on the market for a while, so that's good. Congrats. Doing everything right. I'm double checking this. Okay, these X's mean something different. I don't know why. I can't figure out why. Kevin, thank you for the 100 bits. I'm glad that you all got your house sold officially. That is exciting. How goes the search for uh, a house in, uh, in Vegas? Has been there been any progress there? 
Oh, hey, there's something behind the waterfall, but I don't know if I want to get that from here. The glory days of styrofoam. Fuck's sake. Indeed. I would like an ice cream cone right now, Remy. That sounds great. That sounds great to me, anyway. Oh, that looks like bad goop. And I have 4,000 soul thingies, but... Eh, fuck it, why not? Oh, here we go. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen there. Oh. Okay. I don't have healing. Because I was not ready for a fight. I can't leave here, can I? Nope. Well, I am 100% dead. Say if you want to give me a a uh, healing, I saw a healing right here. Nope, I did not. I just want the kelp, please. Thank you. What? No shit, my shell is in bad shape. I didn't know it was good. Oh wait, there's more. There was another kelp seed right there. I was hoping they would also drop them, but apparently not. Hang on, I saw another kelp seed. I'm still alive for a moment. Hang on, I saw another pop can over here. I was already doing the animation. All right, well, there is a boss over here. I did not clip through the wall. <laughs> That's my secret cap. I always want ice cream. Same. Freaking same. I have some ice cream. But I can't have ice cream until I'm done with stream. Unless we just want to sit here and you guys want to watch me eat some ice cream. Because I'm going to say nope. Okay, he just comes out of the ground swinging. Cool. Okay. I don't know why none of my attacks work, but okay. Love that for me. I was like, ah, I can grab that loot while I'm at it. I would like that healing that I just tried to get there. I was gonna say, do not do it to be twice in a row. I'm, oh, oh, the healing is still there. Can grab that. Damn it, dude. Just trying to hit him and I'm 
missing and then he gets me with just an easy swipe. Quite annoying. He is not even that difficult. He doesn't even do that much damage. Uh, I literally was like, oh, I'll commit to the freaking, yep. I'll commit to the, you know, hard hit and then does that. Oof. God dang it, I wanted it to go towards him, not that. I can't get out, damn it. I couldn't get out of that spot. I was trying. Kind of a messy fight, but we did it. Messy fight indeed. Chum! A small friendly fish willing to come to its companion's defense. 20 vitality required. Dude, I'm getting things that like require so much higher levels than what I have right now. It's like they expect you to just do like one, one like category and just level it up a whole bunch. Have a good night, electric man. We'll see you later. I'd rather have the ice cream myself. What do you mean? I mean, I want ice cream. I feel like the time for ice cream is always. I think Rai is correct. I would completely agree with that statement. Ice cream eating streams bringing completely the unacceptable crowd. Not if I'm on this category, Rissell. Oh, you're one of those people, Llama. That is true. That's true. That's because you got all those frozen meals your mom made for you, don't you? You're one of those people. You can't handle, like, seeing people eat and stuff. You're one of those people. Alright, well, we beat that boss. Come here, you little guys. Oh, you're only worth 25. It's probably not even worth the time to get them, but I'm going to. There's a dude down there. I have enough for a couple levels, though. I don't know that I necessarily want to risk it for the biscuit, but I guess I could. Where am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I came from that way. I didn't know this. This was a boss. This place is pretty big. I had to bat. I had cookies and no decorum. <laughs> oh god, yeah, no, that makes sense, Llama. Like, I have nothing against people who can't watch or listen or whatever to people eat. It's just I feel like there are just some people that can't handle it, but no, that makes perfect sense to me. When Samus used to do that in the bed or something, it would drive me nuts too. It was like the dead of night, no other noises, and then just like, lick, 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 lick. And I'm like, no, please, God, no. So I know what you mean. Ah! 
The ones with the purple eyes are always weird to me. I guess those are the ones that you can do more mommy damage with, but... Or towards or whatever. So many barbed hooks. That's a mason jar. I guess more barbed hooks, yep. More barbed hooks, yep. Sinker, a heavy weight capable of dragging trash and creatures alike down to the depths. Attack steal plus 20% balance damage. Okay. Here we go. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even see that person. Old world whirl. A shell from a forgotten time inscribed with knowledge. Umami charges increase. Oh, hell yeah. That was a really good find. Good thing I'm exploring. So that's where the shell is, right? That comes back from a different direction. There's a shortcut there. I guess that's all the way from that. I don't know. It's okay, Lama. I didn't understand it either at first. Must be a French Canadian thing. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I haven't heard that either. We got there in the end. We were able, able, able. <laughs> we were able to decipher. What you blackbird muns? That's not rude saying it's a French Canadian thing. Mama doesn't recognize he's Canadian. I didn't say damn French Canadians. I said it seems like a French Canadian thing. Actually, technically, I was just mimicking what chat said, but. Okay, that's bullshit. What was I supposed to do there, game? up here I thought it was gonna like get me up to where that other stuff was I guess not yes e blackbird like each uh almost every cell has like a that's so frustrating <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that can't get the hell out of here bish how do you like it? Uh, so yeah, almost every shell, oopsies, um, has like a different ability. Some of them will have a similar or same ability, but yes, each of like the things have different things. If each of the different things have different things. Each of the different uh, shells have different abilities. So like this one is shell shocked. I don't remember exactly what shell shock does. Transmute your mommy into a bolt of lightning electrifying shell. Oh yeah, I didn't really care for that one that much, but the soda can has fizzle and that's the one I've been using quite a bit of. Yes, each different thing is different. PJs, weren't you supposed to be practicing music or something? <laughs> I just finished, thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm just, as your friend, making sure that you're getting your stuff done. Mm 
<laughs> things have things and stuff. Things have things. All right, class, time for a quiz. What things have things and why are the things different and are they different at all? Um, I don't know that I can actually get up there. I'm trying to find a way to get up there. But I don't see an easy route to get up there. It is multiple choice, yes. Is this a thingy? No. I can't figure out how to get up there. Possibly from that, but no, that's not high enough, I don't think. Double check, just in case. Better be careful if I get killed right now. I'm not gonna be a happy camper since I got 10,000 microplastics at the moment. I was a little worried about that. Okay, yeah, so you can't get up there from this. So let's just go backwards then, boing. Yeah, I don't see anywhere. Oh wait, hang on, you can go up there. I have no health left though. So this is probably a dumb idea. As I was saying, dumb idea. have to be far enough out to get him. Ah, oh, come on. No. Oh. oh, got him. Ha 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 ha. Close. <laughs> All right, I still can't go up there, but at least I got the last bit. I got baby health and a dream. The nice thing is the point is right there. I'll get my stuff and then go across. We've already beat the boss there, so. Let's go back. And if something kills me now, it's not that big of a deal. It went from nice and peaceful to creepy. What the heck? That guy's got a cactus on his back. I just noticed that. Nice. I get two levels. Give me that sweet, sweet damage. Now we'll waddle back where I was. You need to make a box of boxes. For what? For what, you blackbird? Indian pizza? Honestly, Indian was one of the ones that came to mind when you were asking about stuff. I just don't really care for Indian food, so I didn't. That was not one of the ones I suggested. Oh no, I didn't know there was a jump! Damn it. Oh, any waddle, no way, you waddle waddle. Any waddle, no way, you waddle waddle. To the very next day, bum 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 ba da dum.
Mmm, that makes sense. I've got a bag of bags, a box of boxes, sounds nice. At least from an organization perspective, it does. I'm sorry, Ray, I'm sorry. I don't even know why it popped into my head to be completely honest with you. Wah! Is this guy like Wario? Yeah, I've just never been a fan of Indian food. Sounds good, Juicy. Thanks for coming over in the raid. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful night. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. If you see, if they see you talking to me, they're gonna know I'm not a bush. Bushes don't talk. It's gonna blow my cover. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Whoop. Oh goodness. I was gonna say, how good is this jump mechanic for these gonna be? Oh, come on. I like how the music almost can't make up its mind whether it wants to be like nice and peaceful or terrifying or a little of both. And they just keep alternating them. It's fantastic. I bet. I bet it is. Let's get you back there. If you have a lot of box, make sure you put them in small boxes. Do not be silly with them. Books, paper, stuff like that gets their weight very quickly. That's nice, Violet Derp. Yeah, that makes sense, Fnog. That makes sense. Anticipation. Is it? That was almost a girth. <laughs> I was Firth over here already. I was ahead of him. Wait, so does this lead down the river? I think so. What's up, first? Jeez, this place is a mess, huh? You're doing great though, pal. Not much further to go. How do you know? Uh, it just really feels like that, or feels that way. Like victory's right around the corner, you know? Won't be long before I'm, that is to say, we're one step closer to legendary treasure. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, I'll be hunting. Ugh. Oh, I didn't get the treasure that was over there? Hold up. I missed some treasure. Where that guy is. We going back for treasure. Oh, I thought that would stun him. That was greed on my part. Oh, God damn it. No. No. Yeah, I'm gunked. God damn it. too hard. Uh, <coughs> second time I've done that today. I was about to say, what is this bullshit? More barbs. Come on. I don't even know how many hooks I have at this point. A lot. Too many. I don't use them that frequently. Maybe I should be using them more. How many do I have? 51. Yeah. Too bad I can't sell some of those. Another barbed hook. Why not? I was like, oh, treasure I missed. And then it ends up being nothing. Oh, 
Oh, I don't want to go back through here. Fine. Never heard about it. Are you black bro? What's it about? Tough <laughs> nog. <laughs> paranormal things but in a modern society hmm. might have to have to give it a look see he already shot I guess I can't tell the difference in the sounds out of here actually why don't I just go back and reset my thing anyway oopsies I didn't mean to do that oh god damn it <laughs> I didn't mean to do that either I meant to get rid of my shell first I feel like if you have the shell insurance anyway, if it's the same shell, it should just reset itself. That would be nice. Now the music gets all somber again. It's just like one single note they're holding on the keyboard. <laughs> Cow water. Anybody want some straight from the cow water? That's gotta be what? More diluted than skim milk, then, I guess. Delicious. Nothing like some peak cow water. I like that they even made a cow like that. Ooh, sell by April 16th of 2017. Oof. Do you think cow water goes, you know, very spoiled as well? No, don't gunk me. Yeah, that looks like the right way, so I think I was going that. Just gets better with age? Ugh. Ugh. Enjoy that chocolate water milk. That cow water milk. E Blackbird. All I'm thinking about is ice cream after this. What? What? Fuck off, I totally... Ugh. Get out of here. Is that you who? <laughs> I can 
could see that. Yay! A piece of kelp. Ready to bear nutritious pods. Permanently increase the amount of heart kelp pods you can hold. Very nice. Up to five now. See, it looks like this was just for it's a shopping cart. Actually, hang on. If I'm not gonna go back on that side, I may as well do this. That really kelps out, oh my goodness. Touche, Remy, touche. Uh, oh wait, I don't have enough. Oh my gosh, I'm 100 off, 110 off. I thought for sure I had enough for another thing, hang on. That's fine. All I need to do is kill him so that I could do that. Grass fed, it's ass fed. Oh God, George. I guess that's how they do it in in uh, your neck of the woods. Yeah! I reckon it's all an opportunity to be rude to Llama. That's fair. That's very fair. <laughs> oh Lord. See if we can get to the next boss in this area. Oh, thank you for shouting out, Mr. Zero Piri Productions and Mr. Eight Bit Llama. I was gonna try to finish the clip bounty tonight for August. I was almost done. I got through to some of the. I'll have to show you guys a couple of the Smash Brother ones. Those ones were cracking me up before stream. I was sending like so many. Ow, wah. Fuck off, dude, really? I was sending so many of the Smash Brother ones to Rube. Ha. Asshole. I'm learning so much about my neck of the woods, unfortunately. <laughs> ah, so that looks like a potentially secret boss. Got it. Okay, before I do that. Is that a night claw instead of a white claw? Fight claw. A fight claw instead of a knight claw. Uh, white claw. Alright, looks like we got a boss fight here, maybe. I forget, you still need to do vigilant mod. Yeah, I haven't actually done vigilant mod. No, we talked about it, but because it changed so much gameplay for the playthrough I was doing, we didn't end up installing it. Yeah, I haven't done... What were the ones that I didn't do? I didn't do Civil War. Whatever the Civil War one was. I didn't do Vigilant. And then I haven't touched Enderal. And then the other one, that's the other, I think, German one or whatever, but I, was, I wasn't going to play that on the stream. Yeah, I think that's why we ended up avoiding it in uh, the mod list. So much damage. Okay, 
think he's got like a three for on that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do that. I still haven't quite understood that yet. on that thing. I call bullshit. I think that the whole blue thing means that it's doing something to the ground in front of it, maybe. But that was some bullshit. Yep. Honestly, the music hits pretty hard. Okay. okay, wow. Fucking end me. Let's go again, bud. Yeah, just to it again. Jesus Christ. Shattered Union? I have no idea what that is. Uh, Nightcap and Andrew. Actually stay behind this guy. Most of the bosses you can't seem to stay behind, so. Oh, what? He turned around. God fucking damn it. He turned around. I forgot that. I was stuck on the bone. I literally couldn't move. I was stuck on the... Come on, game. Fuck you. It's like, oh, you figured out that you could get behind this enemy? We're not gonna let that happen. I don't know how I'm supposed to get behind him again, though. That was just like a mistake. Okay, yeah, it's like not letting me behind him. Which makes sense there. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get behind him necessarily, but... Oh, it just goes in front of me. I actually didn't realize that. That's fine. I say it's fine. I couldn't get around him again. I've got it. He's not that hard, but I think it's kind of a pain in the ass that I got stuck on a boat. I was able to get behind him that one time, and then I think that was just like a mistake because I don't think you're supposed to normally be able to. Because the game has pretty much made it clear that you're not like. They usually stay right in front of you, so. I do like that, that one locks them down. There, he's corrected him. Oh, okay. Yeah, there he goes. I can use that to keep him down for a second and try to... Oh, I tried to get... Are you serious? There's another can around here.
There we go. Yeah, he wasn't that difficult. Pollution scar. Cool. Fruit sticker. A piece of adhesive plastic often found attached to edible fruits increases microplastic rewards. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was like, that one should not be that hard to beat. Um, now how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, I just climbed back up. All right. Done and done. Thank you for the GGs. Hi, Crazy Grey Goose. Hello and good night. Hello and good night to you as well. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for bumping and say hi. as well I wouldn't be surprised I mean that's been the boss music for a couple different bosses I think just like this like small side hidden bosses or something seem to have that music what a bitch you guys freaking range is kind of boo shit Come here, you little hooker. I'm not dealing with you. Another crayon. Okay, eggshell we already have. What? Two could play at that game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what you get. Jerk. Yeah, that little mini boss we just beat was worth like one level. Oopsies. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god, I hate this area with these fucking archers. I don't have anything that can counteract them. Not going for that crystal until I know I can kill these fuckers. How do I get up to that one is the question. Fuck off. I hate this game. I don't actually hate this game, but sometimes I hate this game. <sighs> I know! That is one of the cutest parts, Fnog. I talked about it earlier, and then everybody was laughing at me because I was talking about shaking my can can. Can I not? I was going to say, it's like this technically is a shell. It's just not letting me get it. Can I reach that bitch? You and your cow water. Baloney. There. Cheese that bitch. Okay, I've got 7,800 now, which is definitely a level. It's about a level and a half. I got a feeling this is taking me to a next boss fight. Because that other one was just like an optional. God damn it. I was charging my attack, you jerk. Two, and then he does a down slam. I do remember this guy's moveset, at least to some degree. Ah, I missed. Huh? 
Oh, nice. Don't you fucking hit me. I was like, don't you hit me right now. I swear to God, before I get this, you hit me, I will rage so hard. Uh. <laughs> fucking hell, that title, Llama. I just remembered I didn't get back this crystal. So I wasn't going to get it until I got rid of the snipery dudes. You just wanted to make the joke fair. I mean, that would make for a good story. If nothing else. All right, there's a block there. That looks like a shortcut. So yeah, they want you to go this way, which is fine. Up. Oh, you've made it, I say. I should say the same to you. Are your knees doing okay? Excuse me, I should bash your shell in like you little I mean, indeed, I should say my knees are doing better than ever. I've always wa wanted to sorry, I always wish to visit the grove. That's important history buried here, I say. True, I wish to visit it in better times, but better late than never. That's a positive way of looking at it. Uh do let me know if you care for a history lesson, lad. No, I'm good. Ah, uh, one of those types of game, Night Captain Andrew. Gotcha. That's fair. Yeah, he does if you don't have a shell on Fnog. Usually the history is written by the winners, Rimming. Krill is a little adorable guy. He a little cutie. Gonna run across that real quick. Fries. I would take some fries right now. That sounds great. So I thought I was heading, oh, I'm not heading in the right direction. I thought I needed to, wait, what? I'm not heading in the right direction. I thought I was heading towards a boss fight over here. Maybe I misunderstood the assignment. Oh no, there's a sponge right there, okay. Yeah, there we go, okay. What was that shot? You could even see the trail and it just curves. You guys are shit. going with that jump yeah ice cream and fries it is a great combination i am a very big fan of salty sweet so maybe i'll make some tater tots and have some ice cream all right as you did it Where's this go? 
Shortcut, there we go. Oh, is that a pizza tower reference? <coughs> Excuse me. I played a little bit of that game, but I didn't get very far. Always meant to go back to it. I played it on my Steam Deck. Yes, fries and frosty is a must. Every time I go to Wendy's, I always get at least a junior chocolate frosty just so I can dip my fries in. I didn't even know you could attack while you were on these things. Is that another shortcut? Yeah. Oh, hey, Nama is up here. Hey, Nama. All right, I feel like I'm making progress. Well, I'm glad someone's chipper here. What's wrong? Did something bad happen? Did kiddo look at who we're fighting here? These are people. Folks beyond saving, sure, but that don't make it simple. Sorry, I guess I kind of stopped thinking about that after a while. I guess you did. I can't really fault you for it. Sometimes even I forget for a moment. Mark my words, kiddo. Forgetting what it means to hurt someone is the worst thing that can happen out th here in the open ocean. Worse than being a beastie's lunch, I reckon. Could be just about all that separates us from these poor folks is that they forgot for good. Damn, Nama hitting us with the hard life lessons. Yeah, you're not weird for not liking fries, but dang, not a fry liker. This is kind of a gross place to be. Ah. Oh, that was... ah. I don't really understand that mechanic too well. Is there a thing to show me how that works? I don't really understand this. Right, but it says put up a fight, but it doesn't teach you how to do it. I, I don't understand that system. And you don't get very much time to figure it out either. God damn it. That was so little. Jesus Christ. going for the charge shots, but they don't seem to be working too well. A lamprey, an eel-like blood-sucking fish with many circular rows of teeth, plus three health drain. Coffee mug! Morning buzz. A jolt from warm beverage that increases attack speed for a short duration. We'll grab the crystal while I'm at it. <laughs> Sounds good, Colossus. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well, all that good jazz. Oh, sweet potato. Yeah, I'm not as big of a fan of sweet potato. I still like it. Like, it's okay. But hey, to each their own. If I don't like sweet potato, it just means more for you in the world, and vice versa. I was trying to get to see who this next boss was. A 
coffee pod. Lots of new things we find. Okay, I don't think I want to go down the right. Mine's welcome over here at least. All your sweet potatoes for a pudding cup? Damn. Alright, Violet, what do you like that I don't like? See, I thought up there would have been like the boss fight, but I guess not. sushi roll. Yeah! I was hoping you'd be able to do that. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to get that, though. I didn't see a way to get up to it. Hey, Nicholas. How are you doing tonight? That, of course, deserves some is going well. maracas. We're making some good progress in the game. I've been enjoying the, the fights and stuff, so it's been good. Nicholas, thank you so much for the 26 months. That helps with our plus program, so that's another point to the plus program. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Good to see you. Loon Wolfpack, have a wonderful night. Thank you for again for the raid earlier. I'm not going to be on too much longer. I was trying to see if we would get to another boss fight. So I'm going to try and play just a little bit longer to see if we get a boss fight. If not, then I'll uh, I'll be wrapping up myself. And we're still about 1,300 away from another level. I was thinking it'd be over here. I like being able to do this. See this? Okay, this makes me think there is a boss fight here. So let's see if we can beat this boss fight and then we'll call it a night afterwards. Oh, I'm glad you're not doing too bad, Nicholas. It's good to see you. Have you been playing anything particular? Oh, he's got chopsticks. Look out for this guy. Imitation crap. Oh, I tried to roll and I couldn't. Unfortunate. Okay, that's a cool move. Oh, I'm still. Oh, no, I'm not. I was really, yeah, that's fair. I was really, really bad on that one. And then, yeah. <laughs> nope. Okay. Fair enough. So he starts to go, and if he turns his back, then you want to dodge left or right. Planet Crafter, mostly? I know, um, oh, shut up. 
No, I just left my stuff up there. Can I go back to it? Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, can I go back to that? Because I just left my stuff up here, and that was a decent amount. I know Lamrim was playing that for a little while. Oof. Did that hit a little too soon. I've heard good things about it, but I haven't actually played Minecrafter. Oh, come on. I wasn't that close to it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, if he did the slam, that was gonna be rough for me. Way too soon and got lucky. Couldn't even get away. What what the fuck was I supposed to do? I maybe could have tried parrying or something, but Jesus Christ. Planet Crafter word, keyword detected. Planet Crafter is so good, highly recommend it. I think I already own it. I think I picked it up on sale like a couple of, you know, like big sales ago. I tried, Silverleaf, I tried. I couldn't even get out of that. I was stunlocked to hell and back there. Yeah, I do, Liddy. Like, it's not even down the middle. It's such, it's so painful. Yep, 1.0 Satisfactory just launched today, so. I know some people are very excited about that. gonna hit me again. Oh, fuck that, dude. Yes, I would like to spawn here. Let's go. Ugh. He does not give you room to breathe for the heal. couldn't roll I hate the timing on that in this game I feel like there's like this weird delay between your attack and then your ability to dodge like I feel like it's not as fluid as a standard souls like game is because it's like I attack three times and like there's no stamina bar in this game and so like you would think you would just be able to then roll and you can't and it's kind of frustrating if that was the case i would have rather of them put a stamina bar in the game so i could at least see when my stamina is going to be out versus 
the shit that I keep having happen, which is do attacks and then can't do anything for a minute. Because I'm not realizing, like, when I can and cannot do something then. Oh, yeah, that time I was definitely done. I don't even know what you're saying, so really. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh, I missed my chance. There, there we go. That's gonna get him past that. I don't know if it's gonna let me keep, yeah, I was like, I don't think it's gonna, it still let me damage him while he was transitioning phases, so that's kinda nice. Um, when do I get to fight? Wait, when do I get to fight? Fucking when do I get to fight? Okay. <laughs> right. I literally couldn't do anything. He just spammed his attacks. Like, dude, I know you're pissed. I just kicked your ass in phase one, but, um, that didn't seem fair at all. Violet Derp. You can't even play this game, so I don't want to hear about it. Oh, that was close. I'll have you come come do this boss for me then. How about, how about you go ahead and start the game and let's see. Oop, I didn't mean to fall off there. At least he reliably does that at the beginning every time. Which means I can just go quick. Okay. I got stuck on his back. I got stuck on his back foot. He just Taurus demoned me. I honestly roll too soon when he does the swipe. I roll when he telegraphs and that time it was too late. Oof, yeah. This is just a wipe. I roll way too soon on his swipes. Damn. But I keep rolling too late whenever I'm trying to type and I just haven't gotten that timing down right. Yeah, that's fair. This whole, <laughs> this whole round's been bad. Reminds me of Zoe Berg when he runs away like that. Yeah. Honestly, that was a wipe a while ago. Crab souls, circa crab souls. Right now, this guy is somewhat kicking my butt. I'm getting too greedy in phase one because I've already made it to phase two twice. And that just made me bitter. Oh, thank you for that. Uh-huh. Oh, I died for that, but that was okay. Sans is definitely still alive. 
I was almost thinking about doing something like that. Like, I know there's a slew of games that, like, I played on stream and never actually finished. And, of course, that one comes up often because I wasn't that far away from being done. Thank you for using my humble bundling. I don't know, was that for the detective one? I didn't even actually see. Oh, shit. Right, yeah, exactly, a cell. Because there is, like, God, I don't, there's literally, like, several games I could list that I just stopped for one reason or another. Some of them I wouldn't be able to just go back into, like Fallout 2, for example. That it would be way too much of just, like, trying to figure out what the fuck I was doing in that game. But there were others, like Metro Exodus, that I could probably just even restart. And then, uh, obviously, like... Undertale Genocide Run. Oh, that's gonna kill me, yeah. Um, there was a point where I played the Spyro games and then I didn't play three for some reason. <laughs> Even though it was part of the trilogy, I played like the first two and then didn't play the last one. Circle Wave, how are you doing today? I'm trying to think, there, there's there been quite a few that, most of the time I would play it for like one time and then wouldn't play anymore though. It was very rare that I would get very far into it and then never play it. Because usually it was something that would stop me from playing it. Alright, I'm gonna take Violet Derp's words of encouragement here. Unfortunately, that didn't work. I was gonna say and get good, but my timing's still kind of wrong. Ah, oh, shit, I got frightened. Hey, give it the follow. Welcome in. Follows are anonymous. Feel free to lurk or chit chat and get to know us. Whatever you are vibing with. I didn't even hear the actual alert. I just saw the thing pop up. I didn't ask that before, but I guess because we'd already streamed this game once, but the audio has been fine, correct? I didn't even think about that until literally just now because that was the first alert I haven't heard. I don't like his delay. I got frightened with that one. I'm trying to bait out that attack, but there's not really a point because then I can't get the, the stun on him because it goes back too soon. I guess I could do it up to this point so I could at least get my stuff back. He's about to go in phase two. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with that. trying to run away from him because maybe he only does that at the beginning oh that's a interesting attack damn it I tried to actually parry that time Mono, give me strength. Give me strength to kick this guy's ass. He is kicking my ass right now. Welcome in, Raiders. The strength of the raid. It has to be, because this guy's being a bitch. Hi, Mono. Hi, Raiders. I actually don't know if there is a pause button in this game. I have no idea. That sounds stupid, but I mean, most souls born souls likes don't have a pause. Oh, fuck. Come on. No! Oh, come on, I'm so close. 
He's doing some- I can't even say the b boss's name for spoiler reasons, but he's doing a specific move that reminds me of a certain Elden Ring DLC boss bullshit. There we go! It was the power of the raid! Fuck that guy. <laughs> Hello, raiders! <sighs> Fucking hell. Now, he was pissing me off in that phase, too. I felt like I had no room to breathe. Welcome in, everyone! How are you doing tonight? Mono, thank you so much for the raid! They led me to my own devices, and somehow I ended up here. I am so sorry, everybody. <laughs> Scriggs, Scriggs, welcome in. Anshin, welcome in. Three Blu-ray copies of Shrek 2. Always loved your name, and I've probably said it every single time you've come in here. Ty Samu, welcome in. Affliction, hello, hello. Uh, Geek in the Pink, hello, hello. How are you? Of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Mano Zaki himself. Everybody, if you don't know Mano by now, then, man, you haven't been in my streams enough, because uh, this guy is really awesome. He's super cool. He is a wide variety content creator himself. He plays a little bit of everything from major games to indie games. Playing Peglin tonight. Didn't Peglin actually have its full release or am I crazy? Am I, am I misremembering? This guy was a little stinker. Like his phase two actually triggered me a little bit ago. Cause the second time I got him into phase two, all he did was a set of like four attack or not four, eight attacks. It was two sets of two each time. And, like, I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I couldn't roll out of it. I couldn't, like, shield it. I was just getting fucked. So, he uh, he kind of pissed me off a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but that was a couple tries ago. And you guys came in, gave me the power of the raid. And here we are. So, uh, Minku Heart, welcome in. For those that don't know me, hi. My name is CD. I'm a variety streamer from Arkansas in the U.S. Around my parts, we focus on first blind playthroughs of story-based games. That can be anything from indie titles to triple A's, in, uh, old games to new games. I recently started playing Half-Life for the first time. Uh, some upcoming titles, if you all are interested, that's some of what you're going to see in the next basically two to three months. Doesn't mean you won't see other stuff, uh, but that is kind of a good idea of what's going to be on the channel. So... No strength in stock today. Can I interest you in our selection of gun? I haven't actually tried the gun yet, uh, Blu-ray. I have not tried the gun yet. Because I wanted to play the whole game without it, but I really want to see what the gun is like. Thank you, mods, for getting shoutouts for Mono. Seriously, guys, if you don't know Mono already, please get yourself acquainted. Drop him a follow. Go check out his streams. You never know. You might find your next favorite content creator in him. Uh, let's see here. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Follows are anonymous unless I've seen you say something in chat, so I appreciate it. Uh, feel free to lurk, chit chat, whatever you're vibing with. I know it is getting later. I was saying how I was just gonna fight this boss and be done, but I guess I'll carry on just a little bit longer. I'll tell you what, I'll go till 11 p.m. my time, 17 more minutes, and then I'll call it a night. So we'll just make it a nice spicy seven hour stream. Uh, thank you for the GG's guys. I appreciate it. He did trigger me for a minute. <laughs> Okay, so Peglin is fully released. So I bought it, I think, back when I watched you, Krillin, and OMS all played Peglin somewhere around the same time. And I don't even know which one of you guys finally, like, made me decide to buy it, but I bought it then. But I never played it. Because, <laughs> of course, that's what I do with video games. I buy them and never touch them for years. Let's be real. Uh, but I did see that I thought it had come out in 1.0 and then I was like, shit, am I getting that confused with Satisfactory that came out in 1.0 today? Or one of the other many games that have come out of Early Access recently, so. Uh, loves that the devs were memeing hard enough to put a gun in the access. I know, right? No, honestly, they've made some really funny decisions in this game. Like, there's a lot of humor, but then there's also, like, some straight, like, dread moments. If you talk to some of the NPCs, like how hard they go with some of their dialogue and i'm just like dude okay you guys are getting too real on me like some of this is it'd be hitting hard <laughs> so but no they actually do a really good job of uh of like interweaving humor and like you can tell that they didn't they not they didn't give a shit they they had fun with it they didn't take themselves too seriously and so i've really been enjoying the game it's a lot of fun even if that boss triggered me slightly Um, let's just read. Oh, I can't even get two levels out of that. Uh, do I have any microplastics I can go sell real fast? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Hang on. We're just going to do that real quick. 
that's not gonna take long, and then I'll pick up whatever that map piece thing is. Oh yeah, and my nail, I can increase my nail too. So, lower crust. But Mono, how was your stream? Uh, please, if you do need a raid and run, if you need to chillax, if you need to get food, whatever it is you need to do, if you need to take care of anything, please take care of yourself. And I really appreciate you bringing your community over. I always enjoy spending time with you and I appreciate you bringing some people my way. And we'll just stay on for another 14 minutes or so. We'll get some upgrades. We'll take a peek ahead and see what else we got going on. I did already beat the crab in the sands between. Uh, I don't remember if you... Mono was in here for just a smidge earlier, and I can't remember when he was in here. But I actually went ahead and fought the uh, the big crab in the sands between before I did any of the forest stuff. I was so determined to beat that bitch. It, it took me like an hour or so, but it felt so good to beat him, like having not gone very far in the game. So it was good. Got a win. Nice. Unlock the last new character I needed. Sweet. So if you guys don't know real fast, because I am a big proponent of indie titles. Um... Oh, did you really? So no, as soon as they were like, oh, we can have somebody fight. Uh, or like somebody's out there. I wanted to find out who it was very soon. And then I saw him and I'm like, I'm going to see how much damage he does to me. I'm like, you know, that's not bad. It's not good either. And then I was like, okay, he's got a five move that kind of would shit on me. And finally, I figured out like the pattern to just start backing up and back roll. And uh, I was able to usually get through it or only get hit by it once. And once I finally had that down. And also, when I wasn't using a shell, he was easier. So, yeah, I beat him whenever my level ups only cost like 3,000. So, after beating him, I think we were able to get five or six levels out of him. I ended up buying other shit instead. But, uh, it was just really funny. I was so determined to beat him. But yeah, the game that Mono was playing was this one right here, guys. It's called Peglin. Uh, it is a deck building roguelike pinball art. Ro Wait, roguelite and roguelite. Why is it? Why does that have both of those? Anyway, <laughs> if you guys have ever played the game um, Peggle, back on like the old school 360 days, uh, this uh, it it kind of reminded me of that. It's not really the same, but like the concept of the bouncing ball and like getting stuff down below here. And then it goes up and it fights characters above there. It, it's really cool. So you guys should totally check this game out if you haven't. Or go watch Mono. And then you can decide for yourself if it's right for you. But I do love me some good indie titles. And uh, I do need to play this. And 1.0 just came out. Silverleaf, thank you for the GG's. I appreciate it. I needed it after that. I needed it after that. Uh, okay. I don't want to buy your junk. I want to sell some junk. Let me just sell it all. Yeah, give me that sweet, sweet money. I'm just going to take some levels real quick. Don't mind me. All right, now we're starting to get to the point where it's getting pretty high to level. We got 4,000, so guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna get a Mr. Crab skin finally, because I want it. No, that's not what I want you to do. I could see what other shells they have, but. Oh, that, I didn't grab the map piece yet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll grab that in a minute. I, uh,. <laughs> I have more important things to tend to, like getting level ups and stuff. Oh, you can also roll with this one. <laughs> nice. I love being able to roll with stuff. No, it's 7,500. I thought it was one of the 2,500. No. Oh, you son of a. D 
duo, I'm upset. I was so happy to get the Mr. Krill, only to discover it is more expensive than I thought. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Do I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? Today's been kind of a mixed bag. <laughs> My day in general is just kind of like weird, but stream has been lovely. People have been wonderful. That kind of stuff. So that's raised my spirits. I'm good, tired, it's bedtime soon. Yeah, I feel you. I was gonna hop off right after that boss, but I'm still gonna grace y'all's presence for nine more minutes. Uh, so let's go back and grab the map piece and then we'll come back here. But I'm glad you're doing well. I think this is a piece of the map. Never thought I'd say this, but I can't wait to get back to the city. This place is a huge bummer. A brilliant display. You may have yet, or you may have promised yet, Vagabond. There you are. I could have really used your help beating that guy. I was otherwise occupied. Think nothing of it. That beast was a mere speed bump besides. Nothing compared to the master that dwells within the village's sanctum, surely. I thank you for clearing the path, though. I press on. Uh-huh. I wasn't sure if there was, like, anything else around here after we beat him. I was going to say, it looks like you could go past it to go to the village, but... I guess you probably can't do anything until you have the map piece, maybe, or something in place. You can drop down here, but why would you? Oh, no, you can go to the village. Hang on. We'll see where this leads. Oh, what is that? Okay, just something to climb on. All right. Fair. You. I love how this piece of food is landed perfectly on this plate under the ocean. Nope. Nope. You absolute hooker. I wonder if more of those things have had stuff in them and I didn't realize till just now. Cause I thought sometimes the bottles looked like they were glowing. Ah. What? I thought the bottles looked like they were glowing at one point, but I wasn't really sure. I thought it was maybe just like the light on the glass, but now I'm not so sure. Okay, seahorses, don't mess with me. No, bad seahorses, bad seahorses. Do I have now? 128. We can definitely get some stuff then. That's nice. It's a big sushi. I don't want it. I hope that I didn't go the right way. I probably did because it was a shortcut thing and the other way probably had more loot. Knowing my luck. I was hoping I could spin through that. me. Excuse me, sir. No, please, no. God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to heal and I could not get it off in time. 
Oh, I'm not where I thought I was at all in that case. Let me see if I can get to the next um, little like moon shell thingy. And that would be a good place to stop. So yeah, I have the shortcut over here, so I may as well take that. See, there's a thing over there. Now I'm wondering if that was the wrong way then. Oh shit, can I not? God damn it. Fair, just put me back up at the top, please. Yup. I'm okay. <sighs> this is what I get for trying to rush through things. The thing you're absolutely not supposed to do in, in Souls like games. And here I am just rushing to try to I'm not even trying to rush to get back to my stuff. I'm just trying to rush to get over here. So I don't have to fight people. <laughs> I'm not even going the direction of my stuff. Oh my god, the freaking dudes with the arrows. Come here, you jerk. I am going to destroy you as soon as I can reach you. I didn't think he could hit me through that. Yeah, this is just a dead end, so. I don't know if I'm necessarily glad I came back here. I just keep getting destroyed by everything. Give me something good for my pain. Not even like that good, okay, fair enough. That's what I get. Hampton. Nice. I got a new shell. I don't like the large shells though, because I like the faster mobility. I tend to use the medium because it's kind of got the trade off, but what does this one even do? It's just pop off. That's ah, not even that good. Let me see if I can go get my stuff now. meant to do. God. I'm just getting wrecked by everything right now. Sir, please die. Oh, it's literally right there too. Go put the map piece away. Ah, uh, it's right there. That was the struggle boss. That's not even enough for a level. Not even close. Oh my god, I'm so- wait, 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 wait. Didn't I just get- hang on. I did. It's a thousand. That's enough! We're doing it. I'm still getting Mr. Krabs. Do that. Insert map piece. We're good.
I want to know why that car even exists down here. They're like, you know what would be fun? Just put a little little control car down here with a little fish driving it. Maybe there's something that actually goes along with that, but... Alright, time to go buy my Mr. Krill outfit. I mean, you got a point to sell. But like, it doesn't make any sense because everything in the city has been a clam except for Roland and we know he's like the powerhouse, right? Clam crabs, whatever. Or crabs that are have clam heads. Whatever the hell these types of ones are. True, Todd, true. Yes! There we go. <laughs> Arsenia. And there's just the one and it's down there. We've made so much progress today just because of this. Oh, I just realized the shape of my fork looks different because we've done the increases to it. Do my eyes deceive me? You've brought back a piece of the map. Here it was pouring over literature. Pouring over literature? Trying to discern its exact location, you've gone and done it. All the knowledge in the world can't beat a little elbow grease and determination, I say. Well, I got it, all right. But I gotta be honest, I have no idea what this one means. So I thought I might as well show it to you. So you seem kind of smart. Kinda? You little whelp. I mean, yes. Give it here. I'll decipher it straight away, I say. Aha. Uh -huh. What's... What is that thing? I've never even seen anything like it. Of course you haven't. You're from out of town. But any Carcinian worth their salt water knows that such a building exists in Floatsome Vale to the east of here. Floatsome Vale? You mean it's inside Roland's company town? No chance we find that one before him. And I'm sure his employees have turned that place upside down already. Well, we tried. The house always wins, don't it? He's got a Rubik's Cube now. I didn't realize his shell kept changing every time. But I guess that makes sense because he said he was always trying to get the like most vibrant shell. You always gotta be such a stick in the gunk. Give up if you want a small fry. I ain't quitting. Hey, 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 hold on. Who said any of us could look, or who, who said any of you could look at the map at all, huh? I'm the one who found it. Oh boy, here we go. Kiddo, be reasonable. We're all up against the odds here. It's clear that Roland and his goons have the best chance of getting that treasure. So let's us little folk beat him to the punch first, and then we can argue all we want, okay? Alright, I guess you have a point. See y'all and flip some veil then. See you there. Shell with it. Guess I'm coming too. Codspeed, brave adventurers. I mean, I look like the captain. I'm not talking to you while you're looking at my clues and shit. You guys didn't do anything. I just saw you at points along the way. You didn't... Okay. The lady gave me a little bit of good advice about the the dude and the sands, but that's about it. Let's see if there's something I want to grab from this, too. And then I'll teleport to the other thing and we'll call it a night. I keep prolonging it. Hello, Rex. How are you doing? See? That was worth staying on for three more minutes. <laughs> What's up, Brax? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. What's up, Captain Wing? Hello, Femboy Neo. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Oh, how was Icarus? That was a, uh, it's like a survival game. I remember watching some people play it, but I never actually gave it a try. I think I saw people play it when it was still in beta, though. I think it went early access at some point. I don't think it's fully released, but you can correct me because uh, you would know more than me in this case. 
for sure. But welcome in Raiders, my name is CD. I'm a variety game streamer from Arkansas in the US and tonight we are playing Another Crab's Treasure, which is an indie game, Souls-like game with platforming elements and it's been really fun. But welcome in everyone. Feel free to stick around as little or as long as you like. In this case, as long as you like is only gonna be about another five minutes. <laughs> Cause I am literally just about head out the door, so. Died a large number of times. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> we won't judge you on that because I died a large number of times here. So, Captain Wing, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Hope you enjoy your time here. We typically focus on first blind plate as a story based game. So if any of those games on that list interest you, those are some of the upcoming playthroughs that we've got. It's not an all inclusive list, but it gives you an idea of what you'll see around this channel. Doing good. Neo is fine. If it's easier for you, I appreciate it, Neo. Uh, I know that the whole thing can be a bit of a mouthful, <laughs> just a little bit, yes. I usually do tend to shorten people's names, but at least I wanted to make sure you knew I was talking to you, Neo. But welcome in. Thank you. I'm enjoying the game a lot. It's it's very fun. I got triggered at a boss a little bit earlier because I felt like it was spammy as hell. But we buckled down. We got it. We made good on it. And yeah, it's uh, it's been fun ever since. We fought quite a few bosses tonight. So I'm feeling good about actually having made some good progress this evening. Thank you for asking. And thank you again for the raid. If you do need a raid and run or take care of anything or anything like that, please make sure you do so. Like I said, I'm going to be wrapping up here myself here momentarily. So and thank you, Neo, for the follow as well. I hope you, you enjoy your time with us. But yeah, we're going to be playing some Project Zomboid tomorrow. Well, actually, the next two days. We'll be playing some Oblivion on Saturday. We'll be playing some more Project Zomboid on Sunday. We might play some more of this next week. And then I will actually be going to TwitchCon. So I will be gone for a beat. Immediately regenerates. Good as new. Be careful. Kintsugi only works once per rest. Enter a moon snail shell to recharge it. Okay. That's good to know. Dealing damage to an enemy will restore your recently lost shell health. I like that. That's very bloodborne -y. Which also makes it more viable to actually shield where I've been dodging mostly. I really haven't been shielding a whole lot in this game. So that's kind of cool. Alright, let's go back there. Oh, that's wonderful, Neo. Congratulations. I bet it feels good to be you. Shell health is great. Yeah. Pick this up, to be honest, but souls like scares me. Well, let me help unscare you. I know that doesn't really make sense, but it will here momentarily. Let me, let me teleport here and I'll explain why. Uh, you should definitely still give this game a go. Even if you are not a fan of Souls likes or you're intimidated by them or anything, this game is probably one of the most approachable of the Souls like games. One, because it's definitely a lot more like silly, like pretty funny, that kind of stuff, but really because of the assist mode. So I haven't turned any of this on, so I don't know how relatable it is, but the fact that they have so many different options to make your game easier, including even giving your character a gun. So if you're like, man, I just kind of want to play the game like and give it a try, then guess what? You can, uh, you can make it a lot easier for yourself. So presets, oh God, no, I don't want to turn any of this on. There we go. I was like, oh, please God, don't do that to me. <laughs> I want the challenge. <laughs> uh, extra shell durability, reduced damage taken. Heck, even when you die, you don't lose your microplastics on death kind of situation. Uh, prevent fall, pitfall damage, like all of this. They make it really nice to uh, to try to play the game. So whether you are a fan of Souls Likes or if you're like, man, I just kind of want that action adventure with a splash of platformer kind of feel, then you can play this game. So definitely keep it on your list because this would definitely be one of the more easy ones. You can even click to recover your micropod. I didn't even know that, so. I haven't been using any of the assist mode stuff, but it exists and I think that's really great that they wanted uh, the ability for anybody to actually play their game. They they said like in the beginning, whenever you open it, it's like our experience is dedicated to this, but because we want to be inclusive as possible, then 
here you go. So uh, this is a Souls-like, not a Rogue-like. No, Souls-like. Has a lot of elements of a Souls-like, including like regeneration of health, uh, being like a singular healing vessel, in this case, heart kelp instead of an Estus flask. Uh, if you die, you lose your microplastics, which is like your souls in the place that you drop or like in the place that you die. Uh, boss fights work similar. Similar. They have points system, like a, uh, a resting system that works similar to souls, that kind of stuff. So very, very similar. But yeah, it is a good game. Unfortunately, that is where I'm going to have to end it today. And even though Hockey just got in here. Hi, Hockey. How are you doing? How was your front page stream the other day? I didn't actually get a chance to ask. I just played all of the uh, played all the marbles games with you. <laughs> Morning, Snuggle Bunsies. You missed the warm up of seven hours. Yeah, nope, that's OK. <laughs> uh, Sylvie, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Sylvie, Sylvie Lori. I hope I said that correctly. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it's nice that they did that. And like, I'm, I would love for more people to experience games like this. And that means you can also kind of cater it to you. And if you want to make it a little more difficult as you go, then you can try to ease yourself into something and kind of learn how Souls games work. So yeah, you did hockey, you did. I'm sorry. I've already been streaming for seven hours. So I was gonna end like an hour ago, but I wanted to get that last boss fight done. And then we had a lovely raid and then we had another lovely raid. So I just decided to wrap up a couple things while I was at it. So uh I'm sorry to the people that got in here at the end, but it has been a seven hour stream and I got to go finish up a couple of things tonight and I got to go to eat ice cream because we've been talking about that and you better freaking believe I'm about to eat some ice cream. So, yeah. Ugh. I've been so busy today. Holy cow. Front page was okay. It's been a bit weird being up there. Yeah, no, that's fair. I was just hoping it went well for you. I prefer to start calling Dark Souls a crab treasure light game. Oh God, a cell. Of course you would. Close enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not good at name pronunciations. <clears throat> if you can break it out for me and it makes sense, I will totally say it however it needs to be. Say, CD, what's with the Yoshi? Just helping. You are helping. Sorry to everybody that came in the raid and was like, oh God, now the streamer is going to talk to us about supporting her. So anybody that's new, you can just like completely tone deaf this out for a moment while I finish wrapping up my stream. And my mods are trying to help me because I'm a, a person that is really bad about talking about support and stuff. But to all the people that have been watching me for a while and may feel the wonderful desire to support me, I recently went to full-time content creation and we are trying to hit the plus, I'm gonna say plus program level two. We've already hit one a while ago. We are actually pretty darn close to hitting it for the first month. Uh, we were about a hundred and like six points or 110 points or something like that away. And we've been sitting around the 200 mark for the, like the last six months. And so because it was September and because it makes it easier for people to actually save money, I was like, cool, this is the only time I will ever ask for people if they would like to support me. So in lieu of gifting subs or bits or anything else, if you're not already a tier two or tier three, please consider it. I know that it's not possible for everyone. And especially if you're new to the community, there is no reason for you to do it. But hockey's over here adding another point. <laughs> full-time recent gang, let's go. Oh, did you go to full-time too, hockey? Let's go. Hockey, thank you so much for the tier one subscription for three months. So that's a guaranteed point for all three months. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know if I should be celebrating that the same way, though. I left my job. So I, I got really tired of things. But that's a whole different story for a different day. But Hockey, thank you so much for that. I appreciate the heck out of you. Tier one sub for three months. So that's that's another point for all three months guaranteed. So when I did some like calculations um, for like trying to hit it, according to like my September 3rd one, we were at like 187 points. When I calculated again, we were at 200 and something, 263, 263, I think that's right. So this is just a rough estimate because it is also me 
banking on people who had resubbed before to keep their reoccurring sub. So I don't know if we're a hundred percent at that number, but that was about how many we needed. Um, in addition to what we were already going to have resubbed this, this month. So, uh, and then there's been set like now up to four other people who said that they're going to do a tier three by the end of the month when their sub comes up for renewal. So that means we are getting very, very, very close to actually making this happen. So every single point helps tremendously. And that is my plug for the night. I only bring it up at the beginning of stream, the end of stream. And if somebody does a tier three, so the rest of the time, I'm like, I don't want to talk about it too much. Because I know some people will be like, oh my god, streamer wants money to do what they're doing? Oh my god. So. <laughs> Hi, T. Thomas. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm ending, so don't worry. You don't have to leave the lurk, but I appreciate the heck out of you. It's good to see you. I hope you're well. Yes, we can totally talk another day hockey. We can we can talk all the things, but yeah. All sorts of stuff over the last two years has changed in my life. A lot of stuff mostly bad couple of good <laughs> so but yeah i i decided to go full-time content creation this year i plan on doing a lot more content on uh, other platforms to help get monetiz monetized on those but one of the big things is um if i can get the plus program tier two or level two or whatever it's called uh, then that would automatically be like a huge step in the right direction. And I figured if we couldn't get it in September when like the subs are so much cheaper, then I probably wouldn't have a chance getting it any other time. So I was like, you know what, we'll try this time. And if it doesn't happen, then I, I won't push it again in the future. But like, it would be really cool if we were able to hit it now and then secure it for another, like for a year, that would be amazing. So the D Thomas, good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I know, same hockey, same. And like, I can't, I'm still trying to figure out how my money is gonna land each month. Like, I obviously knew going into this whereabouts I was, but at the same time, I'm trying not to do any like extra, extra spending, but I'm definitely still gonna do some subs in September. I can tell already, so. Hi Beats, doing well, how are you doing? Oh, goodness, D. Thomas. Only if you want to. Only if you want to. And please don't do it for six months. I've been telling everybody, I'm like, just do it for three. <laughs> and then, like, you can drop it back down. You can cancel it. I don't care. And I've said, like, a reminder. Like, I'm going to let everybody know. Like, December. The beginning of December, I'm going to be like, guys, if you haven't done it already, cancel your fucking tears. <laughs> like, don't, don't let it on or renew on you. Because I will feel horrible if it does. <laughs> so... And I don't like asking for stuff like this anyway. I'm a, I, I was gonna say I'm a whore. I whore myself out for charity, but when it comes to myself, I do not like talking about it. I figured that if people wanna support me, they'll support me organically. And honestly, that feels just like the best thing to me. But this is the one time that I'm like, hey guys, this could truly help me out if you can do this. But I know that like $50 is a lot to a lot of people. And that's, it's hard to like ask people for something like this but we are very very close and with another four people and if d thomas would like to do it too then five people then that means we're approximately only like 10 points away which is like two more tier threes or something by the end of the month or 10 individual subs or whatever so and i'll be gone to twitchcon for five or six days so it kind of sucks that i'm gonna be gone for a little bit but I will definitely be like streaming at the very end of the month to see if we're like at that mark or if we can close those last few ones. So we'll see. But yeah. I have faith. I, 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 I'm hopeful. I am very, very, very hopeful. So. Will? Wait, you did it? What? Aw, Will. Ha ha ha, tier three, baby. <laughs> Will, you get to get on the Yoshi board. And I do have a couple, like, other things. Like, tier threes get a special thing this month and the next two months. This month, you get to vote on a future game we play uh, before the end of this year. Uh, you get an exclusive movie night next month. And then the month after that, an exclusive game night with just the tier threes if people want to get into it. So... Tier one for three months. That is still a point, Marsh. That is still a point. We will take all points. Will, thank you so much tier for the tier for three. three. 
Marsh, thank you for the tier one for three buds. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Will, we'll put you on the board. Marsh, how are you doing? I got to watch Marsh play a scary game yesterday, and let me tell you, it was really fun. <laughs> The amount of times he paused, and I give him shit, but I also would be doing the same thing, so I want to make that clear. He was playing, I think it was Summer of 58 is what the game is called, but I was watching uh, Marsh play that yesterday, and it was, it was something. It was something. It's your job and income. Super valid to want to support your favorite people. Yeah. It's just, it's still, I don't like asking. So, Will, I know it's backwards. It's only backwards because of the screen I'm on. I'm not that good at writing backwards. how long it is until I have to cover Yoshi completely, but Yoshi's been my bud back here with all the lovely people's names on it, so I'll move them around a little bit until I completely cover it up, so thank you so much, Will. Thank you so much, Marsha. Thank you so much, Hockey. I appreciate the heck out of you all. Thank you, because I mean, that right there just bumped us another seven points, so uh, here in a couple days, I'll do another, like, pull of the data and see how close we are. Again, it's not 100% accurate because that's relying on the people who had subs are resubbing. But I like, well, yeah, just kind of play it by ear because there's no way to like 100% tell at any given time. But other than what Twitch is telling us, but that's not including all the people who have resubs by the end of the month, if that makes sense. That's why I'm saying like, oh, we're only this far off, even though the number says we're at whatever it is. It says we're currently at 168 now, so it's it's gone up. So we're at 168, but that's not taking into consideration all the resubs throughout the course of the month because it adds the numbers based off of when the resub goes through. So, but thank you so much. I appreciate all three of you very much. And I do, again, know that there's a couple people in the community, like E. Blackbird and in this case, D. Thomas and Monkey Fluence who uh, plan on going up a tier as well so uh yes we do do um twitch names uh neo i think it actually says that in the rules whenever you accept them uh at least some variation of your name or we will do like neo and plus the rest of your name in a parenthesis or something so yes we do do that thank you for asking have a good night d thomas thank you Ooh, i'm gonna get a couple shouties real quick for uh, Marshmallow. Like I said, Marshmallow Hunt. I was watching Marsh play. Uh, yeah, Summer of 58. I was correct. Okay. Uh, I was watching him play that yesterday. And then we'll get one for... Oh, you were playing... God damn I know you're going to bed. You're going to bed. You're going to bed. I'm not going to ask about it, but... I keep hearing about Squirrel with a gun. Acel, if you do not have that on your list already, you should, by the way. Oh, you got coffee? Nice snuggle. Do you do like just straight black coffee or do you like to add stuff to it? I'm more of a give me sugar with a side of coffee kind of concept girl. Like, uh, I'm bougie as shit. <laughs> and then lovely hockey, we were actually, uh, we raided into whenever she was on the front page uh, just a couple days ago. So please check out these lovely peepos. I will, I will get to enjoy. I will get to enjoy it. It's even more awkward hockey because like people already are supporting me. So like asking for a different type of support is weird. Like people are like gifting subs and like, hey, instead of gifting subs, can you do this? And it just feels so awkward because it's like they're already choosing to support me in a way. So like, I can't be like, yo, <laughs> thanks for the five gifted, but could you do this and stuff? Like that just seems so bleh. <laughs> it really bothers me, <laughs> so. Uh, okay, there's not still 40. I'm not that bad at closing the stream. Okay, sometimes a sell. Like maybe 10% of the time. Uh, thanks, Rael. I'll, I'll message you back later, either tonight or tomorrow. I saw you messaged me. Message me back. <laughs> you Blackbird, I would make you use that word. There is a person, I'm not even shitting you. Um, mods can actually do backslash username, but there is a person that is followed in our 
channel that's called Jackass. And uh, like their actual name is Jackass. There's no like numbers or anything. And I was really shocked to see that name just as is. <laughs> it really blew my mind. There was a couple others that were like that too. But like that one in particular made me laugh so hard. They joined us for Halo custom games. And it was funny because you like see that name and you're like, is this person going to be like, okay. And they were chill as hell and played Halo custom games with us. <laughs> so I don't even know. But. Yep, for sure, Neo. Yeah, it just always helps us better with modding stuff. So I appreciate you asking. Screw with a gun looks so damn awesome. I've already added it to my wish list, and like five people have talked about it. And they're like, have you seen this game? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I did add it to my wish list, right? I'm not thinking. Yeah, so <laughs> this game looks. <laughs> So wait, did Cell tell me that he has it on his wish list? Because if you don't, okay, it is on your list. I, you're welcome. I just wanted to make sure that you had this, this game on your list. <laughs> like this isn't a Cell game. Like anytime I see stuff like this, it's uh, it's in a Cell game in my head. First coffee has um, has one tenth milk. Okay, fair enough, Snuggle. Fair enough. My partner likes it just straight black, and I'm like, nope, give me sugar with a pinch of coffee. Did you, Robco? That's awesome. Who did you watch play it, just out of curiosity? Better way to support was self-subs for a bit. People can still do videos, too. Yeah. I'm like, if you would really prefer... And, it, like, again, not everybody can afford fucking 50 $52, whatever the heck it is. Like, in U.S., I don't know what it is outside currency, but... Like, not everybody can afford that and not do it. Like, I don't want to make people feel bad for not doing it. Ah, oh, it's such a thing. It's it's a mind thing. It's a mind thing. And it's just, ugh. Yeah. 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 No, you're fine, Will. You're fine. How are you liking Deadlock? Aw, I appreciate the hell out of you. No. Oh, you're good, Will. You're good. No, if, if you need to take it off next month or whatever you need to do, I appreciate any bit of help that we can get there. And I'll be watching it like a hawk um, as we move through the next three months. Because if we hit it this month, then I'm going to like obviously keep mentioning it for the next two months. But then I'll make sure that everybody knows that they can cancel their shit when they need to. <laughs> so literally at the beginning of December, I have like a big old thing in bold in one of my Discord channels that just says, remind people to get rid of their tier threes. <laughs> or tier twos or whatever they went up to. So I don't know. That's a good question. So I can look up there, Dave. You can literally do a backslash user and then jackass. Um, okay, what's crazy is their account was created July 30th of 2019. So that's not even that old. I had my CIDE 90 name before that. So I have no idea how they had that name but i remember playing halo custom games and this guy came in i'm like there's no way they have that name and then again they wanted to play and i was like uh, but then they were fine so i was like okay <laughs> so i don't know but yeah it says 2019 yeah it's relatively new in in the grand scheme of things it sounds good neo no worries yeah, it's super easy to change your name in like a specific server. It used to be more of a pain in the butt, but it's actually very easy. If you are in, well, actually in this case, we might have to do it because I think I have it turned off for anybody uh, below VIP just to make sure people aren't changing their names. So I'll go in and take a look at it. You're good. Yeah, it looks so funny. So another one of those games I'm like, man, I really, really need to play. So, but yeah. I love Deadlock. It's my new Overwatch. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Rube was playing a couple matches of it. I haven't tried it yet because I've never really gotten into MOBAs. I can't wait to play this. Hang on. We're going to... God damn it. I know we're still in the crab category, but that's fine. It's whatever. I just want to see this real quick. Pack it up, boys. That's game of the year. Mario Odyssey, but fucked up. Zero Dark Nutty. Why is this so good? This is why what games ought to be.
Robka, when you said you watched a whole playthrough of this, how long was it? Because I got an indie discovery day coming up next week. Oh, I appreciate that, Will. Thank you so much. I will remind you to remove it in December, though. I promise. Like, I will be blasting that from the rooftops. I will at people in Discord. I will do whatever I need to to make sure people are, like, not going past that three months if they don't want to. So I don't want that to, to be a thing. Why is that, like, there? That was bothering me. <laughs> Oh, man. And Beetlejuice is good. I've heard actually a lot of people say Beetlejuice 2 is good. And that's very exciting, actually, because I talked about it the other day that I was not a Tim Burton fan at all. But like Beetlejuice was the one movie that I liked from him. And so I actually do want to go see it. That's awesome. That's so cool. Theodore was a chipmunk. Why does the squirrel have a gun? Cowboy chow, because a squirrel with a gun. That's that's why. Just go nuts. self -defense. Uh, it was an edited video. Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, okay. I feel like this would be one of those one-off streams where I'm like, guys, we're a squirrel with a gun. I know, Cowboy Chow. I'm just full of, like, good information. But no, this is just some some game that came out. Um, yeah, August 29th, not very long ago. And is a uh, squirrel with a gun. So yeah, check that out if you want. Again, I'm a huge proponent for indie games. So whenever I see stuff like this pop up that like is seriously like stupid but fun, like I'm here for it. Yes, Robco. Uh, I was watching Rare play it. Uh, and it was funny because Rube was still here in the US when she was playing it. And he, she, he was telling her stuff about like references that she saw. So thank you i'm gonna go get my ice cream literally like right now hockey has got a good point i gotta get ice cream so let me find somebody to raid <laughs> let me find somebody to raid so that i can have ice cream <laughs> hockey have a wonderful day it was good to see you for a little bit i appreciate you everybody just like raised my spirit so much i mentioned at the beginning of stream and not to bring like the end of stream back down but it's it's a happy note it's like a happy sandwich is like i had like really bad nightmares last night like the emotional psychological nightmares that stick with you that like involves like people in your life and it was like really really depressing and just like fucked with my day so bad and like i made it through my day and like at night i almost didn't stream tonight because i was like man i don't know if i'm feeling it but i know people will cheer me up and i'll feel better about it and i'll play games and it'll be fine um and you guys really did like this was fun and just like the level of support as always and i'm not just talking like the monetary stuff i'm not talking about the plus program i'm not talking about the the astrobot or anything just like just talking to you all and stuff it, it like it's nice having people to just talk to at night so thanks for being here I'm gonna get all sad and weepy so thank you for being here you all made my night uh my day so much better so thank you very much to the lovely people who decided to raid us today such as rides Shupuff, uh jetpack raptor gamma psych Brady loaf misculini loon wolfpack i4 manazaki and wrecked we had a lot of raids there thank you all very much for bringing your communities over here and make sure to check out those lovely people as well as all the other people we shouted out today thank you for following the stream if you did today thank you so much for all of the subs today and getting us that much closer we're at 168 points out of 300 we are over halfway there being not even halfway through the month so like i fingers crossed i'm feeling really hopeful about this like i said i'm trying to keep track and what i'll probably do is pull an updated list when i leave for twitchcon uh and then see where we're at when i come back and then we'll know like what that gap is and hopefully we can we can make the difference up after a couple people get closer to their resubs so uh thank you very 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 much i did not have any more music on uh mods thank you for all the shout outs thank you for getting commands up thank you for welcoming everyone in and the community as a whole thank you for always welcoming people into our community i appreciate it let me find somebody to raid today because there's probably a whole bunch of people on and I need to find somebody. Need to find somebody to raid. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, we can break Q. Ooh, how long is, okay, hang on. I got a couple people. Shocking, I know. I'm gonna open up a couple people. I'm gonna see how long some of these people have been live for. 
Oh man, I haven't raided them in forever either. Okay, hang on. Let me take a peek at uh, who is on live. Okay, I'm not sure what they got going on. Okay, they are raiding out, unfortunately. That was one person I had on my list. Then I know exactly who I'm going to raid. Perfect. I am going to raid somebody we have not gotten to raid for quite some time, but who has been a good friend to me uh, for, God, like over four years. I met them originally through GB. We're going to say hi to Super Hobbit, because it's actually been a while since I have gotten to raid Super Hobbit. He's currently playing the new Warhammer Space Marine 2, so just a heads up, he is in the game. Uh, a couple things to note is one, I don't know where he is in the game, so just a heads up in case you all uh, don't want to see spoilers. I don't know if he is doing that right now. Apparently he is doing a dare drop for it and can potentially have a free game key for it. So just a heads up, that's cool. And then also there's drops on currently. So if you all do uh, plan on playing Space Marines in the future, hang out with Super Hobbit for a little while and you get drops as well. Robco, thanks for posting the raid commands and Super Hobbit's thing right there. I appreciate it. And yeah, I think I've said everything that I needed to say. Oh, and thank you again anonymous for the lovely gift of astrobot seriously i know earlier i seemed frustrated about it but i guess i was still just in my moody mood and i'd really do appreciate whoever decided to gift me that um i gotta go get my retail therapy out some <laughs> some some other way now or maybe you just saved me money one or the other i don't know but uh <laughs> we're gonna go see see super hobbit thank you again i i cannot thank you enough for everything everybody always does for me um, this is the whole reason I decided to go full-time because imagining not being around this place anymore would just floor me. And so instead of doing less of it, why not do as much of it as I possibly can? So with that, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is where you guys are. Feel free to copy the raid message. Feel free to drop Super Hobbit a follow when you get in there if you like his content. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for being here, Robco and Wilsifer and Snuggle, and Hockey, and Silverleaf, and cell and Cowboy Chow, and everybody, thank you for being here. Have a good night.